All right, everybody, let's get this thing started, shall we? Shall we? Oh, we shall. Oh, we shall indeed. What's up, everybody? Yeehaw to you and yours. How you doing? How you doing? Thank you for being here. We're going to be checking out the April qualifiers for the Pokemon Unite Championship Series, everyone. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. I think I got a game right away here. I think this Frog Party game is going to be our first game of the day. We're jumping right into it. This should be Team Mufa versus United Chaos. Let me make sure that it is as we start our first game here. We're watching teams qualify for the April Cup. It's coming down to it. This is it, right? This is it. Let me take a look. That's United Chaos, right? Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of uh, a lot of people we know on these teams. We got Frog Party, Karchtofer, Breezy. I mean, this is going to be a fun match to start the day off with. I'm going to pause it right at the start. I'm going to get us in so we got everything set up and ready to go. So we're already jumping into this thing here. Oh my gosh, everybody. Welcome to the stream. So glad to have you all here. Sorry if my spectating is absolute garbage. I'm sure it will be as I'll just be watching and vibing along with all of you. Also, let me know how the volume of everything is. I've got a little background music for us, BGM today. But I want to make sure that it's not terrible. Our purple team is going to be Team Mufa. And then our orange team is going to be United Chaos. We're going to be watching so many good teams today. Uh, the new Luminosity should be on the docket. We've got a lot to check out. We've got all the, all like the roster mania teams. So thank you for being here with me as we check out all of this awesome stuff today. The video is not frozen. It's paused. It's paused. I was pausing it while I was, uh, updating some things in here. We're going to start our first match here between team Mufa and let's see United Chaos. All right, everybody. Let's get this thing going. I love you all. We're going to do it. We're going to start us off. Let's go. Frog party. Friend of the stream. Uh, lots of members in here. Friends of the stream here. My game sounds a little, a little low. You'll all, you'll all have to tell me. Because I can't tell. But it just sounds... No, it's okay. It's actually not bad, I think. We're watching their center here. They're... Uh, Passing the red buff on over to this Hoopa. Hoopa's going to be able to head to the top path with this and just really slow them down as they run away. They got uh, a little Azu in the top path. And we've got a Metagross here, which you absolutely love to see. My sensitivity is high as I'm panning this camera right here. And that red buff, Hoopa, just set up a double KO in the top path. Brutal. Dragonite making it happen. The interesting thing about Dragonite is no one was on it, and then we saw Japan, and now I think a lot of people are going to be on it. Smalls, thank you so much for being a member, buddy. Love you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. We're getting ready for our 850 fight here. They're ready to go. What kind? Oh, is that? Okay, Gyro Ball. As they push in for this fight. They're going for the bodies right now as they take down the Dragonite right away. Huge play for that Dragonair. And Blissey also goes down. Dominant top path right here so far from our orange team, United Chaos. Jeez. That's been huge so far. Uh, honestly, a lot of that is all thanks to this red buff Hoopa that's just been crushing it up here. Metagross got you to Masters. I'm loving Metagross right now. I'm loving it. Metagross is super solid. We haven't seen it really shine in competitive yet, but I really think it could. Heading into our bottom path right here, it looks like actually in the bottom path, things are going a lot better for Team Mufa. They already got the level 6 on Candle. Out-leveling their counterparts on the other side. Flamethrower Candle here going to be going up against Solar Beam Venu. It's going to outrange it a bit, so we'll have to see how they want to deal with that. Nice Flamethrower caught by the mean look. That should set up a KO, and it does. Evolves off of that. Trevenant's still not Trevenant in this bottom path. Bottom path going really well right now for Mufa. Top path going great for Chaos. And look at this. 
They're kind of invading this center a little bit, messing with them a lot. I kind of want to see what they want to do. Pull back. So we got 720 birds top, 720 birds bottom. This mean look into Imprison, into Flamethrower is just gross. This combination in the bottom path is absolutely disgusting. Honestly, Frog Party is going to need to take a bath after this. Because this is a really, really gross combination. <laughs> I mean, it's just so unbelievably mean. When was this tourney? This is live. These are the April qualifiers that are happening right now. Reggie Rock getting chipped up here by United Chaos. Miss Majestic actually eating a lot of damage right there. Reggie Rock, known paid actor, huge horn leech into that wood hammer in the bottom path. That was a massive combination right there. Majestic in trouble right here. Reggie Rock now at half. They're pushing in. We're going to see what Dragonite wants to do right here. This is an outrage. Dragonite, by the way, the secure on what was it? Who got it? Either way, Venusaur takes a few down right there, and the fight is completely cleaned up by Chaos. Holy! Beautiful fight. That Espeon was kind of in trouble there, and then they said, nah. No, it's not. Only level 6 on this Azu. Here's one of the toughest things about running a Pokemon like this, is if you are running Azu, you expect to be ahead early, and if you're behind early, this Pokemon loses almost all value. Almost all value. We've got the uh, Outrage D-Knight. I love Outrage D-Knight. I have never seen it work competitively. I'm excited to see it happen if it does. Good push right here. We start the Outrage. They're looking for it. Moving in with the Unite move. We've got the Extreme Speed right into another Outrage. Possibly no. The Outrage has stopped as they're going to have to start it up again. There's the Outrage pushing back towards this fight. Reggie walks as they're continuing to push right here, and then they all go down. Great defense there from Chaos as they're pushing them out. Umbreon living on a prayer right now. Can you see the HP bar? Well, it looks like Hoopa could see it. Let's go. Picking up a big KO. Gobbling him up right there. Just a fun one. Fun start to our tournament right here. This is a cool game between these two teams. They're going home. <laughs> I love I love this. Just watch them. Just watch them go home. I mean, look, at that point, what are you going to do, right? We're all just hanging out. Just watch. Just say hey. Like, okay, I see you. I, I don't have a way to stop you. I'm not going to egg bomb displace you right now. So I'm just going to watch you. In this bottom path right here, we've got Chaos getting set up for a good fight down here. I mean, they've pretty much got this free. Right now, we've got Hoopa porting top to help this tree deal with this. Four or five members now moving up here for Mufa. They're moving in, scoring, goals at two. Huge. Look at that wood hammer. Caught three right there. And they ended up breaking with a three. So they just decided that they needed to get rid of that goal zone. Right now, Chaos... I mean, an excellent break for them when you consider breaks. Uh, you obviously want to keep your goal zones, but if you only have to lose it like that, how beautiful, right? But the good thing for Mufa right here is this does set up a decent fight for them here in this top path if they want to take it. They're behind on experience, but not in a massive way. They could make something happen right here. Umbreon in a little bit of trouble. We see the eggs being thrown out right here. They're peeling back right now, continuing to heal up, and just pulling away from this fight. Umbreon's down, and they're not in any position really to do anything about this. Five members here of Chaos with Trevenant just guarding this area. Regieleki easily goes to them. We see Umbreon taking their time in the bottom path right here to farm up. I would say this is a weird call from the Umbreon. It's likely that this team is going to push right here, and Umbreon is going to need to be here soon. Umbreon is basing right now, I've got to assume. Big Unite from Venu. Here comes Dragonite. Umbreon now getting up there to use the portal. It just would have been really good for Umbreon to be here earlier to help with this fight, right? Uh, multiple members going down right there. Nice catch. You see a nice little KO. Huge flamethrower catches too as they push on this goal zone. And now, you know, instead of really getting value out of this Regieleki, they just gave a ton of experience over to Mufa. I don't know. I, I would say that's probably a mistake. You know, you, you want the push. I don't think it was a bad idea to push right there, but you give up a triple to the candle. It's almost 13 now. Not amazing. You know? You got to watch out for that. I would say Chaos is still in a, you know, powerful position right here, obviously, but that's a tough push. Full Unites on the side of Mufa. We've got a few down right here on the side of Chaos, obviously. 
They're watching this top goal zone. I'm, gonna, I'm interested to see how they want to play this bottom Reggie. We got Reggie Steele. Huge solar beam. Al that was almost a perfect solar beam, horn leech, wood hammer, double KO right at Ray. Really lucky that Mufa got out of that. Really lucky. Reggie Steele looks like it's going down here to chaos pretty easily, I would say. Yeah, I'll move the I'll move the names. Good idea. I had this set up for a mobile, so it's not set up uh, as well for this. I'll I'll, I'll uh, find a new position for it at some point, or I'll just pull it. Getting ready for our ray fight here. We got Metagross. I want to see who wants to engage on this. Usually, you, if you follow like one of the tanks in one of these fights, you have a good idea of what's going on here. Up here, we've got Umbreon possibly looking for the catch on the mean look. Solar Beam's just continuing to chip them up. You can see Dragonite's at half. Oh, we got the catch right up here. Here comes the mean look. Metagross moving in. Counter Unite move. Huge. Oh, that was a massive Solar Beam. Unite from Venusaur right there. The delete button is out. Umbreon's the only one left, and they are gone. Huge play. That's a team wipe, and that's a GG. I don't see a way around it. They take Ray right here. I'm going to speed us up just a little bit. Yeah, Ray's going down. No one from Mufa is around to do anything about it. That was all a Venusaur delete button. Just full on Venusaur delete. Scored 382-81. GG's. Fun first game as it is taken by Chaos. Chaos Reigns. Yeah, let me see what I can do about moving some of these names. I'm not sure where I would put it on Switch. I could make it like, I could drop it all the way down, maybe? Let me see. Maybe I could do this. Could I? Not really, huh? Hmm. I might have to just get rid of it. Because I had it set up for, um, I had it set up for mobile. Is this a rerun? No, this is live, baby. Unless I said that to somebody in a rerun, then I don't know what you're going to be able to do. Uh, ranked match we got. It looks like Nemesis is in a game. Is that for real? Who are they playing already? Let's take a look here. I'm going to get the bracket updated in the chat for everybody. Who is Nemesis playing? Let me get an updated bracket for all of you because that's the wrong bracket in the chat. That's the old bracket. That's the old bracket, baby. Let me get you the good bracket. Oh, that sweet, sweet bracket. This is a song that's unnecessary, but uh, I just had to sing something while this was going on. Okay, updated that on YouTube. Let me do the same thing on Twitch. Hold on, everyone. I'll get you your bracket. I'll get you your bracket. Gosh. Everyone's freaking out about this bracket. Calm down. <laughs> no one's like freaking out. Calm down. Stop. Dude, stop. Ugh. Cut it out. <laughs> Everyone's like, it's fine, Jake. The only one freaking out is you. All right, let's try it. Now you can try it. Now you can try it. That was a that was a fun way to start. That was a fun start of this game. I'm going to pull myself up here. Where am I? Hi, where am I? Hi, it's me. Let's see if we can get our bracket up here. Mm -mm -mm. We can look at it together. Nope. There we go. Here's my bracket. I gotta move my chat box. Oh my gosh, on Twitch, uh, TikTok, it's crazy. Sorry, TikTok. It's not gonna, it's not gonna let me, <laughs> it's not gonna let me do that on TikTok. Sorry, guys. Let's take a look at our bracket right here. Uh, 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 we just watched uh, Mufa versus United Chaos. Team YT is going up in a little bit. 
We're going to be watching them. Wolves United. I might have Wolves United. I think I've got or I've got Orange Team. I've got Brave Birders. I think I've got Hades. That's Pool 2. Let's take a look at Pool 1. Hmm. Nemesis. Taino Tribal. Elite 5. Ligma. Fun. Isn't there a Ligma in EU too? Uh, purple team. Gosh, they love this. Exile, Paragon, the Ranch versus Plague. GT's in here. Who does GT have to play against to win this thing? Exile. That could be interesting. Really good teams. Nemesis. Who do they have to beat to win this thing? Anomaly. Nemesis has a pretty cush run. Like when you consider like what teams are expected. It's going to be interesting, everybody. Going to be interesting. Oh my gosh. Zoinks cast coming in with the gifteds, dude. Holy. I missed it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 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 Who do we got? Who do we got games with? I got Squirtle. I got Squirtle here. Is LG not playing? LG is playing. Yeah, Luminosity is playing. But it's a completely different squad, guys. So, Luminosity is now Overlord, Lutano, Otter, Joey, and JL. Like, they're in they're Luminosity in name only and that they have Overlord, which maybe makes them Luminosity. <laughs> I mean, I guess when you look at it, right? That might just make them Luminosity. What does this give me? I want this to be a different thing. I want it to be... Uh, uh, uh. Not that. That. Cool. All right. Let me take you back into watching a game here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the uh, team names off the screen in a super pleasing way from the chat uh, slash. Why did you leave LG? I mean, I, if I if I knew, I would tell you, but they uh, they went through roster mania. They went through roster mania. That's what's happening right now. You just want to know what Ligma is? I mean, think about it. I mean, think about it, everybody. Ooh. I've got a Tetsion game, which I believe is Flamin' Hot Depressos. That could be fun to see, too. Flamin' Hot Depressos could be a good one. I think they're a pretty solid squad. Let me, let me see where they're at right now in this... Unless they're not starting yet. I'm looking at my bracket right now, everybody. Next match win very soon. Very, very soon. I think I think this is a real game. I just want to make sure, you know, because sometimes they'll they are doing a real game. This is Flamin' Hot Depressos versus Don Bozos. This is flaming hot. And they're up one game right now. Tetsion on Cinderace. He's got a sick Cinderace. That much I know for sure. Fixing our score real quick as we head into our next game. Here we go, everybody. Flamin' Hot Depressos versus Don Bozos. Flamin' Hot up one game right now. Team YT is playing. Yep. They are playing in this qualifier. We got Lucario top. Enemy team's got Buzzwool. Gotta wonder what the bans were. I, I'm guessing Leafeon was banned. Inteleon was banned. We see Hoopa. We see Slowbro. We don't see Tree. So I would guess that they have a Trevenant ban in here somewhere. Old school Cena Lucario up here, and we've got ourselves a cram on the other side. 
They're sending Cinderace down to the bottom path. They actually gave up red buff over to Hoopa, which is great for Hoopa, but it's also a really good buff for an ADC, right? Nice secures on the side of Dombozos. Fighting in this top path. We've already got Lucario at level 5 up here. So they're doing pretty well. They're ready to go. The nice push. Big sleep. I love seeing a Wiggly here in this top path. You don't see enough Wiggly. Almost taking down Luca there. Ooh, in this bottom path? The Blaziken! Is it going to get punished? No! It got it, right? Oh, it got it. Just barely. I was like, dude, are you are you for real? Buzz is in trouble here. Picked up a double. Oh, turn it into a triple, why don't you? It's right there. No! Okay, very close. Huge fight in the bottom path. Yeah, we've got no healing support on one side, kind of versus the delayed healing support of Hoopa on the other, right? We got Hoopa invading right now. Umbreon invading as well. Umbreon taking the Hoopa portal back. Hoopa in a lot of trouble right here. Gets put to bed. Will they be able to take it down? They do. That Wiggly Sing is very mean. Cinder now level 7. We're going to see what they're going to be able to do. Oh, here comes Buzz and the Wiggly Sleep. Puts the squad to bed right now. Wiggly in trouble. The whole team is right here just pushing up like an absolute phalanx. No one goes down. Lucario coming in for a possible KO. Can you get crammed? No, you can't. You didn't know. You didn't know, my prince. Blaziken goes down. Good fight. Weird break. Bad break. Um, not horrible, but they just could have done that slightly better, right? They could have done that a little better, but what are you going to do? Yeah, it is a little anti-Buzz, huh? I mean, look, Buzzwell doesn't do that well into ADCs. They play at extreme range the whole time, so. One thing, though, is Hoopa doesn't do amazing into Buzz sometimes because Hoopa's so telegraphed and it's healing, right? We got nine coming on Cinder. We got nine on our Luka. Unite move right away? No. Backs up. Unite move? Huge Luka Unite. That was a massive Lucario Unite. Cinder just coming in for the cleanup right there, helping out after that huge Espeon Unite too. Beautiful fight there from the Depressos. Please learn math. Please learn the math. You guys got it this time. Beautiful over cap top. Buzz is coming. Gets mean looked right away. Gets snarled right away. Here come the fireballs. And this is something like Cinderace can just clean this whole fight up. Running in right here. Flame charge. Looking for the autos. Picking up another. Looking for Cram right into the blaze kick. Cram's in trouble. Cram unites. It united way too late. Cinder's done here, though. Nice combination from Blaziken. Lucario with the pop. Looking for that power up. Punch KO. Right now, I mean, 202 to 43, great caps here from uh, Flamin' Hot. Nice Wiggly Unite, but I mean, look at the damage there. Espeon just outputs so much damage. Lucario has to run away. Cram Unite zones them out pretty well, but they don't get a lot of value for it. Buzzwool picks up the KO on Lucario. Looking for something. That's a level 11 on the Cinder now, so now we've got the upgraded Cinder Ace, right? The Blaze Kick gives that attack speed now, which is a huge change. Resetting with Hoopa on their way back. Like, look at that attack speed. Jeez. Just able to rip things apart. Wiggly looking for a possible steal, but nowhere near it. Lucario comes down. It's going to start the rip right here. Lucario not yet 11. So it doesn't have that hindrance resistance on Pup yet. But they secure that easy. As this is pushing top. It's actually doing pretty well. Uh, it's got a lot of HP, which gives them the ability to hoop a portal this bottom path. Score-wise, this is devastating here for Don Bozos. I mean, this is just huge. 
Flaming Hot's crushing it right now. We're just watching Cinder vibe. Well, I'm taking a swig of water. For the most part, I mean, like half, more than half of um, Depresso's team is kind of old school, right? You've got the um, uh, the Umbreon and the Espeon are kind of new, but Lucario, Cinder, and Hoopa is relatively new. It's kind of that first uh, Pokemon Day release. Excuse me, relatively old is what I was meaning to say. Cinder's back at 13. Lucario's at 13. Level-wise, things are going great for Flamin' Hot. Pup close combat better than E-Speed? Yes, I would say so. I would say so. We got Mork in the bottom path here with the Cram. Level 11 now. Cinder 13. Both the moves are upgraded at this point. Slowbro's got its Unite move on cooldown, but it's got plenty of time. Obviously, if Slowbro can grab Cinder or... S Honestly, Cinder, Espeon, or Lucario, I think, are all good grabs for this Unite. I would say so. You always struggle to play with Cinder? Well, you're watching a top-tier Cinder right here. Watch the positioning on them. So they're going to stay at range, right? They're staying fully at range, but they will decide to move in. See, you flame charge away from the fight. They will decide to move in when it's time to pick up the KOs, though. So right now it's four on two. They're pushing right now. If they can catch a blaze kick in that moment there, they would have caught one and taken it. Instead, they're going to peel back. They're going to look for the rip. You basically stay at extreme range until it's time to deliver the knockout punch. That's what you're looking to do with Cinder a lot of the time. And while you're at range, you're A-pressing. So you're just doing constant damage. The rip on Cinderace, too. If they get any advantage at Rayquaza, they'll be able to take it down easily. Cinderace has great rip, you know? The problem is, is you can you can unite it. Like, you literally eject button Slowbro, and it's done. And they have, real, they have no way to stop that. Umbreon's playing pretty far forward here. Looking for someone on Don Bozo's. Don Bozo's actually all peeling around here. Looking for a catch. Ooh. Okay, well, they know where Slowbro is now. So, Cinder feels pretty confident right here. It, when you know where Slowbro is, you're not that scared as this Cinderace here. Umbreon moving up. Mean looks the Slowbro, but not the greatest target. Buzzwell just looking around. I mean, they're so far behind. Obviously, there's nothing that Flamin' Hot needs to do right now. Catching them with a mean look. Puts them to sleep a little. All right, we're moving in right here. Here comes the Cram Unite. Good zoning right there. Cinderace Unite right back. Buzz will Unite up into the air. Slowbro goes down without uniting. That's probably the match right there. They're going to continue this push. That's one, two, three, four, and five. Whole team goes down. Slowbro Unite doesn't catch anyone right there. Cinder cleans up the entire fight. That's a four piece for the Cinderace. Did they make it a five? Who got the fifth? I didn't see. Cinderace with a quadra in this final moment right here. It was going to require catching one of these carries. Slowbro didn't even get to unite. And then, I mean, if Slowbro doesn't unite in the final fight, it's like kind of done, right? Kind of done. And that's a win for Flamin' Hot. They're going to move forward in the bracket. They're going to move forward in our bracket. Great fight for them. We can look at numbers real quick. 77k, 91 on uh, Espeon. You see how powerful Espeon is. The bands were just about what I thought. Yeah, no Blastoise, no Leafeon, no Tree, and Meowskarata banned out. When is LG's match? Uh, you know what? LG should be playing before too long. We're going to take a look at what's next. We got a lot next. Nothing's popped up, but looking at my bracket here, we have a ton. We have a ton of games coming up. So, uh, Luminosity's waiting for their game between Deadly Sins and Night Slayers. Eruption going up against Griefers. Everstone versus Perp Not Kevin. Aos Elites, Flamin' Hot Depressos move up in their bracket. Wolves United against uh, United Chaos. That could be a pretty good game. Team YT is going up against Foundation. 
So we got some good games there. Let's take a look at pool number one. You thought Cinder Unite was only for the race secure? Yeah. Endless versus Comatose. You feel me versus Dopenta. What's the new... I can't remember the name of the new team Slash is on. It's not Endless, is it? Is it Endless? Yeah, it is. Slash is on Endless. That'll be an interesting team to look at. Fellas United. It's <laughs> a pretty good, pretty good team name. We're just, we're fellas united. Hey, we're, we're we're just a bunch of fellas and we're united. Slash left LG. Yeah, LG broke up. You basically like the new LG is like a completely different team. We're just some fellas. We're uniting and we're fellas here. Waiting for our next games. Hades. Who does Hades have to beat? Hades has to beat Luminosity. Huh. That would be in the winner's semis. Wow. I think quarterfinal is where you qualify, if I'm remembering right. So you qualify, you win the quarterfinal, and you qualify in winners. You'd be these two, these teams here. Luminosity has to go, has to take down. To qualify today, they have to take down who? Eruption, Griefers, Everstone. Hmm. You call them Numinosity? Yeah. Yeah, Overlord's like the only remaining part of it, I believe. I think Overlord's the only thing. I believe. Let me see what we got coming up here. I know everyone's going to want to watch some Team YT. Just got to make sure that Pika Diff. Jake doesn't know. What don't I know? YouTube lost 2-0? What do you mean? Why LG broke up? Oh, I mean, I, I mean, I kind of know. I kind of know, but it's not really my place. Yeah, YouTube is here. YouTube's going up against Foundation. I hope Pika Diff's got that spectate on. If he doesn't, then I'm not going to be able to see them. Yeah, I mean, they didn't really talk about the reason they broke up, but you can kind of gather what happened. But they had they had a lot of Rocky team stuff, you know, two members getting banned, and then um, and then like a like kind of weak showing in multiple tournaments. It's just yeah, they had a lot of problems. That's true. I did ban Phil. Ooh, we got dupes next in the chat. What's up, buddy? You have a kilo? I should have a kilo. That would have been smart of me, but I didn't do it. That would have been smart. Oh, yeah, the slash money drama. I don't really know the full details with that one, but that was something that kind of blew up on Twitter. There is a bracket command. Exclamation point bracket. Mm -mm. We did not ever get news on why Phil was banned. You can make your guesses. But no, we never got news on why Phil was banned. I got a game from Squirtle. Um, it's the most up-to-date game I've got. Why don't we hop into it? I got to find their team. I had it in front of me, but now I'm blanking on their team name. What was Squirtle's team name? I'm so dumb. It wasn't Fellas United. Mm -mm. 
me luck. It's Team Go Go, right? Yeah, Team Go Go. Okay. Team Go Go. Let's see who they're up against. Versus Exponential Atomos. And they're up one game. Team Go Go! And I'm not going to be able to spell this right. Very sorry. You're going to be EA. Alright, release a new Star Wars game already. Let's take a look. We got ourselves a Decidueye. We got Umbreon, Blaziken, No Buzzwool. We got Glaceon in the bottom path. Always tough playing Glaceon in path. I wasn't paying attention. Did they get invaded? What happened? They handed off red buff to who? Who took it? Hoopa? Hoopa with the invade. Had to be, right? Man, Hoopa is so oppressive at the start of a match. That was a very weird eject. They're going for it, I guess. Top path, Squirrel doing okay. Making it back home. Hoopa stole. I mean, if you see a Pokemon like uh, Decidueye, I think it's very smart to invade it, you know? It's a weak early Pokemon. I mean, look at its HP right here. Squirrel's gonna need to base at some point. Like uh, they're putting themselves in a tough position here because they're gonna walk center, but they have nothing. They need their seven, obviously. They decided actually. Oh, okay. I was gonna say they decided to go bot. Nope. It's gonna get you five on the tree. Let's see if anybody pun. Ooh, huge arrow. The hunter has become the hunted. From Team Go Go. We got a tree and an A9 chasing them up to the top path right here. They're looking to put some points in, but this could be really rough for them. Yeah, they catch Umbreon. This Trevenant's not yet six. There we go. Wow, look at that arrow. They don't know how much damage they really did. Nice secures there, though. Just outranging him. Heading back through to do their center. Glaceon going bottom. Glaceon could kind of solo rip depending on what the enemy does here. However, of course, they have that Hoopa portal. Just bring an A9 down. Blasty Boy top. Staying top. Looks like Blaziken's also staying top. We got a rapid spin Blastoise. I actually don't hate that, especially into Decidueye. I think it's really good into Desi. Desi doesn't do much against it at all. Woohoo! That was very close. Almost stolen by the tree right there. Very, very close. Glaceon moving in, continuing this combo. Huge eject right there. You had the eject heavy slam yawn. That was pretty. Team Gogo cleaning up this fight. Top path is going a little better for them. But you know, it's going to be hard to out secure Blaziken with rapid spin. I got to say. It's just not a good secure tool. It's great for ripping things, and it's great for doing damage. It's really weak for secure. Zoning out right there. Nice rip from the squad. They should be able to get this as long as they do it fast. It's going to have to be real fast. Okay. Because you always got to remember you've got the Decidueye. Unite move from the Venusaur here. Look at that. Look at that Snorlax combination, dude. If there are any chefs in the chat, I know you've just been kissing your fingers watching that. Holy, what a combo. The eject heavy slam yawn into the unite move catches like every single member of EA there. Beautiful. That was really nice. You're kissing your fingers? I knew it. I knew you were. Snorlax is putting in the work in here. You're kissing your toes? Alright, not what I expected, but good to know. Let's 
was Heavy Slam Yawn. I mean, when I look at the side of EA, there are only really two Pokemon I want to catch with it, but they're good catches. Like, catching A A9 or Venu with that combo is huge, and that sets up some really easy snipes, too. You got the zoning right here. The beautiful arrows. Nice tree, Unite. Snorlax in trouble. Here comes the Hoopa Unite. Unite from Decidueye. I love this Decidueye Unite. This is exactly how you should use Decidueye Unites. People use it to rip objectives. Like, no, no, no. You fire it into when you know multiple members of the enemy team is there. Mean look. Beautiful mean look. Fish in a barrel at that point. Regirock going down. Easy secure here for the side of Go Go. Level wise, things are getting a little out of control. I mean, their tanks are level 11. That's a higher level than their carries on the other side. So, yeah. We're in, we're in trouble if I'm Team EA. I know we're in trouble. Jake, what do you think about Mimikyu? Looks kind of uh, bad competitively. Pretty dang good uh, non-competitively. Easy secure. Easy secure. Oh, we got Zoinks. Looks like Zoinks could maybe do some casting. Yeah, if you're around, Zoinks. Bring you in, talk some games with you. Tree's in trouble. They could they could get this. Hoopa's in trouble. Venusaur Unite. Good Venu Unite. Really good, but it might be too little too late. I think it is. Yeah, they get that to walk. Nice try by the Venusaur right there. They just couldn't make it happen. Um, Scary from the Snorlax. Really scary. Very scary. Level 14 on the bird. Those arrows are going to be hitting. They're going to be really strong. Blasty ulted in base. Oh, gosh. I was reading chat. I didn't see it. Wait, but they have a Unite. Right? When did they Unite in base? They have a Unite move. All right. Am I crazy? Simister. This is almost a level 15 bird. Good positioning here. Huge catch. Hoopa using the iframes there to live for a minute. Venusaur Unite move doesn't get enough. Doesn't get anything with their Solar Beam either. A9 Unite gets nothing. Blaziken moving in. Yeah, they're gonna just they're just completely zoned out right here. This is uh this is Rip City. Rayquaza, low, here comes the arrow. Beautiful secure. And that's a dub for Team Go Go. That's a dub for Team Go Go. GG's and the such. GG's and the such. Nice stuff. Team Gogo -Go takes a win there and moves forward in our bracket. 81k on the bird. I mean, 12k on Blaziken. How did Blaziken do such... I mean, I already see that there was like relatively low team fighting in the match in general, but look at that. 12,000? On Blaziken? That's so low. I guess they just left it alone the whole time. Weird. Weird. Who do we got? Oh my gosh, so many games. Uh, I gotta see Slash's new team, guys. There's so many games I want to see. I gotta see Slash's new team first. I gotta see it. Because I, I don't know what to expect out of this team. But I got I to gotta see Slash's new team. This is... Endless, right? Let me find him. Slash is, you know, one of the best to ever do it. This is Endless versus Comatose.
I gotta check this out. So many good games coming up. You're in for a treat, everybody. Coma how do, how do I spell comatose? I'll never know. I do not... I don't know if either team has won yet. I'm gonna put this at zero. No spamming. You go in timeout. No spamming. Or you're in timeout. Alright. Is Slash overrated? Two-time world champion? I don't know. It's kind of... It's up to you. Two-time world champ. Slash. Playing a support Lapras in the bottom path here. Oh, is it Coma Toast? Oh no, it's Coma Toast. I thought it was Coma Toast for a second. Look at the chat. Relentless playing the Mew in the bottom path. Boozle on the Mimikyu. Pushing up here. I liked the stream. You're welcome. Well, thank you, buddy. Thank you. Zoinks was saying he wanted to hop on. Oh, he's in a game right now. He'll jump on in a bit. And we'll get Zoinks in here to talk about some of these games. Uh, so far, so uh, so good here. As they're stacking up in this top path. Blaziken's in a little bit of trouble. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This my Eldegoss. All the girls stump your feet like this. Few times been around that track. So Okay. Mimikyu heading back to the center. Slash pushing forward right here. Getting really aggressive with the Lapras. I love seeing Lapras again. I feel like you don't get to see it much. And I do think people hopped off it a little too prematurely. So, Boozle on the Mimikyu. I gotta say, as a Mimikyu fan myself, I, I'm, I'm thumbs upping this Lapras. Okay? And I'm thumbs downing this Mimikyu. Not the players, just the Pokemon. I do not think Mimikyu is it right now. Dubs hopping on. No, no dupe snacks today. He says he's with his family. But we all know what he's really doing. Standing under a mustache grower light. Okay. I've got one at home too. I just forgot to use it. We know what the guy's up to, all right? When he's not casting, he sits under a light that makes your mustache bigger. We've all seen the ads for it on TikTok. <laughs> it's 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 really good. Ooh, caught there by the rock tomb. Nice catch. Lapras is still extremely tanky. Not able to take him down. Ooh, look at that. Huge Electro Ball into a Unite move. They're they're actually chasing for it right now. But not able to make it happen. Big scores, though. Slash is going down here. I'm yelling Timber. Here in the top path, though, this Dark Blue on Trevenant has just been absolutely relentless. They're playing one of my favorite ways to play Trev. Honestly, there's no bad way to play Trev. But one of my absolute favorite ways to play this Pokemon, Curse Horn Leech, is disgusting. Okay? If you play this, you should be on, like, some sort of watch list. The NSA should be listening to your phone calls. It's so gross. It's so fun. It's so mean. You are, you literally are, you're resetting Horn Leech in the grossest ways. And you're doing so much damage. It's a very fun build. Slash scoring here in the bottom path. Leaving the goal at one. If they're able to just continue farming up down here, that's pretty good. But we've got Venusaur right here. The Battle of the Beams. Dang, Slash is on such an old school build right now. I respect it. I respect it a lot. What's the best Lapras build? I mean, the one that makes your heart sing is probably the best. But I'm guessing... It depends on the enemy team, but I'm guessing it would be Water Pulse Ice Beam. There are situations where you could run either thing, but... I'm guessing Water Pulse Ice Beam. Thor up here in the top path. 
just working on getting some experience. They've been behind Trevenant this whole game, but you know, having this goal zone opened up here, even though they're going to be behind on score, they're going to have a lot of experience opportunities. And then you look at the side here of what is it? Endless? I can never remember team names when I just uh, just learned them. Endless. You look at the side of Endless with all of these goals up. There's really not a ton they can do experience-wise, except farm KOs. So they're looking for him right now. Venusaur with a huge Unite. Boozle in some trouble right here. They're looking for it. Hits with the Giga Drain. Has to use a Unite move of their own. Venusaur, like, diving deep for that one. They're looking for some sunken treasure right there with that dive, and they're not able to make it happen. Reggie Alecki, easy secure here. From endless as they're up 210 to zero right now they may not have easy experience opportunities but they have opportunities to just take control of this game and that's what they've done Reggie Alecki it's basically gonna walk right here Hoopa having to unite to bring the team up to deal with this makes sense we've got the beams Reggie Alecki easily going down right here and now this could be an easy rip for endless speaking of the word easy that I've used eight times in a row Reggie Rock now just being chipped up. There's really nothing that uh, Comatose can do about this, obviously. Mimikyu's rip on objectives is so good. Do not leave this thing alone with an objective. We've got a Unite on Slash probably coming soon. Slash is just going to continue to offlane right here. So this is unlike when your allies in solo queue offlane and do absolutely nothing. He's going to continue to put pressure on this goal, watch their goal zone, and at the same time attempt to score. Nice catch right here. Mimikyu goes down. They're going to peel back. Bubble Beam breaks the passive right there of Espeon. Solar Beam chips three from that Mew. Slash is going to continue this push here. Should have his Unite move pretty soon. I guess I didn't see it go off. But Lapras's Unite cooldown is still very solid. They over-nerfed Lapras. I think people are sleeping on it. I really do, but I do think they over-nerfed this thing. Like, why did... Why... Why Lapras so hard? It makes no sense. Compared to every other tank, where they're like, yeah, just let it, you know, leave him be. Buff him, maybe, even. And Lapras, they're like, actually, this one, though. Actually, this one. <laughs> why? What's wrong with you, Tim? That's what I call Timmy. Blaziken looking for a KO. Not able to make it happen. Puts out some pretty good damage. Level 12 now. Level-wise, things are a lot closer. Huge beam. Nice beam right there from Reggie's. Reggie Alecky getting pretty low. We're looking for the beams everywhere. Nice stuff here from Comatose. That's a great secure. Great beam. Gosh, that Mew is so strong. So strong. Three get reset. They're behind. They're starting Ray. They're full starting Ray. Yeah, it's happening right now. Venusaur Unite move. We have Eldegoss up in the air. Rayquaza's at half. They're looking for it on the top side of the pit. Slash coming up, using the bubble beam to peel them off. It catches Venu. Venu with the beam. Mew somehow secures. I didn't even see it, but Mew gets the secure right there. As they clean up that fight, Crustle's the only one standing, and not for long. Endless takes this game. GG's. GG's. That bubble beam was really good. That was a really good bubble beam catch. However, they popped out of the bubble beam right in time to Venusaur solar beam it. So it got pretty close there. Mew secures are so good. They're just amazing, right? Take a look at battle data real quick. Mew with the 55k damage. Ven Venusaur on the other side. The band's everything you'd expect, except Machamp. Let's see what we got. People are asking for the LG game. Do I have an LG game? I don't have an LG game right, right now. But I'll have an LG game soon. Uh, I've got a GT game, but it's almost ending. But I've got an LG game very, very soon. It's going to be LG what? Um, let me take a look at my bracket here. I'll, I'll pop me back up on the screen while we... While we cruise and look at brackets, everybody. Did I see the Trev standing before Ray? I did, yeah. I did. Um, Slash is going into their next game. 
as a tank. I've got a GT game, which I would love to see GT, but I do want to see what we have go coming up next. I could... Let me pull this GT game up. I'm going to speed some of it. I just want to see where LG is at. Where are you, LG? Which pool are you in, bro? Bro. Excuse me, LG, bro. What pool are you in, dude? And they say, we're in pool two, my man. Luminosity versus Night Slayers is what's coming up. All right, so we're going to watch this game. Uh, the battle has ended. <laughs> we're not, we're not going to watch it. Okay. The battle ended. So I don't know what it, it ended. Okay. The battle ended everybody. So don't even go like, Hey, where's the battle? It ended. The battle just freaking ended. I don't know what to tell you, but it ended. It looks like we got zoinks available. All right. Let me get my headset. It's not really a headset, it's just a, it's a little baby earbud, but I gotta have something on so that Zoinks's mic is not blasting through my speakers. We'll get Zoinks on here. Cast some games. He'll have to start dealing with my terrible, uh, my terrible spectating because I'm not trying to spectate hard. I'm spectating medium. What up? Hey, hello, Zoinkscast. How you doing, dude? Not too bad. How are you? Good, good, good. Um, just going to go ahead and pull up our next game here. I tried to pull up a game and I, I got in there too late. That's what happens sometimes. Um, yeah, I saw the game and it ended. It, a bummer. it ended. And now my game is like doing this. Right, which is kind of par for the course. Yeah, this is Pokemon you. <laughs> it's kind of where we're at. Yeah. The battle ended, and this is us me, me trying to reconnect. Hi, <laughs> wake up, Pokemon Unite. What have you seen today, Zoinks? Anything that's uh, stuck out to you? Um, I messaged you all about this before. I think EU is just kind of par for the course, sitting rather where I expect it. I'm seeing... NA drift a little bit away from the buzzwall. Slowly, I feel like. We are <laughs> we're trying to play some other stuff. I saw some teams experimenting with Dragonite. That was pretty sick. I'm I, I'm not convinced that there's a problem with buzzwall at all. Um, I agree with you. I just think it's interesting that teams are finally trying something new. Yes. I agree. I agree. Buzzwall, Blastoise are just kind of the, the two best in class, it seems. You know, I put this in your chat earlier. You were talking about it. I'm ready to put Hoopa B tier. I don't know about you, but you, I feel you're like not feeling Hoopa. Hoopa? I'm not. I I've said this for a long time. I think Hoopa's best feature is that it covers mistakes pretty well. But I think there's just teams are too good at beating Hoopa these days. All right. So I don't have uh, Luminosity. What I do have is I have the team Zugs on now. Um, and okay. I've got Nemesis. I think maybe we'll take a look at the team Zugs on first. This is the team that I think is crazy good. They're called like, Orange think... Team, which I refuse to agree with. <laughs> but here we Rolling go. Rolling the casters, just <laughs> the Unite scene's favorite thing. They're trolling us. So I'm going to call them OT. I don't think I'll ever change that. Okay. OT versus... Wow, Kratos has already got the tag, too. No one else, No one else picking it up yet. Let's see. <coughs> Who are they going up against? Aos Elites. Aos Elites. The Aos Elites. Another AE. Smoosh. Aos Elites. <laughs> Aos Elites. They're up one game. So this is Zug's new team with Flareons on it, too. Yeah, it's essentially alter ego, right? With with Zugrug and Flareons being added to the mix. Mm -hmm. So a whole new bot lane. Let's take a look at this bot lane here too. So Flareons, they're looking for the secure here, looking for the water gun. They get it, pushing forward, looking to see what they can make happen here. Obviously they just get aggressive right here. So they got one crit counter, so he has to kind of wait for it. They take it as well. Ooh, Umbreon got him too with the auto. I bet you could have made the 15 happen. Hey, moves back in. Okay. Jake, would you mind sharing your screen? What you're looking at? 
Oh, yeah, duh. Just because uh, I'm like... You're oh, behind, yeah. yeah. That is exciting. I can't wait for that moment. It's gonna oh, be... yeah. It, when you see it, it's going to be exciting. <laughs> it's going to hit. Yeah, it's going to be Also, I really saw people cool. asking where Muck is playing today. Muck is playing tank for um, the E-Kitten squad. Let me know if you can see this well enough. I can't. All right, here we go. Beautiful. Flareon's here in this bottom path. I just kind of wanted to see their path here for a little bit. They're getting pretty aggressive. They could take another. They could take another body. Let's go up top. Roland, Machizel, Kratos. I mean, we got a lot of players. Uh, with a lot, I feel like a lot to prove on this squad, Zoinks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I could agree with that. But then you got the other 50% that are well proof, right? Like, is anyone doubting Zugrug at this point? You know, so it's a good mix. You got the vets. You got some new faces. That's yeah. Exciting. I just think you get, whenever you have a situation like this where it feels like players have been, like, dropped or whatever, I feel like yeah. it's, it's up to them to come back in and really show everybody, like, hey, mm. you made a mistake. You know, it's you want your ex to see you, like, looking For good. Sure. Things are going great with you. You might have even gotten some highlights in your hair. That's Absolutely. what you want. You, you want them to see you with some like beautiful blonde streaks in your hair next time they see you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could say Orange Team is fitting that bill. That's what really they're fair. looking for, you know? Some of them <laughs> might even bleach their entire hair, which maybe went Whoa. too far. Yeah. yeah, slow down, Orange Team. Yeah, careful. Just get they're some tasteful bleeding highlights. Bleeding in a midlife crisis. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you gotta be careful, dude. Nice catch right there. That was really, mm -hmm. really pretty catch. Oh, that was a cool interaction. I don't know if I've ever seen that. So, he used uh, his fell stinger. It did hit the wall. Oh! But it did hit the wall. But he was in a mean look. However, because it hit the wall, it still counted and gave him the crit counter. Oh, interesting. Even though he didn't make it to the wall. Yeah, he didn't make it to the wall. Obviously, he was stuck in the mean look. So. That's the tech. You want to be stuck in mean looks, isn't Kellyon? I guess so. Just a faster, faster fell stinger proc. Reg Ice just being taken down right here. You think they ever nerf Felsinger again? Uh, I or mean, again, they re nerf like, it after they buffed it. After for the they buff it, I don't know. Because they actually didn't buff it, that one for the battle pass. Good. They buffed that one for release, it feels like. Oh, is that right? Yeah, they kind of buffed that one right away, if I remember right. Um, and everybody trying to be Kavi Chans, huh? Yes. Diving into the enemy central after taking out the goal zone. I think the one of the biggest things we learned from Kabichans was um, we can play this game way more aggressively, and you're not gonna get that punished for it. Like you, you actually. Well, Kabichans certainly didn't. I don't know if every team is gonna be that way, but yeah. I think it'd be. I, I think that. Oh, is this the Lisan Al Gaib? Oh my gosh! You Dune fan zoinks? I actually am not. <laughs> I can't believe you. I'm you... so sorry. I know the one. It's the least on Al Gaib. Not... This Garchomp <laughs> is the least on Al Gaib. Are you out of your All mind? Right. I bet that's a great reference. I bet it's so good. No, oh, it's oh, a just good add reference. Add another tally to the one that Spraggles and Dupes knife references just fall short on Zoinks. It's a long tally, and it's pretty sad for me to have to deal with. Nice secure here. They got so much secure on the mm -hmm. side of OT. I mean, holy. Oh. And they're really cleaning this game up so far. All these fights have been great for them. Feels weird to see Machizel on not Machamp at this point. <laughs> I mean, we see in tournament at this point. I, I hope they get used to not being on Machamp. Oh yeah, yeah. I think their I think their other choices are really, really good. Their blaze skin seems fantastic so far. So. I think their Machamp was like they they had a moment, you know. That's what that moment needed. It doesn't. You never need to do it again. Wow! Look at that combo, dude. Yeah, we only got to see the Machamp a little bit uh, at AOS Cup, but against Antic, it looked great. But... Yeah. Oh my god. Dude, <laughs> Blaze again is just ripping through them right here. It's probably one of the most snowbally Pokemon in the entire game. I'm fully with you. Yeah. yeah if you got two level lead, it just feels ridiculous. Yeah, it's um. The thing about it, I, I feel like my my current thought on Blaziken is it's like 
Its impact in singular moments is not as big as some other Pokemon because of how its Unite move works. Mm -hmm. But it plays in such a way that you are constantly able to outplay and beat your opponents because they can't use Unite moves all the time. So right. generally, you're better than pretty much everything you're running up against, except mm. for the moments that they actually decide to Unite. So you actually bait out Unites from your opponents when you're really losing nothing. You're, you're just yeah. fighting, you know? It's it's so it's so good for that reason. Here comes the big time Crustal Unite and an Eldegoss Unite as they just crash this bottom pad, wiping the enemy team, basically. Sylveon Uniting right here. Blissey Unite. And they're just still, they're just continuing. Huge. This, one's, uh, this one seems pretty over. I would say so. It is Joe over. Although they do have the lease on Al Gaib, which is huge. I hear it's a big deal. Yeah. It is a big deal. His mother's a <laughs> Benny Jezzeret, okay? He's prophesized. Did what, you don't just you get? see it last night? Like, did you just get out of the theater? <laughs> uh, if by last night you mean every night, I don't know what to tell you. You don't watch Dune every single night? I have a standing appointment at my local Cinemax. <laughs> yeah. Constantly, constantly heading in there watching Dune. These Pokemon are not uh, moving faster because of what's happening inside the game. I'm moving them faster right now because it's 400 to 50. I would love another speed boost supporter. I mean, honestly, I'd just love Leaf Tornado to come back, but I, uh, I would love another speed boost supporter. It is fun, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Do you have anybody else that increases move speed? Um, I mean, power swap increases move speed. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, Mammo, technically? Yeah, it's it? such a small one. Like, Ice right. Beam from Lapras, doesn't it, as well? It's kind of the same yeah. thing. Uh -huh. So, but it's very few. They're moving in here. I mean, this is just a, a futile attempt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's not much they can do Are here. We have almost 100 teams signed up for North America again. So numbers stay in extremely strong for NA. NA is the best region that is not currently the best. <laughs> yeah. I, w I was in under chat. Jake, I, I still believe in NA. We got this. Look, I believe um, it's got competition. It's got great players. I believe in yep. NA. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. It's not Japan good right now. Um, mm. But I believe in it. Isn't it crazy to think that Kabichan's got fourth in their most recent qualifier? Yeah, I mean, it really goes Nothing to show. Said, Unite Hullet got third. So it's like, okay, also, what happened on the day? Like, yeah. that's interesting. Unite Hullet didn't look incredibly strong for NAOs. They no. Looked good. They looked good. But I think right now, I would say if anyone's going to win Worlds, it's probably Japan. Uh, Latam's got Lat -Am's got a shot for sure. They look great. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. But I don't know about the depth of their, you know, talent there right now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. NA's always got a shot. It, it, what what matters is if your region has a lot of teams and it's competitive. It's the reason that uh, OC has almost zero shot to win. There just there isn't enough competition to to get your teams ready to win. You you need that is true. you need I'd say great teams. That is true. Latam South though feels like that exception, right? Like extremely, they're pretty small as a region, like 30 to 40 teams usually, but Fusion still looks like they could fight with anybody, so. Good squad. Good squad, looking good. I like this team. I like orange team a lot. OT, or the bands. Yeah, that's what that's what you'd expect. Mm -hmm. That's what you'd expect, Soinks. They banned the Hoopa jungle, did not want to see Flareons on that page. All right, can I get it in time? We'll find out. It might do the same thing to me again. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's a risk. Poison. It's a risk. We're going for it. New LG. New LG. It's the Metagross. Different Zora. from the old LG, that's for sure. Yeah. Overlord plus four new players. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like... This is an NA super team for sure. Who would they let Joey get the Trev? Mm hmm. Here we go. Overlord on Buzz, too, yeah. Overlord, yeah, back on top lane. That feels pretty significant. Let's see. This is LG. Who are they up against? It was they it was let, um, I mean, right? they have the ability to rotate positions, too, right? I mean, Lutano played top path for an eternity. Like, yeah, absolutely has options if they like something better. Like, if they like Overlord Zoroark and Central better, they could put Lutano in top. 
All right, um, let's head top. Just good flexibility. I want to see this. We got the scoring happening right in their faces. Overlord's not afraid to score some points. Very Eminem of him. <laughs> it's true. That one I get. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah, these are these are not just for me. You know, they're <laughs> for you. They're for the people watching at home. They're for everybody. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're just being insanely aggressive up here, which you can kind of do to a, a Metagross early, you know? Mm -hmm. Candle gets the five. Poor Litwick clear. Just so atrocious. Oof. All right. Buzzwolves five at birds. Uh, uh -huh. Be careful, Lycanroc, because this is just so <laughs> bad. Yeah. Oof. I mean, this is so bad. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. This one feels uh, <laughs> this feels pretty wrapped up, Raggle. I'm not going to lie to you. Dude, if you let a Buzzwool get ahead early, which is so hard to stop, but, I mean, here come the stacks. Um. The bands were that where we went to Umbreon support into this comp. Yeah, that was really weird. Uh, I mean, I'm guessing Hoopa got banned. Uh huh. Leafy on Blastoise. I just why aren't more NA teams? And I think some top teams do it too. But I'm just talking about like the general teams because I don't even see it on ladder ever. Like, where is Blissey? Why are people not picking this Pokemon as much? With Metagross, that feels incredible. Yeah, Blissey is a really solid Pokemon with that. I just feel like people don't play it very much in ranked. I don't know if you have that same experience, but I don't yeah, see Blissey almost at all. I don't see that much Blissey, and it's very, very good. I'm I'm feeling bad for this Zoroark. They are very sparkly, but I'm feeling bad for the Zoroark mainly because is that Night Slash? Mainly because um, it just doesn't do that well without the support from a Comfey. Sometimes mm -hmm. it it just it feels like it kind of needs it, but once it has it, it's sort of busted. Night yeah, Slash. Did they eject from Lutano out there to make sure they nice didn't Nice illusion get dodge. Him? Yeah. Looks good. You I have to be good to be playing a Zoroark. I mean, <laughs> you have to. Is it the is it the highest skill floor? Like, or what's not the, sure. the highest skill ceiling Pokemon in the game? It's probably it and Mew, right? Um, yeah, that's an interesting one. There are a few that are pretty high up there. Um, you get one. Nice. I, ooh. Wow. He's doing well. He's doing... <laughs> honestly, I mean, you're... you're great Night Slash. Okay. Oh, bad, oh, bad Night Slash. But bad Night Slash. <laughs> honestly, though... Okay, we mean, look, we get the KO. The, the, the outplays out from Zorark are... Uh, they're always a potential, and... Uh-huh. It looks great on this Night Slash. That's true. It's about uh, level 9 at this point in time. Mm-hmm. Good. What's going down, bot? Registeel is being hit here by the knights of the round. We got the hyper hey, voice. Got it. Otter's ten, dude. Large lad. Ooh, he's a large lad. Ooh, nice hyper voice though. Right in his I face. Have a call out. <laughs> got the unite move up here. Picks one. Looks for another. Misses. Grabs. Doesn't have illusion to counter the next superpower. Yeah. I, I, I'm sorry. Like, I know Japan, one Japanese team handled Buzzwool. That that was just one <laughs> Japanese so team making for free look silly. That's all that uh -huh. was. This Pokemon is still the most busted thing in the game. It's, yeah, it's ridiculous. It is so ridiculous. Why did LG disband when winning Worlds twice? I mean... You know, to be fair, two different rosters won for... Um, I'm talking to the chat right now, Zoinks. Talking to Light in the chat. Two different rosters for LG won Worlds. They're not the exact same roster. And at, at some point, especially this late into the season, you have to try to figure out if your team is going to be able to win. And that's what a lot of teams did this after AOS, basically. Right. AOS is like the biggest wake-up call possible, you know? Mm-hmm. Having championship points for seeding in any of these tournaments are super important as well. You want to have your best chance to qualify that. It's the top three teams, so. Some championship points. Beautiful. 325 mm -hmm. to 25. Zorark's playing their heart out, but I mean. We still don't have a Metagross. LG's out here eating hearts. Mm -hmm. They're scarfing hearts, bro. 
<laughs> scarf and heart. That should be our team name. That's... You and I should enter a enter a tournament with scarf and hearts. We're scarf and hearts. That feels like when like if it was like a a movie that's pitched as like. It's a bro, like, fun comedy, but they run into cannibals, and one of the characters is like, dude, they're out here scarfing hearts, bro. I um, I had a really good friend in high school who, did, did you ever hear of NaNoWriMo? I have not it's heard like of the, NaNoWriMo. It's like the, na in November is the National Novel Writing Month. And so oh, actually, I have heard of this, year. yes. Okay, my, my, one of my friends in high school, he won, like, a nationwide Canadian competition for it, and he got his novel published, it was called Eating Sarah. It was about a girl named Sarah who gets abducted by cannibals and escapes. It was a pretty good book. Oh, it's good that they didn't eat her. Well, you should read. Should <laughs> well, well, let me tell you, they do eat her. <laughs> There's no sequel. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Tough. Tough. Yeah. Tough stuff. It is weird. Like it's. I mean, I know everybody gets to write about whatever they want, but it is weird when it's like, "What's your book about?" It's like, "Girl getting abducted, she gets eaten." It's like, <laughs> "Okay, <laughs> okay, cool." Okay. Well, what's Dune about? Is it the same plot? Uh, Dune. Uh, it's mostly yeah. a girl gets abducted and gets eaten by cannibals, yeah. but there's a lot of desert it. stuff. <laughs> Big desert desert stuff, man. Joey with the hammer into the. I mean. You didn't have to do him like that. <laughs> Slowbro, by the way, surviving all of that is insane. <laughs> Actually, even Another able to Pokemon just make it out of that. Another Pokemon that feels quite slept on at this point in time. True. Right? Yeah. Oof. I do think it gets beaten out pretty hard by Trevenant, Crestle, Blastoise, but... Uh, Trevenant's I mean, just in, disgusting. In certain enemies. Yeah. And you were talking about it earlier before I jumped on the call. Like, every build has its own great aspects like the the curse horn leech like resets mm -hmm. on horn leech are absurd like it it's really really good took a long time to get this metagross online and unfortunately this thing needs to be at level parity with some of its opponents you know yeah feels like a very snowball dependent pokemon overlord metagross. getting outplayed by a reggie rock right now <laughs> i've seen this one before <laughs> i do not know what it is about reggie rock but it can beat the best oh yeah Players forget that they have thumbs when they fight Reggie Rock. Sometimes it's it's a crime. Joey, getting some forward positioning right here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as you can see, multiple members of Knights moving down. You got Lutano on that flamethrower, just incredible amounts of poke. You, yeah, you hit one person. Your your cooldowns like less than two seconds at that point. It's crazy. And they're playing in prison too, right? Which I think is my preferred way. I, I feel like in competitive play, in prison is just better with either move set every time. I think you're probably right in comp play. Although I do think there's there are some specific situations where Poltergeist is just really solid. What like maybe like maybe Dodrio? I was about fun. to say Dodrio or the Eevees. There are a couple like good setups okay. for it, but yeah, I mean look yeah. at these combinations. I just right feel like here. if you can call your imprison stuns, it just like towards your team. It, it feels, I don't know, so strong. That was a little too aggressive from the Zorak right there. It didn't need to unite right away. It knew they were going to peel back. Yeah. Or you Honestly, would... just great SB on unite from Otter too to kind of counter that whole push. Yeah. I mean, yeah, beautiful stuff here from Luminosity. It's what you would mm -hmm. expect out of NA's super team. How did uh, uh how did everything I, look for I, me? I, you? I got to see some of the games, but it, I mean, yeah. we had a lot of what you would expect coming out on top. It did uh, yep. Tally Bobo? Did they have a flawless run? Yeah, they didn't drop a map. Um, I want to say Nouns dropped a map, um, but they still made it all the way through. I did. I watched. Um, I watched Nouns lose a game earlier. Yeah, yeah okay. so they did drop it's one at least. least. Yeah, Yala Bingo, uh, same a bit more rocky road. ABC had a, a tougher run, but they also made it through Winter's side. GG's to LG. They mm. win this first game. And they don't have a ridiculous name. <laughs> That's always nice. Who's playing on Exile now? Doesn't YouTube have Simp? I no. don't know who YouTube got. Did YouTube get... No. Simp is still earlier. listed on Exile's roster, so I'm assuming it's not YouTube. I wonder what the bands were. How do how do you walk away? I mean, I assume Leafeon, Blastoise, stuff like that. But how do you give someone buzz? Leafeon, Blastoise, Mimikyu, Crustle. They went back to chaotic. They went back to chaotic. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Actually, their next game would be really good. They're playing against Infamous, who's uh, Lunaire, Zero, Kuzi, Rinkaku, and Tie-Dye. We're all, like, really good NA players. Let's see what we got, Zoinks. Uh, I've got... I've got LG again. I've got uh, Muck. He's on E-Kittens. We could see Muck. Is Slash retiring? Slash is playing today, baby. We just saw <laughs> Slash earlier, actually. Slash playing right now. <laughs> Thank you so much for the sub over on TikTok. And uh, sorry, I didn't call you out faster, Zoinks. Thank you so much for your gifteds earlier, buddy. Oh, you already said thank you. You're good. All right. Well, thank you again. LG, please, says the chat. All right, all right. We can I watch continue, LG again. Continue. I'm happy to see him again. So, Lutano's on SB on this game. What does that... Interesting. So, SB on Central? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Unless we'll they want to flex with, with Del Fox. Too. Yeah. Gyarados top, okay. obviously. I really want to watch uh, LG Overlord on Gyarados. I really want to uh -huh. see what they're up to. I don't know if I've seen it yet. Looks good. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Trevenant has to be banned in this game, right? Yes. There's no way Joey's going to yes. slow bro in early rounds of Unite. Yeah, <laughs> I, I yeah. would I would be target banning uh, Joey for sure. I feel like Krussel and uh, Krussel, Blastoise, Trevenant. A lot of defenders in this band prob probably. I just want to see what their plan is with this carp. Obviously, they're looking for an early carp KO. If they can possibly get one, that would be massive. Mm -hmm. Babysitting our uh, Urshifu down here. Leafeon okay. susceptible. <laughs> Looking for the stacks, and he's getting them. Yep. The Espeon gank is here. And they fall for oh, it, and they give him a KO. Kill. Are you out of your mind? I'm going to oh. eat my own arm. What are you doing? Espeon flanks. People just still don't expect them. For oh, some reason. my I gosh, <laughs> dude. And, they, and they, they handed the KO to the Gyarados, too. Like, it Nine, gets it eight. with the flail. 908. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude. Hey, watch this. All right? I warned everyone it would be PG-13, but you wanted to watch it. What is that book? Eating Sarah? <laughs> this is <Yes>. worse. <laughs> this is worse. Oh, oh man. God. Oh, man. Oh, uh, well. Well, if we want to continue watching this, we can. I do have YouTube's game, if we want to pivot to that. Oh, um... Oh. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know... I'm gonna let the chat kind of decide here if we want to continue watching this. I can't, I can't believe... I, this game is not over, but this game is already, like, absolutely doomed. Um... <laughs> so, <laughs> a lot of people are saying we can go. We can go. Uh, this is so rough. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna at least speed it up. We're, we're gonna catch up as, as far as we can. Okay. I have sent you a parsec link. If you want to, okay. Uh, I might have diff. If I don't have diff, I don't know what's going. I have diff, but I don't know if he's got spectate on. How dare he have spectate on? Oh what my gosh! Level nine right now in their center area. <laughs> it's seven minutes. Oh my gosh, dude! What is this? I mean. 10, 10 at seven. Continuing to score, charge up the Unite. This is so mean. Holy. <laughs> yeah. Well, Knights have a loser's bracket run potential. <laughs> yeah, of course. At a level 11 right now. Five minutes, almost 12. Five minutes, 30, and it's 12. Telling Lutano, back off. I need my 12. Jake, I saw a few people having this discussion on Twitter, and I'm curious with you. Do you think there's any Pokemon that is truly, like, unplayable competitively? Mm. Like, truly unplayable. Unplayable? I mean, unplayable, strong. I think you yeah. can make most things work. Yeah. Uh, the closest I'd probably get is Char. Okay. Um. Or. Char's, yeah. 
Wow, currently eruptions playing Charizard. Uh, Gengar, yeah, I would say Gengar is up there. Um, oh, really? I feel like Gengar's got some. Titar's up there. Yeah, Titar was one of my choices for that. Yeah. I feel like Titar Wigglytuff might be I... there too. I mean, Wiggly, uh, Wiggly's, in my opinion, much better than some of those. Okay, okay. Um, But it's tough. Like, they're not bad. Like, you can win with these Pokemon. But, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. Th those are kind of my early thoughts. What are you All looking right, for? Fair enough. Oh, use the eject. Okay, never mind. Oh, he just enough. He's just uniting for fun. Imprison into mean luck. That is a nightmare. Gengar feels like one of the tougher ones, but it doesn't mean that it's... Uh, um... Except for level 100 Gengar. Here's the thing. Because now it's like, well, what are we what are we considering? Like, is it, yeah. could you beat a team? You could beat a team with just about anything, but that doesn't really right. mean it's actually competitive. Yeah, that's true. That's why I use the word unplayable. Yeah, I mean, unplayable, I guess the answer is nothing. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I agree with that. I do think that we've gotten, I don't know, at, at the level of the Unites out, there's decent amount of options these days i think there are a lot of good options yes and i think a lot of people are a, a little too narrow in their thinking you see things like kabichan's dragonite it's not because dragonite is broken it's because they play an amazing dragonite and can yeah. set it up to do its job better than any team mm -hmm. otter is 14 <laughs> he loves the stealth fox definitely one of his favorite picks obviously he's like most well known for his mew but he really, really likes that Delphox play. I mean, I like this play mm -hmm. from Knights. A weird oh, way to base yeah. right there. I wouldn't base right on pad, but okay. Eh, Otter's not paying attention. He wants to be 15. It's true, but at the same time, it's like, just move a hair and don't get caught really quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That left stick is your friend. Just push it a little bit. <laughs> Water bears up there as like, Ugh, yeah. this thing is not <laughs> ideal. Yeah, water bear for sure. Oof, being an under leveled Leafeon. It's the same level as their Club Fable. Holy. Really great late secure there from Luminosity. Mm -hmm. Calculated. Titar is one of the hardest for position. sure. Like this just, is like another Pokemon that's kind of dependent on having a Comfe. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's dependent on so much. It's big problem is it, and they got Ray, or they got Zap. It's big, it's big problem is it's dependent on so much. Enemy team's flipping, but it still might not even do enough. They have enough time to base, right? So. We got shields. They're looking for it top. Huge Unite. Breaks one. Breaks two. They broke two shields right away. Yeah, they'll, they'll be able to defend this outer pad no matter what, so yeah. I think it's kind of GG. Urchifu didn't have enough points in pocket to break. And they'd already, they're already up to 700, so... Mm -hmm. Good game. True. GG. That's what happens, I mean, when they, as soon as I saw that Gyarados of all that not over nine minutes, I knew it was over. Do I have YouTube? Zoink says he has it, but do I have YouTube? Where is it? Let me see. I don't. Okay. I thought I did. I guess Pika doesn't have his uh, spectate on. Let me see, Zoinks. Um, We might miss YouTube. Well, I can jump in the game Yeah, right jump now. in the game. Let me see if I can okay. do this. I got to do the whole... No, I cannot. That okay. Ended, so. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, let me see if I can get, uh, Pika Diff. On yours? Yeah. Just tell him that, I just gotta tell him to turn his spectator. Or I gotta get a Kilo or something like that. Um. Ignorance, Umbra, Vulp. Dang, there's a lot of good games. And in, in Pool 2 feels like a lot of exciting games. Like Brave Birders versus Flamin' Hot Depressos. That's fun. Give me one sec here, everybody, awesome. while I uh, yeah I keep talking, Zoinks. I'm just I'm just trying oh, to sorry. um get this. Um, uh... Eruption lost their first game to Perp Not Kevin, with almost Mamba on the team. Mamba, for those of you who watch the live events, is the guy with the Bulbasaur hat on at all times. 
a, a camera favorite. Definitely like panning over him. Um, let's see, everybody. What do we want to see? Uh, this is who is this? I got. Oh yeah, I got Bora's team. What is that? Hades. Yeah, that's Hades. I got Hades right now. Ooh. Hades coming up on the screen. Who are they versing? I was just about to check. Are they in losers bracket already? No. No, they're not. Uh, they're just going really slow. Their bracket's l l later. Uh, Calyrex Game Corner. Okay. Or just Calyrex. You know me too well. Hades is up 1-0. Okay. Oh boy, ooh, boo, ooh, ooh. we got a top path thing going on, and a Glaceon. Ooh, I want to see the Sprigatito. Let's <laughs> and go. Cramorant. And Mimikyu. Wow, a lot of my favorites. Yeah, we'll get a Nemesis game for sure, Tristan. We'll take a look at our bracket here in one sec, uh, just so we have an idea of where we're at. Good idea. Bora Cheeks is um, celestial, right? I assume so. Believe He's so. one of those frequent name changers. He used to go by Sulawu for quite some time. Which I and get it. It is funny, changer. but I wish I people would not do it. Them. Oh, yeah. Every caster desperately wishes they would. But I think that Celestial specifically just has a bunch of alts he plays on. Oh, okay. I don't think he. I don't even think he like necessarily pays to change his name. Just as a bunch of like Smurfs, <laughs> he names things. Bottom path, looked for something. We still have a level four. They mm. got to get their buff. They did a quick like grabbing the buff, then running top, and it did not fully pay off for him here. Mm. Yikes! Still in this shard, Glacia. How do you feel about Glaceon between like wind and shard? Uh, I think they're both le super legit. Well, that, yeah, I guess that is true. I, I more meant, like, which way do you lean? Do you like shard or wind a little better? Wind is better, um, okay. I think, but I don't think it's as massive as, like, people think. Um, because I know everyone saw, basically, whatever Kabichans did, everyone's like, it's actually the meta. Um, now that I see it, I it's actually the Uzi. meta. I was looking at Uzi and Trainer. They were like the only two wind players in North America for the longest time. Trainer LGC would always play wind. Uzi would always play wind. But everybody else would be on shard. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Even when Glaceon came out, I was an icy wind believer. Uh, okay. I recognized it wasn't as good because it didn't combo with the Unite move. But I was right. like, this thing is actually really good. It just it takes more skill. And nothing that takes more skill is going to be a popular. <laughs> the fact of the matter is it just takes too much skill for players to want to pick it up. Um, yeah. However, I've, I've said this a lot and I really, it's very true. It matters that you can execute what you need to execute easily. So I don't think just because something is more complicated and slightly better, that means it's always necessarily better. Sometimes the easier thing is actually a lot better because so many things stop you from what you're doing in a match of Unite. Felt like before the nerf, the uh liquidation conversation well yeah liquidation yeah. was just way better first off it you know it was just so strong but also yeah. like you can't miss so like i know we're all so good with shoot shooting our snipe shots and we're all american sniper out here they're gonna write a book about all of us with how good we are with intellion but the fact of the matter is if you can't miss you're gonna do a lot better we're all like the duke of atreides out here right hey, come on right don't even <laughs> It's not gonna happen. All right, I don't care. I don't care what Wikipedia you're looking up. Uh, what a worm! <laughs> Which one? <laughs> oh, <damn it>. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Look at this, man. The domination of a top path player. Okay, look at this. The domination of a top path player. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> the domination a second time. <laughs> they know when they're on camera. Yeah, they do. <laughs> That'd be really funny if, like, all of a sudden a little camera icon came up on the top right-hand corner of your screen. Uh -huh. like, okay. You're it's being showtime. watched. Yeah. <laughs> Spin on the goal. <laughs> you know players would act different. <laughs> I think I'm surprised players don't show off a little bit more when they're on broadcast. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. You do see it sometimes, but I'm surprised they don't like pop, have like because you can you know when your character's like popping off probably on screen, you know. Uh huh. Yeah, that's true. I, players of the in person have the benefit of being able to like pop off on cameras and stuff. Like, yeah, that's true. Nemesis and SAR are two teams that really love <laughs> big celebrations on stage. Wow, and they're all gone just like that. They were there. Stuck on War Turtle. The chat saying stuck on War Turtle in this day and age is hilarious. I don't think Garby's feeling that this is very funny at all right yeah, now. Not a great joke. <laughs> you know, it's actually not funny. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you hate it when people are joking around and you can't you're you're not in the mood for jokes right now? <laughs> it just makes you so yeah. dang mad. <laughs> uh, so much worse. How does it feel, Zoinks, by the way, to be a meme? Oh, which one? Which uh, one? Because I don't know Dune characters? No, no, <laughs> walking to the stage at, oh, at Aos. I feel yeah, like that, that was, that was the that was the exciting fun. meme of the tournament. <laughs> it was a good one. I still can't believe we're letting Chef off scot free for what they did, <laughs> but it's fine. I mean, Dupe Snack no, Dupe Snacks will tell anyone who will listen. <laughs> it's it's so funny. it's so unbelievably funny. Ooh, I like that Mimikyu unite. I did that too. Was, that was, was very fun. fun. Like what? One less hyperspace fury stun theoretically. Yeah, <laughs> and just sets him like up for like a perfect combo from the team, and you really have no mobility as Hoopa at that point, except for an eject. So yeah, I mean, what is what was Hades doing at that time while they were sieging that top goal zone? I think they're, they're worth it. I think they're just vibing. I mean, it's 483 <laughs> at this point. So. I guess. Yeah, you're right. I think it's just right, full yeah. vibs. Nice move from Blastoise right there. They actually got something, but they all go down. Jeez, these Eevees. Can we talk about, um, like, what what are they what are they doing? Like, uh, I don't it's know. so crazy how good the Eeveelutions are inside of Pokemon Unite. They're, they're, they're... Nerf them all and then give them all a what is it? A, currently a one percent increase to some random to one of their stats when they're all five of them. Or yeah, five percent increase. One percent. Whatever. Nerf them all and make it a two percent increase. Wow. You know, just, justify it. Huge. <laughs> but yeah, no, you're right. They are every single one of them is absurd. Really? So this is coming from the chat. I was very curious how this was going to work and we're getting it from rhino in the chat right now mimikyu ult bugged us and no one could take the portal i was wondering what happened why no one went through the portal so it actually stopped it really okay, okay. so it had to wow. be the frame that they did it in mimikyu's broken confirmed in Mim like maybe in a not good way. Yeah, <laughs> Mimikyu's broken. Uh, please don't ban it, Mathcord. It's not. Do it's not doing anything to anybody. <laughs> let's be honest. They're still banning Mascarada out there, aren't they? Who knows? M Mathcord is. Yeah, they was for a while. Oh, I, I I never know what they're banning. They'd ban half the game if it was up to them. <laughs> I get it. Yeah, the yeah. game is broken. I play it every day. <laughs> I'm well aware. Just like at, at some point, they're they're not fixing this, guys. Oh no! What happened? Oh, Mimikyu, Mimikyu bugged him again. Mimikyu bugged us uh, again. Yeah, but th that being said, I did think the walking thing was quite funny. I really thought they were gonna give me a mic, but they did not. So I just got to walk fun. It was a good time. It was a good time having you walk there. Everybody, mm -hmm. everybody had fun. I think my favorite joke was you being like, they told us to run. They did, though. <laughs> yeah. They were like, go, go, go. Get up there as fast as you can. And then we see yeah, you know, having a, ja a jaunt. Guy. The camera guy's walking backwards. I'm not going to make him run backwards. I mean, look, Zoigs, this is what they're paid for, okay? <laughs> oh, that's so true. Ugh. Great, uh, great portal right there to get him out. Wow, Blasty's down. That's it. It's going down. And there's a Meowskarata Unite. It's a pretty good Meowskarata Unite in that moment. And good Cram Unite, but they're just like getting absolutely ripped apart here. A Luka Snipe. Lucario. Lucario's Night Move is cool. Feels like it needs a boost. Wow, I was I actually think it's so good. Really? I think okay. it's super slept on. Yeah, it's so powerful. And now that it releases faster, I don't know. I think it's awesome. Okay. All right. Retract 
Nice save. I think Lucario I just... is just not very sexy right now, that's all. Oh yeah, it's you and your Duraludon agenda again. There are Pokemon that are good, <laughs> but they're not cool. I know, I've heard it before. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Okay, Sprague. It's true. <laughs> Look, I don't know how people play Glaceon without hiding their face, but they do somehow. <laughs> so they could do the same thing with Duraludon. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That is fair. Mm -mm. Yeah, Glaceon's got to go. See, Celestial in the okay. chat. Luca ult is OP. I agree. Right. I well, agree. If I'm going to take anyone's opinion on it, it will be Celestial. So yeah, fair enough. We go. We're going to four-digit them. Let's go. Beautiful. Bang, bang. Beauti what were the bands? Sylvie, huh? Sylvie and Leaf. Buzzcrust. Okay. YT are down 1-0 against Team Infamous. I got to see YT. D hold on. Did one of them add me? One second. One second, everybody. You get to see my face for a minute here while I see if somebody added me. <laughs> they freaking uh, better. Ignorance out. is up 1 0 against Umbra Vulpium. Okay, I got a kilo on here. Nice. Freaking Pika diff. He's trying to diff <laughs> me on stream. S sounds sounds worse than it is. Freaking right. got diffed on stream by Pika diff. <laughs> Mm, we're gonna watch this yeah, game. Jake, when are you when no. are you hosting the one v one tournament for Spraggles viewers? I hate one v one. I hate it. Really? Oh, yeah, okay. I think well, it's the worst. No All right. One v one in a team game. <laughs> oh, who's better with the boo 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 boo? Get out of here. One v one, me bro. Never in a billion. This is one of those situations where, and you get it sometimes with Spraggles, just for all you chat people listening, you never know when you're going to poke a hornet's nest. No. Like, you really don't. All of a sudden, it's like the strongest opinion you've ever heard. Heck yeah. <laughs> that, Heck yeah. Yeah, it's it's surprising. It's a kind of a jump scare in friendship. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So they're down one game to Infamous right now. Team YT versus Infamous. Let me update the names in here. Infamous. Ooh. We actually on take. Oh no, he's just top pass Trev. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, he's top pass Trev. I got to. Uh, I interviewed Rex on our podcast after um, after AOS Cup, mm -hmm. and we were talking about all the roster stuff and everything. He was saying that Orange Team he thinks is like the strongest squad to come out of all the changes and everything. Uh, but we talked about his YouTube game because off broadcast they got two owed by YT, mm -hmm. um, and he was like, "It's just Sam on Gardevoir." Like, I told my team, we need to focus this guy, and we did not, and he just rocked us both games. Yeah, like, Sam. Two games in a row. Like, Sam's really so good. good. Sam's guard, he's great. And they have Chaotic again, who's playing the A9 again. He's the only player left on this Pokemon. I saw one earlier, too, out of, uh, I think, EU, maybe, and yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. it's very rare that you get the... Uh, Get the A9 love. And there it comes up, picks up a big KO early. Look at the rotation right there. No Hoopa, no problem. It's just... I you picked A9 because it's got great anti-dive, but you just have Espeon now, which is just true. better. And they nerf look, they nerfed A9, so I That's mean, true. it's it was a small nerf, but you know, cooldown nerfs actually are pretty massive. It, yeah. You don't expect them to be big. Like when they nerfed Crustle's damage, I thought, yeah, who cares? Um Right, exactly. But nerfing cooldowns can actually be pretty big. That's why I was wondering if it was gonna hurt Tree very much, but it didn't. It was fine. No, yeah, it's kind of okay. Helps that the other moves that got the buff as well. Yeah. In in that same patch. Yes. Yeah, they got two buffs for a nerf. They just did some trading right there. Did some trade. I, I wish they would do that a lot more, actually. I I do too, I think it's yeah. A cool idea. Yeah. I think it's a cool idea. It happens in well, digital card games a lot that I play, like you call it a burp. Man, look at that. Jeez. Looking pretty good. Yeah, and you go Psychic every time when you're playing A9, right? So you just you hit the Psychic Shred defense and then just yeah. explode them with the combo. And they've got oh. LD too, so it's not the most yeah. special attack damage, but there's more coming at them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you have LD slows and A9 freezes. Like, there's a lot of annoying things for the other side to have to deal with. Look at that, man. Look at their clear, too. 
Like the second something's up, it does not exist anymore. Guardy with the lowest Unite move cooldown of like all time right now is amazing too. And I, I was shocked, Zoinks, that we didn't see more teams actually pick up Guardy. It felt yeah. like it was being played more before the buffs, which was super confusing to me. Yeah, it, it feels like just a few players are really comfortable on it, and there's just a lot of players that aren't. They just want that earlier power spike. They want that early gank, and you will never get that from Gardevoir. <laughs> Did you see, by the way, how much they shred that with one combo right there? Yep. <laughs> this is absurd. Just let it walk, guys. <laughs> <laughs> chill, you chill. <laughs> well, it felt like they were gonna let it walk, and then they kind of stayed there for a half second, and Garchomp almost broke goal, and I was like, what are you doing? Let it walk! What level is Garchomp at? Eight? Eight. Oh, okay. You're like, uh... Title card is blocking their level. Unless you're I know, I need, to, I need to move. I have it set up for mobile. Ah, I see, I see. Yeah. There we go. We got the Garchomp, though. Oh, Scuba Hollower. You never see this look. We wonder what they're going to do up here, hiding in the tall grass. Oh, did they see the tree? They're looking for Fui? At that point in camera, I think he's taking up your full view. Here we go. Goes in for the combo, into the hyper voice. However, I mean, the combo right back. Unite move goes down, too. LD gets the KO, but I think that pain split had a lot to do with that, too. It's hard to choose to unite that without the Blissey backup. Like, if you Bliss assistance there, you maybe like walk away with turning that team fight around, but comboing the guard champ unite without the Blissey ult feels really, really dangerous. Oof, we run, buddy. <laughs> Head down on the bottom path here. Peek a diff in the bottom path, just kind of holding it down. 168, 100, this is a close game. But Spark. the thing that doesn't feel close here is this combination between Chaotic and Sam. Uh -huh. They're just like ripping things apart. We've got Unite moves on both of them, ready for the fights. Fui's going to solo top here for a bit. He actually, yeah, he might he might join the team. He might just stay top. I want to see this rip again. If they just do the combo again, it. I mean, I know that was early in the match, but look at this. More than half the HP. In literally just both their move combos right there. That's crazy fast, dude. So much damage. Yeah, that's uh, signs of things to come around Ray. It definitely is dangerous for Infamous. We got three members of Infamous pushing top right here. And they're actually going to peel away, huh? I felt like they might push this. They decide not to. They're going to look for a bottom goal. And they played goal. a lot less Gardevoir because of Mimikyu's rise. I uh, I also wonder what it was. I don't know what it was. All right. Speaking of objective clear, how about just shredding a Garchomp? Yeah, I know, <laughs> right? Seconds, full combo. A9 Yikes. didn't lose any power, by the way. It only lost cooldown, so it's still quite strong. Yep. This Unite move is great, too. Someone's asking, is that Shiny Spray? That's Pika Diff, baby. You think he goes anywhere without Shiny Spray? Yeah, he's blinged out. The guy is freaking... It's crazy, man. Have you seen his watch? I have, truly have not. Is it big? I don't know. <laughs> it's massive. Whoa! Dude's watch is massive. Gigantic watch. Umbreon watching bot here. Score-wise, this is still close, but, I mean, level-wise, YouTube is crushing it right now. Mm -hmm. Fui hiding. We got them ready for a fight right here. It feels like YouTube is just like in, has had so many great catches onto mm -hmm. Infamous in this fight, or in this fight in this match. Excuse me. Yeah. You just playing pretty far to try to get a big rock tomb. But I'm not gonna find it either. Caught in the mean look, but he's okay. Ooh, nice catch there. We're going uh, Puff and Cotton Guard. Yeah, very. Old Eel. Very support focused. Mm -hmm. But you know, they don't have much on the other side, like what are you trying to like yeah. what are you trying to knock up outside of Chomp, really? Yeah. Everyone else is far enough away. It's actually gonna be one of my biggest critiques with the infamous comp. It feels like they're half dive, half poke, like something in the middle. And it feels uh I don't know. Split strategies aren't often that successful. I don't love their comp either. They do have some things there. I mean, you hyper voice into everything Muse dishing out. That's something, right? Um, but I don't love it either. They're going to be able to get a Lecky here. 
YouTube it's is pretty up. dependent on getting a good mean look. Like you need, you really need to burst a mean look to target. Let's see. Biggie just got crazy good aggressive crustal positioning. Yeah. We're gonna see if they can catch anybody here. Sylveon looking for the points possibly up here. It wouldn't be a bad call. Garchomp uh -huh. also moving. If we get them the lead. Garchomp looking for something here. I kind of want to see how Garchomp wants to engage on this fight. Mm -hmm. Ray's getting hit. Here comes Fui looking for this fight right now. Garchomp with a Dragon Claw combo onto Fui. We got the Snarl. We got the Hyper Voice. We got the damage. Unite move there from Guardi. Doesn't catch much. Ooh. A9 goes down without uniting right here. Fui's in a lot of trouble right now, too. Living on a prayer right now, having to peel back. Regirock buff, honestly, I think one of the major reasons Trevenant's still walking away. Yeah. At that point in time. And we can see everyone just kind of repositioning here. We still have a Unite move on Mew, and we still have a Unite move on A9 as soon as A9's back. Gosh, look at how much damage Guardi just outputs in one combo. YouTube's still up. We have Mew Unite and A9 Unite still. Ooh, they're oh, starting oh. it. Here we go. They're going for it. Umbreon zoning them out right here. Rayquaza is at half. Stuck in the mean look right here. A9 going up, but it's a little too early. Secured right there by the Sylveon with the Hyper Voice. That's Two peeling off the score. By Umbreon. Umbreon like, I, they actually pushes it to so the Snow Globe. Didn't even hit the Ray. Yeah. Unite. That's really good. 306, 168, there's another 100. I don't think they're going to be able to do anything with that now. And that means YouTube goes down to losers. 20 seconds yeah. left, here comes Chomp. Yeah, you can't stop it, and if after it's used Dragon Rush, it's unstoppable. GG's, right. infamous. Dang, Taking 2 it. owing YouTube, that's crazy. Taking it. Good fight from them, really good fight. Absolutely. Hmm. Absolutely. No spoilers in the chat, by the way. I saw something that wasn't technically a spoiler, but it was kind of. So like what the just of Atreides does. Watch out for it. Watch out for the spoilers. What do you say about Paul Atreides? I said it's a spoiler. Oh. You can't be spoiling that. Yeah, you can't be spoiling what happens to. We'll see. To Paul Atreides. <laughs> uh, let's see. I got GT. I got uh, Orange Team. I got Muck. What does everybody want to see in the chat? We haven't watched GT yet, have we? We have not watched GT yet. Chat saying GT, please. Um, I'm happy to see a GT game. GT, 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 GT. Everyone wants GT. Who are they up against? Zoinks, do you have any idea? I'm looking for them right now. They're against Umbreon's Rixel pick. Oh, it's because I'm not right. Hold on. Both of my tabs were on the same pool. I made mm. a fatal error. Yeah. Fellas United. They are currently 1 0 over Fellas United. Oh, Fellas United. What a name. I know your favorite. Yeah, this is Martin's team. Uh, Underdunk tournament organizer. I thought you were about to say winner. Ooh. I hey, don't think they ever won. OG? They play in their own okay, wake up, OG. <laughs> who's back on... Uh, who's who's on GT? Who do they got? Uh, Stanley is going to be playing the Talon Flame for them. That's Greninja 2X? Yes. Stanley Fishy is their like, <laughs> name. Stanley Fishy. They play a lot of Talon Flame, a lot of Greninja. That's another common one. Dude. Hey, I mean, I'm happy to see uh, some talent, that's for sure. Yeah, OG, big, uh, in a little rise. trouble right here, having to use their eject early. Nice. Oh, eject right back. They go down. No! The Skull Bash! What a world! Yeah, okay. Nerf plus. Nerf Squirtle, please. <laughs> yeah, Squirtle does. I mean, Blastoise is, Blastoise is way up there in, like, desperate needs yeah. of some nerfs. I feel like you could lower the shield it gets on its Unite, and that would feel impactful. Like, mm, the yes. time of the knockup on the Unite, maybe? Yes. It's just, it's good at every point in the game. Um, I know. It's 
so. It's one of those tough ones, you know, uh, where it's like it's really hard to find moments where it's bad. So that I feel like that's when it's hard to nerf a Pokemon. It's a lot easier. Is that a score shield? No, it's coaching shield. I don't know. Was it? Mm, I thought so. I mean, Stockings was on coaching during that fight. It was green. Okay. All right. It was coaching. Well, I'm watching Maybe this it is Pokemon. Maybe shield and I'm going to eat my words later. But no, I mean, I, I, it definitely could have been coaching. But... Umbreon needs nerfs, says the chat. Get ready for the battle pass. I don't think we're getting a nerf. I actually don't think Umbreon needs that many nerfs. I don't think it's... I don't... I don't think it's... Oh, look at those. They go... Oh. They follow oh them all the way. You gotta follow I feel that. like it's the most fair of the Eevees. Well, no. Sylveon's probably the most fair of the Eevees. Uh, they're all pretty dumb. They're all so good. Yeah. That's like, it's the best <laughs> cancer. That's a score shield, my guy. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Absolutely is a score shield. They did have the coaching shield at that moment on top as well. It doesn't... It. it I believe you, but also <laughs> that was a score shield. That was. It was. Yeah. I will. I will relent. Oof, it's always tough to see an underleveled Leafy on, you know? Mm -hmm. It's just the, one of the saddest things in the game. Getting outpaced by the Talon. Getting outpaced by the Slowbro. Triple e Yeah. <laughs> Triple Eevees. Usually a recipe for success. You have to win early, right? I mean, if you don't win early, you're just in so much trouble with these. They, they present you one of the easiest ways to win early. Mm -hmm, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's really true. Chat says, let's watch LG. We'll definitely be seeing more LG today. They've got a fun match to qualify, I think. Is it Hades? I believe it's Hades, yeah. yeah. Or Top, their, huh? their projected matchup. Yeah, their projected say. matchup, yeah. And then when they lose, of course, rack immediately. Oh. <laughs> Question is how how does LG play against Rack? You know they don't. Um, <laughs> Brave Birders two owed Flame and Hot Depressas, by the way. Okay. Brave Birders is one of those teams, man. Uh -huh. Bra Brave Birders is like. <sighs> I think they bubbled out of. Um... I think they bubbled out of uh, AOS Cup Swiss. Yeah. They went 3 2. But yeah, they, they did. They bubbled, so. Still I, an impressive performance in a stack tournament. They're always they're always good enough, you know? They're, they're always right there. They're always sure. right there. It's one of those teams that's like, it's very exciting because they're always on the precipice of being a top team. They could do it at any moment. Yeah. Very British sweep. They were playing Machamp last year, before it was cool. Still, it, no matter when you played Machamp, it's never been the right time. <laughs> it was always before. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if there's ever been the time to actually play Machamp. God, I love Talon so much. Level 11. It's such a hard counter to Glaceon, too. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Someone in the a chat earlier was like, it's a hard counter to all attackers, which I, I kind of get what they're saying, but it's literally yeah. a hard, like, it's a true counter to Icicle Spear Glaceon. It's. Com like, almost nothing counters like yeah. that. Ooh, Bliss Assistance. Except Dodrio, who gets countered by everything. Dodrio's countered by every Pokemon, so <laughs> that's, like, that. that is what it is. But I'm saying, like, the ability to completely negate all of the Icicle Spears, that's crazy. Interesting. We're Scald Bro. Why are we Scald Bro into this comp? Just because we don't have enough damage? Scald Bro, it's, it's not it, right? Well, okay, but you're you're bringing Surf Stoice and Talon. Like th that's not a lot of just raw damage. Yeah, I guess it feels weird in the Triple Eevees to not run Surf though. It feels like weird in general to not run Surf. I have to be honest. <laughs> okay, okay. It look Scald Scald feels like a solo Q build. I think it's decent in the Buzzwell. I think it's a nice answer. Uh, I don't know. You're only nerfing one part of its damage, and who cares? It still has the combo. <laughs> I can't. But it still does, does its combo even if you're surf-stunning it. Uh, yeah, but at least there's displacement there. Like, 
I don't know. Like you're forty percent of attack damage re uh, of attack reduction, not attack damage reduction. Like it's not enough. It doesn't change enough. Uh, I I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna stop you from getting KO'd by Buzzwall. That's all I'm saying. Fair enough. Listen, I'm not arguing for telekinesis or something. <laughs> you know. I Look, you're a Scald fan, that's fine, okay? I just think it has niche cases. I think Surf better, in general. But. It definitely has niche cases, and it's called Solo Q. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, my favorite case. <laughs> <laughs> Solo Q, everybody's favorite. Ooh, that was tough for Talon. There's Scald picking up a KO just like I said it would. Egg noob's cracking the sticks. Ooh. Oh, that's a good sir. Blastoise is so yeah. dumb, dude. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Blastoise is so dumb. Looking for Martine here. Martine, run! Yeah. Oh. Me with a triple. 274 to 50, Oon. Mm -hmm. Did you know that about Cramorant? Tell me. What, did I but know it's what? Japan, it's Japanese name is Un Un, and it's like supposed to be like the sound of choking. Oh, I did not know that. <laughs> it's pretty funny, yeah. That is it's pretty funny. One. Also, it's yeah. weird. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> I do think it's funny that it's named after like the cormorant duck, and so they kept that in English, but they gave it a meme name in Japanese. Yeah, in Japanese they're like, it's choking, and we're like, we'll just do the, uh, we'll just flip a letter around, okay? We're not gonna do choking. <laughs> we're not gonna do that. Well, thank you. All right, here we go. Got some positioning around the pit right here. They're starting Ray, and they're eating a massive solar beam into a hydro pump, into a boosted. Just pushing him right out. Talon looking for a KO. Mime having to unite. Talon flame sweeps in. Mime's on absolutely nothing, getting Bliss assistance right now. Talon up into the air, looking for Glaceon. Finally gets it. Glaceon, Blissey, Mime all down, resetting through the portal. One of the longest looking uh, unite moves I've ever seen. Felt like it really got some distance right there on Leafeon as this is just going down. Martin, nothing they could do. Unfortunately, they're coming in with the hyper voice. Not going to make a difference here. The secure by the bird. Bird comp? Bird's doing very well in Unite these days. I'm Cross loving the board. it. Yeah. Well, when the squishier the you bird. make the uh, enemies, the better bird does. You remember there was a long time where like every team was running like double defender with. Yeah. Uh, it was just so, like it's so tanky. You're never gonna be able. Double beam to... days, right? You were running, you were running double beam and two defenders. Like, mm -hmm. Crazy, crazy poke, crazy tanks. And yeah. Now, and now with yeah, running so many EVs, like Talon, and a lot of speedsters in this way, but Talon has a lot of options when you're running into these super squishy EVs. Mm-hmm. Still surprised we don't see more Absol. It feels like EU, one of the only regions that's still playing that Pokemon. But Yeah, I like Absol too. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we don't see enough of it. Bing! 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 100k damage from stockings. Peace. Four digit score line. That's a lot when you think about it, when you think about numbers. Yeah. When how many they can get up to? Oh, yeah. People wanted to see uh, LG. I've got them right here. Let's see who they're going up against, Zoinks. Oh, Seltzer. Yeah. You got it. Let me find. Uh, Avarice. Avarice. And they haven't reported their score. They're 30 minutes in. It still says 0, zero on Star GG. I'm kind of assuming that is not correct. Is it ICE? ACE? How do I spell Avarice? ACE? ICE. Uh, A V A R. I -C -E. A V A R. Ah, see? I don't know how to spell anything. I'm not going <laughs> to learn today, baby. All right. To be fair, I'm not going to blame you for not being able to say the made up word. <laughs> Well, I, I should Google if Avarice is real. Avarice is real, isn't it? Ah, uh, yeah. Extreme greed for wealth or material gain. Avarice. Yeah, they're greedy, baby. They need those AOS coins. It was rich beyond the dreams of Avarice. Feels wrong that they are not all in shiny spray. Oh, yeah, they should, right? I, I want to see if Overlord picks up a KO here. Yeah. Blind. Are you not? Are you gonna do it? Don't do it again. <laughs> well, 
a different team. But, I know yeah. it's a different team, but just looking at it, like I play Magikarp, uh, and I, there are times where I'm like, it, no one's gonna give me a KO. They're just too smart. And then you're watching these pro teams. are like, what if I stand next to it? <laughs> I like that you're not begging a specific player. It's that you're begging all of the player base and humanity. <laughs> I'm just like, it. you guys know what's <laughs> gonna happen, right? If it KOs you, it immediately evolves. Don't let it do that. Right. One That's of the best big. things you can do is not let it win. Yep, it's true. Feels like a foregone conclusion at this point, though. Here we go, jumping in. They get the assist on that one right there. After the score, they'll evolve. Big score, too. There we go. This is a this like situation with Gyarados is exactly what's wrong with Tyranitar right now. Oh, interesting. Please tell me. Well, it has a weak early game, but there are right. things you can do to like make that time shorter, right? And then once it evolves, it's extremely powerful. A lot like Tyranitar, but Tyranitar has to wait till level nine. Like this and thing. Men. Like, yeah. it feels like 10 is kind of where you're... But the thing is, if you're able to evolve early, if you have, like, a way to make it happen, like they they do with Gyarados, you kind of... You get rid of that being, like, a, a death sentence in your games, basically. Right. Because this is essentially good Tyranitar. It's, like, very different, but it's essentially good Tyranitar. It's like Tyranitar if it was designed correctly for competitive play. Alright. The other option is you just make Tyranitar way better early. Or way better late. But then, I don't know what you do with that. Mm. I'm going to order fried chicken for dinner, I think. I had fried chicken last night. Nice. Honestly, mid. Oh, no! I was super Sorry. disappointed. It's my favorite place in the city. So I think I'll be okay. You guys got KFC in the city? Wow. <laughs> it's big time. Huge, big dude. Time. <laughs> Huge. Coming from the chat, War Prince says Pupitar specifically needs a buff. It should not be that weak. I'm with you. I just think it it's always a shame. Please don't take that from him. Okay. It's always a shame when a Pokemon is... It feels like it's doing what another Pokemon does just better. Like, for the longest yeah. time, before we got the recent Scissor buffs, it was like, are you really doing Scissor that dirty? You're going to release Metagross, and it just does its job, but better? That's so sad. <laughs> yeah. Maybe... Oh, maybe that's the one that I think is truly unplayable as Scizor. Uh, I mean, OC, they've played it in some games. That is true. That is true. I recognize I OC know. as like its own little... I, I, dimension. I've kind of likened it to like playing at your friend's house. Um, <laughs> which I don't think is really unfair. Um, you know how like <laughs> strategies will develop inside a very small community? And you are like, yeah, nobody plays the OP thing because we we all counter it every game, and now we're doing this other thing. But if you were to bring it to a broad, a more broad player base, you'd be running into the OP thing, and you'd be like, wait, what? <laughs> I feel like that's what's happening in in OC. They're like countering specific players and teams so much harder. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I, I talked to um, Kratos about this for quite some time, and they're like, yeah, they're you get into the top eights and it's like the metas look weird sometimes but it's just because they play against each other so so much in these regions that it very specific bands very specific like rotations you know where people like to end up so you're gonna try to punish that that kind of thing like it's kind of cool luminosity's good oh yeah they're good at the game for sure this is a, i mean this is a really good squad they have they have a chance I'm excited about this team. Like, I saw Relic talking in the chat a little bit earlier. They're thinking new LG is good. I totally agree. They're going to be a really fun team to watch. What do you think is... I, I don't want you to, like, s spoil your power rankings or anything. But what do you okay. think is uh, the best thing going in NA right now? You think it's Orange Team? You think it's Nemesis? Uh, you think it's L LG? I... Th Ooh, man, I mean, I've been so high on Nemesis. It feels like a weird time to get off that train. Mm -hmm. um, I think long term, I think Nemesis. However, you can't underestimate the power of an esports honeymoon phase. 
Yeah. Like, they are real. <laughs> Teams just start clicking right away as they build a new team. They're feeling good. So I think it's a very real possibility that Orange Team or LG win April Cup. Um, but I do think Nemesis on paper is the strongest team. Nemesis is extremely good. And they had they had no... I think Trainer is one of the best mechanical players in the game, period. Yeah, Trainer's insane. I totally agree. Uh-huh. Trainers insane. I think his their draft their team is are a little good. weird sometimes, but I, I they brought out the Mimikyu, right? Yeah, he plays a lot of Mimikyu. I, I think he's just mechanically believe. gifted enough to like make up for that. Oh my oh, gosh, God. that was well, so that. pretty. I mean, jeez, dude, hiding in the bush, using uh -huh. the unite to just eat the move entirely, and then moving in for the fight. That was really pretty. He's so good at this game. <laughs> like... I, I, you know what? I actually think he is pretty good. Ah, oh, I'm glad we're agreeing. On I actually fun. think Overlord's pretty good at this game. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I know some people are like, oh, he's not very good. No, no, I think he's yeah. actually pretty good. Enough is enough, yeah. I'm <laughs> yeah, so sick of people good. thinking he's not good at this game. He's what actually he's pretty good. Right now. I'm just fed Garchomp. Yeah, What's going on there, huh? He is feeding. <laughs> this is the problem. The guy feeds. That's why Slash left. Yep. People were like, what happened to LG? Overlord feeds, bro. <laughs> Just feeds. Just feeds too much. What are they doing? What are they doing? Just chilling. I don't know. <laughs> Just see if they can pull it off again. Yeah, it feels like a oh. similar. They get it back. They're oh, no, they're, they're new Yeah, Guardy gets it back for sure. But it's one of those like, ah, oh, they get absolutely nothing out of that. You know yeah. who else gets it back is Gyarados. Yeah. Gyarados' Unite move charge is silly low. Very few drawbacks to this Pokemon once you are Gyarados. You know, there's very few reasons against this Pokemon. It still needs a buff. It still needs some, like, not even a buff, but, like, it just needs its second, like, uh, I guess you could look at it as a buff. It needs its second build, like, looked at, because it's a mess, but... I was, I was talking with a bunch of casters at EUIC, who, like, in the green room, who don't play Unite, and we were all laughing. Like, I do think Gyarados is one of the best like uh advertisements for your night because it is hilarious to yes. watch magikarp just flop around like it is so funny it's ridiculous uh but then all of a sudden it becomes gyarados and just pops up it, flavor wise it is the biggest win this game maybe has uh yeah flavor wise it dodrio uh, phalanx by the way is oh like God. flavor like it's seriously flavor blasted <laughs> Pokemon Unite. It's I so can't perfect. Wait for that Pokemon. Honestly, it, Inteleon might be there too. Inteleon and Hoopa both feel. I, honestly, that's what Pokemon Unite's always been best at. Yes. Is the the designs are the awesome. they the feel like yes. the Pokemon. The designs of the Pokemon and Pokemon Unite are unbelievably good. I've I've had people say things before like ah if it wasn't for the Pokemon Pokemon Unite wouldn't be a thing. It's like well yeah. <laughs> look how good right look how good they are at that aspect of the game there it's actually so unbelievably good yeah greed uh greed no it's not greed it's avarice okay so that was the game two apparently yeah the luminosity two owed them i agree with you uh kidding in the chat mewtwo's design is an absolute snooze fest but uh we have not seen oh, nemesis yeah, yet that's I'm gonna a pull good up one nemesis. That's a good, especially when they went into their megas. Like you, they have even more like character yeah. in their megas, and they just kind of dropped the ball on that. Nemesis is going up against who? Um, it's just... got Muck on the team. Uh, D O L E kittens. So that's Chad, M M Muck, that squad. It'd be a fun game. Jump into the E kittens. Is it uh zero zero right now? Yes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nemesis, everybody. Could be zero zero. It's not reported yet, but they're fifteen minutes in. But fifteen minutes in could be zero. And Nemesis zero. is playing with Metallic. I know it was uh, a talking point for a while. Of, would they be sticking with Metallic or going back to Relent? Because championship points are pretty high on both of those players. But yeah, they're sticking with Metallic. I honestly, when I talked to Rex. He said they were going to be playing with Relent for this tournament. So obviously something's changed in the last week. Isn't Relent so... on Slash's team? Yeah, so I'm yeah. assuming that's what happened. I'm assuming Relent got an offer to go play with other people and was like, ah, we'll try my hand. Well, there was definitely a reality. Careful, Yeet. Uh, my sweet Yeet. <laughs> there was definitely a reality where um, Metallic was no longer on Nemesis and that spot was taken by somebody like Overlord or something. So 
Oh, yeah, yeah, that technically also an option. Oh boy, they gave him Buzzwool. They almost got the KO there too with uh, Absol. Scary. Very scary. Hey, I was just talking about how I wanted to see this Pokemon more. Yeah. It's this comp. I don't know specifically how much I like it. Uh, but it is cool to see it. It's pretty good into uh, Inteleon, but yeah. Yeah. Glaceon's tough because you need to break that passive before you jump in. They gave it a Comfey, too. They gave it the Comfey yep. Collar. I mean... Mm. Metallic quite a bit behind here from what you would expect from Buzzwool. Should be like level 12 already. <laughs> We've been watching Overlord stomp on yeah. games for too long at this point. Magikarp should be level 15. <laughs> if history has shown us anything. How do they want to play this? <laughs> Not able to get your reset. I think you're done for, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes gone. Luca, though. One of the best names in Pokemon Unite is Luca Po. I don't oh, know why. Yeah. It's just a good name. You know when mm -hmm. something just it sounds right? Luca Po yeah. sounds right. We did a tier list of gamer tags before NAIC last year. Actually. Oh, did you really? <laughs> yeah, it was pretty fun. What was what was high up there? Um. Oh gosh, what were high ones? Uh, all of ignorance was basically up there. Uh, like Goobiter, Protein Shake. Protein like Shake's extremely good. It's it, <laughs> yeah. it's extremely bad and extremely good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's kind of that perfect storm. Yeah. Um, a little bit, of, I think. Oh man, now I'm forgetting some of the high. I remember some of the lower, like, we had Simp rated extremely low. Simp's a <laughs> tough one. But it's also, post... it's kind of, yeah, like, there's the, there's the counter for the Inteleon right there. There you go. Um, yeah. So, because you, you obviously can, you can chase it, and then you can immediately yep. sucker punch it. It's not really able to run. It's a pretty amazing combination on it. Mm -hmm. I like it. Here, here. <laughs> Agreed. Raise a glass to E-Kittens. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I think Dat Boy Muck we had pretty high too. Uh, Dat Boy Muck's pretty good. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a pretty good name. I like I like Muck's name a lot. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of some of the best ones. Someone said Spraggles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guess. I hate the way you said yeah right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's a good one. <laughs> Funny thing is, nobody said it, but you could just do that. <laughs> Somebody in the chat said Spraggles was a good one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Manifest. <laughs> well, you're streaming in so many places. Who's going to... It's true. Gonna Someone on Kick said it, maybe? Um, <laughs> nobody check. You streamed on Kick for a little, right? I did. The uh, I I would actually like to go back to it. I was having streaming troubles, like I and I was trying to figure it out for a while. But now I think I could go back to streaming on Kick. Cool. Lee Sun Al Gaib, yes, huge name, huge name. <laughs> yeah. Camiro is a good one. I agree. Chat. Camiro oh, is a good Camiro? one. Camiro. Yeah. Tomatoes, huge. That's a huge one. There's something about names that are that basic. Tomato, potato. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Potato, woo woo. Potato's a really good one. Mm hmm. I like Yeet. Yeet fan, I feel like, is a good name. I don't even. I mean, I get it, but I don't get it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Trainer's a good one. Is it? Yeah. I think Trainer actually is a good name. Trainer's pretty okay. good. Oof. It's really funny in the play Pokemon tournaments, like for the in-person ones, when all of the play Pokemon oh. t-shirts have trainer on the back, on the back of them, uh -huh. in place of where a player name would be. So then just uh, everyone's trainer. So Absol's clean it up. Yeah, Absol's doing pretty good here. I mean, you put a Comfy collar on a Speedster, it is tough to deal with. Yep, it's a good combo. Surprise, Nims is still the points lead, honestly, with how well that bottom push went. Mm -hmm. At like six minutes. Okay, Spraggles, do you think I Am Tomato is the best defender in Unite? Um, I don't know. That's a really tough category because there are so many, like, legit top-tier defender players. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll say they looked amazing. 
uh, and they really put they they really had like standout moments. It's it they're up there for sure. It's true because they're like arguably the best or second best player on their team, and like I judge that by like how much the impact they have is felt on the game. Agreed. And yeah. like Tomato and I forget the Mew player's name, but those two players felt like by far the shiny oh yeah their mew was insane dude oh my gosh he didn't even play Inteleon very much and that's what he played in the acl that really like everyone was like holy smokes this guy is insane absol just uh, has missed a few big unites mm -hmm. but they hit him and it's like a good combination it's a good delete yep especially on ray but no psycho cut the combo with that so chat saying they haven't seen bruv do well lately i feel like bruv has been one of the only Thing the things that has done well for nouns uh, as of nice. late. Um, ooh, I don't know, Metallic. It's pretty greedy for just a <laughs> piece of farm there. Yep. <laughs> Get punished for it, too. Yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, if they keep just getting poked by Eat Fan, this could be bad for Eat Kittens, but. Yeah. So far, they're doing okay. Gonna have to recharge that Espeon Unite. That was a weird one. Yes. Fate in the chat, man. This is why people hate Comfy. It never goes to other mons, only to its owner. But this is a co this is a coordinated team. They're 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 making this decision very intentionally. Wait. I don't understand. Well, <laughs> well because if you play in a game, that. like if a duo brings a Comfey in, you know what that Comfey is doing. It's sitting on their buddy all game. Mm. But I'm saying in this game, this entire team is very well aware of what's going on. And that's what they want to have happen. You kind of need it on the Absol. It's, it's diving real deep. Mm. Eats 14 here. Reggie Steel secured. I mean, if Absol gets a combo, that's Reggie Steel. It's Unite move. It could make something happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Luca Alt hits a whole lot harder now. Let's see what happens here. Who gets caught? Lives. Unites. That's the exact kind of Unite we were looking oh, for out of this Pokemon. Well. On Yeet now takes down Yeet. This is exactly what I was talking about with Absol. It's got that delete button. It takes down their defender. Slowbro in a lot of trouble. Metallic going down. Full team wipe, basically. Glaceon coming back right now. Rayquaza is just being ripped up here. They're going to need to get in there, but I don't even know what a Glaceon can do about this. Almost absolutely nothing at all. Knocked up. Clefable running in. Too little, too late. Secured. Dang. Yeah, I mean, Ekin scores at, at easily enough to take the lead. Like, this, is, this is over. Okay, Absol scores. It's going to be able to run the Comfan. 288, 417. This is not impossible. That is true. There's a reality where they come back from this. Muck's got a shield. Absol's out, though. I think Comfay still has shield. Oh, jeez. Absol's got a shield, and Umbreon has a shield. If they just hide, if they just lay in wait, yeah. there's really nothing they can do about it. Here's essentially 200 points in the main. Yeah, Absalon and Kofi yeah. are both going to score. That's tough. That's going to be a, an almost impossible comeback from Here comes another 50. Yeah. Here they go. Gee, Nemesis start. Oh, and one in this set. Dang. Well, it did its job. That Absol it did? did its job. <laughs> that Registeel buff did go crazy, too. Yes. The fact that they could take out Clef. Helps out a ton. I like that choice to just jump. Like, I know some players have a tendency to hold that Unite until, like, closer to when Ray could be knocked out because of how good the Execute can be, but I think that's just the best choice. Yeah. Just make out the support immediately. That's the gravity user. It makes your job mm -hmm. that much easier. Like, it's just really, really that good. was great. That was really great for me, Kittens. Uh, I want to I watch game two of this, I got to say. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay, so who... Is that Absol player? Is it Ryan playing the Absol? I don't know. Let me see. That is... Yeah, it says Zen. I'm not, I don't know. Oh, okay. That's somebody different then. That's Zen. So they're playing... Their team is Ryan, Chad, Muck, Alves, who's Sobi, and Zen. I don't know. These name changes are breaking my brain, but... Thank you so much for the super chat, by the way, Naman. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Okay, so I think Lucario is Ryan. Interesting. Oh, people are saying the Zen to Sane or whatever. No. Is that actually Zen? She EU? <laughs> I think those are different people. Someone's asking to watch the D Knight. Um, they say, please watch the D Knight. I really would like to see the next game from this team, but I'll I'll run this D Knight game fast in oh. hopes that. All right. I will take that chance to. I'm going to run my dog outside real quick. I'll be okay. right back. Great. We'll run a fast. We'll run this fast, everybody. I'm catching right up to it. Yeah, people are saying that's a different Zen. That's what I would expect, too. We can look at this Dragonite from Bora. Bora Cheeks, meaning not Bora Reach. I'll see how fast I can get it, because I definitely want to see this other game. Team names are wrong. I don't know what these teams are. I'll have to look. It's, uh, Hades, right? Let me see. I'll pull it up. Do, 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 do. This is Hades versus standing on business, and they're actually tied up. One, one. Hades for standing on business. People wanted the Dragonite, they got the Dragonite. What happened to the support player of Chroma? Weren't they dropped from a team at one point and then they just stopped? Something like that happened. I think they were just dropped from a team and then they were done. Someone was asking what fig bar I liked earlier. It screwed up. I didn't bring myself a fig bar. I should have a fig bar. Hungry. I didn't bring out food. I think uh, if I remember right, and I could be remembering wrong about a chroma, so don't quote me on this. Uh, but I believe a chroma, um, they had like personality conflicts with the team i believe and i think they were dropped after their team like won a big tournament too so i think it had to be like a big could be a big personality issue Oof! tree makes it out here comes the dragonite for the secure really early hyper beam like incredibly early hyper beam that did not work at all rough Luckily, extremely good math from the standing on business team. We got the mimic you out here. I don't know. No, I do know. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying I don't know. I know. I know how I feel about it. Left it on one. Yeah, the thing about Hyper Beam, I played a Hyper Beam Dragonite game yesterday. You need to play a lot of it just because. Your secures, like, once you actually know your thresholds a little bit better, it's pretty easy. But if you haven't played dr that much Dragonite in a while, like, I had a game where I easily could have gotten Ray and I just screwed up my secure. I just missed it, you know? Is Lutano's all-star team in the tourney? Yeah, they're called Luminosity. That was a good one. Really good secure from the Dragonite right there. Nice Hyper Beam right there, too. It's fun seeing Dragonite back in the mix. Where are you going? Here? Alright. I like the play. It's bold. There you go. Ooh! That walks. 40. Weak break, but they take it regardless. They want the break right there. It's really hard to fight this Dragonite here. You're gonna have to Unite for it. Even with the Unite... Not able to take it down immediately. Finally goes down to the tree. Hmm. If it was up, if it was up to me and I was on a team, I would say leave your Mimikyu at home. 
Don't bring it. We got enough. Yeah, Crustle does have a pretty overpowered kit right now. Crustle is extremely good. Easily one of the best defenders in the game. Tree's probably a little bit better. But it's really close. Beautiful secure there. Standing on business is playing a great game right here. They have some big moments. Massive Hyper Beam catches three, but Dragonite still goes down. Mimikyu does pick up a KO on Guardi finally. Picks up a second. This is what Mimikyu can do. It's basically Gengar, right? It's just a different kind of flavor of Gengar. It's better than Gengar, I would say. Because it's got better rip. It's got a better Unite move. But it's basically Gengar is what we're dealing with. That's why it's so good solo. That's why, I, like, when Mimikyu came out, I was vibing so hard on this Pokemon because I play a lot of solo queue, obviously. And uh, as, a, as a player who plays alone, something that resets on KOs and stuff like that, like, you're in, you're in heaven, you know? Do we know when Phalanx is coming out? Yeah, the 25th. Phalanx hits the 25th. It's a, It's been announced on the official accounts, the 25th. I should... I was thinking about making a video about it, because um, I have had a lot of people like, hey, when's when's this Pokemon actually dropping? Watching the Mimikyu right now. Lewis out here being like, you're going to need to eat all of your words, Jake, because I'm going to show you why I'm playing Mimikyu competitively, my prince. He's calling me prince. That's my catchphrase. Mimikyu can so snowball so hard if it gets a chance. Yes, the only problem is competitive is like the thing that shuts down those opportunities. If you're going to beat a team with Mimikyu, you were probably going to beat them with something else. And that's not true of every Pokemon. But it's true of Mimikyu. I've watched a lot of it too, especially with Aos Cup and everything. I've watched a lot of Mimikyu and I've watched a lot of Mimikyu not do that well. I, I have to say, I don't think it's it. We're getting ready for this fight. Looking for the big Guardi Unite, obviously. We're going to see what they can catch. Dragonite charging up their Hyper Beam. Charging up their stacks. Mimikyu jumping on in. Gets caught right there. Surf pushes out. Hydro Pump takes it down. Hoopa Unite move. Guardi Unite catches one. We've got the Sylveon Unite. Blastoise only picks up one with their Unite. As we have one go back the other way now. Hoopa is down. Guardi is now down. This Dragonite is ripping them apart here. Blastoise goes down. Hyper Beam almost takes down Trev. Let's go. Four down. Sylveon running away right now. Not much they can do. Actually deciding to base right here. But this is going to let Dragonite just absolutely rip this apart. Crustle kind of... Uh... Oh, they're looking. They're looking for Sylveon. I was like, what is Crustle doing right now? Crustle's just looking for Sylveon right there. I, I get it. It doesn't have great rip either way. So I'm like, what is it up to? It had weird positioning. But they are able to secure it right there. Looking for their moments to just to score. We got multiple members trying to stop it. Crustle breaks bottom. Now they're up 220 to 118. Crustle now grabbing more points. Mimikyu, 44. Dragonite, 50. They, they know they're ahead right now, so they can kind of do whatever they want. Guardi does some damage. Dragonite gets the hundo. Mimikyu's shield breaks. Not that it matters too much. They're already up. 22 seconds left, and that's going to be the game. GG's. GG's. Yeah. I agree with you, War Prince. That's the thing about Dragonite, is if you have a slight advantage over an objective, it's on. Like, it's fully, fully on. Frog Party, thanks so much for the sub, by the way. Sorry, I missed that a little earlier. Thank you, Frog Party. Good stuff. Hades takes that game. Moving on. SOBs! They're playing good. Do I have the next game? Who are we watching? Yeet. This is tied up, right? Or are they behind one? Let me see. 
think they're in the other pool. One second, everybody, as I look for this. Nemesis is behind one to the E kittens. I'm going to fix it here. 10. No, no, not 10. Nemesis is behind one to the E kittens right now. Got a good series in front of us. Two good teams squaring off once again. Do they have they they had to go with Scyther now. They've got Sylveon, Leafeon, and Umbreon. An EV special over here is we got one on the other side. Yeet fan on the Espeon. Trainer on the Meowscarada. It could definitely eat up some of these Eevees, that's for sure. Yeah, I need to try to figure that out, Daniel. Um, I can't move it right now. The only, I, I have to I'd have to do it like mid game. I have to like redesign the template. Because it's like a little template. I can't really move it. I could try to Let me see, what, back. Let me see what I can do. Hey Zoinks. Hey. I would have to because the problem is I have to move everything to make this work. So I just want to take a look at this game. I'm gonna to try to move this so people can see the levels a little better. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it work, but I'm gonna try. Good do, luck. Do, 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 do. I gotta move this like here, kind of. You kind of get it. The hardest part is moving the team names now. Let me see. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Oh yeah, you gotta make it real small then, huh? I gotta try to. I gotta just gotta try to move everything here. It's a little tough, but I, I'm kind of getting it right. Kinda. You're doing great. This part's gonna be hard. That part's gonna like stick out. I don't know a way to make that not stick out. I believe in the cowboy. I think it's gonna stick out. Uh, it's gonna like, hold on. Trainer mm. meow. That's about as good as I can do quickly. Hold on. <laughs> All I need to know is how does it look for TikTok, which obviously is the most important. TikTok's clean. It's just clean. <laughs> they're the best, chat. Obviously, they're the best. And it's clean. That's... For a quick fix, that's, a, that's the best I can do, everybody. I'll have to try to fix it next time. Thank you, Lahoozer, for the sub, by the way. Keep up your awesome Pokemon Unite streams. I appreciate you, buddy. I absolutely will. Thank you for your support. I ain't ever stopping. <laughs> We're not stopping the streams. <laughs> Some people want me to stop. I ain't gonna stop anything. They're trying to take us down. They don't want you to see these games. <laughs> All right. Uh, Zoinks. Uh, if you do remember, we've got um, Nemesis down one game to the E kittens right here. Oof. Yeah, E kittens brought Scyther Leafy on, so double dive into Nemesis. That is aggressive. And they got the Comfey. Comfey's back. Yep. Oh, was that a beautiful uh, eject or what? That was pretty. Meow mm -hmm. though. Flower fruit. I love seeing some Meow Scarada. I was shocked how little Meow Scarada we saw at Aos. Yeah, me too. Another option that just feels so absurdly strong. It's yeah. Weird to not see it. Especially it's Unite right now. I don't know. And we're seeing Trainer absolutely dominate on it here. Trainer's yeah. very, very good. Oh, gosh. Trainer's good. Yep. But will be almost up in that score. Would have been criminal. Good teams, no math, okay? Good, that is true. Good teams are mathletes, everybody. <laughs> you got your counters on the team. I saw the Mean Girls musical on the plane, Zoinks. Oh, did you? Yeah. And thoughts? It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay, okay. You know? I'm a, big, I'm a big Mean Girls fan. I think Mean Girls is oh. an excellent movie. 
I could tell. How do you feel about the new one? Yeah, I thought I thought it was pretty good. Um, okay. Yeah, they they had some good stuff in it, and you know, one of the hardest things about it was uh, one of the best characters in the original Mean Girls was Karen. Yeah. Um, yeah. She's so funny, and the new uh -huh. Karen is also very good and funny. I was like, how do you how do you play this role? How do you? <laughs> it's a hard one. It's really hard when someone was that good. New Karen, yeah. very good. She's good. New Regina's pretty good, too. All right. All right. Yeah, I think you're the first person I've heard speak positively about it. It's um, not... Look, is, is it as good as the original? No. I mean, of right. course not. Of course. Of course. It, uh, you know, you're not going to put it on over the original. Yeah. But if you're Maybe on a plane, you know, coming yeah. back from Aos, you'll watch it. Oh, yeah. Plane movies were in abundance. I watched, gosh, I think two and a half John Wick movies, at least. <laughs> Yeah, you could watch a lot of John Wick on a plane. Yeah. Chat saying director's cut commentary Tina Fey tells all. What what happened? What what do you mean? Which which one? Put it on. We gotta get on a flight. <laughs> Actually, right now. you know what? This game is stupid. Hold on. <laughs> gotta get out of here. Closing it up. What 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 happens? <laughs> but we actually really want to know so bad, chat. So well, please. I'm just curious, you know. I, I want the industry goss. I thought that Hydro Pump was going to get that, Reggie. I honestly did. Some people like Eldegoss. I like the industry goss. <laughs> Very LA of you. Yeah. yeah I read the <laughs> trades. <laughs> Go to my union meetings. Uh, Hey, when are we going to get Pokemon Unite involved in SAG after? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, boy. Aggressive Espeon Unite. Ooh, trainer caught. Saved. Going right back in. Can Scyther make anything happen here? Scyther is another one of those Pokemon that feels like it's right on the bubble. Uh, some players are are swearing by it, but I do I just do think there are better options. Mm. Yeah. Oof! Nice catch. The the HP recovery on Dual Wing Beat is awesome. <laughs> That's a good, a good part of that Pokemon. It's also such a giant hitbox too. It feels like so you're pretty consistently gonna be making it happen. Come, Faye. We got 14 on Leafeon. This is what Leafeon's supposed to look like at the end of a match. <laughs> For all those level 11 Leafeons we saw earlier, this is actually what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> yeah, that looking awesome. Muck coming in. Yeah, that's a good mean look. Are they able to capitalize on it? Yes, they are. That's two. That's three. Oh, no, never mind. That Was, was that a double team? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Debated. I did. Good start. Oh my I gosh. Wish, wish Umbreon into this is just really surprising. Yeah, I guess they're just really looking for those mean moments. Um, you like you play off the dive, I guess. It just Snarl seems really good to meow Espeon. Like I don't know. Okay. Getting some experience, getting caught by a rock. They're behind, so the E-Kittens are going to need to make a play here. Mm -hmm. What do you look for? Probably Eldegoss to KO first, if you can get them before their ult. Yeah, Eldie That'd would be, be nice. Huge. Espeon would be massive, obviously. Yeah, both of them just have such threatening Unite moves to use in response to the dive, though. Metallic get, fighting with this Leafeon up here. No one's able to really start anything as we're looking for a possible score. Oh, okay. No? Not looking for the score, looking to kind of like bait them to think a score is happening and possibly uh -huh. find a fight. Pull Metallic away from the rest of the team so you don't have to deal with Hydro Typhoon if mm -hmm. you jump the rest. That's a good call. Got the Surf oh, looking yeah, for gone. people. How do they want to fight this? Getting caught right here. Muck's in a little bit of trouble. Here comes the Crustal Unite. Espeon throwing some damage in. Asnable in trouble. Leafeon jumping in. Picks up a KO. Rayquaza now getting right. chipped up. Scyther looking for something. Here comes Meow Scarada. Unite move. Scyther Unite move right back. Actually chasing into it. Rayquaza is getting low. 
flower trick. I don't think it gets Scyther here, though, especially after that double team. Hydro Typhoon knocks up three. Sylveon Unite looking pretty good right here. As we have Trainer, no, not Trainer, excuse me, Zen on the Leafeon. Here comes the secure moment. Who's going to be able to finish this off? Blastoise with what? I think it Hydro Pump, the Surf knocked up the Leafeon. So they were stunned, and then Metallic just took the ray. Wow. Dang. That was close. Great start to the fight from E-Kittens. Yeah. Blastoise is so good, caught. That was pretty tough. Yeah. Blastoise is just... Blastoise is it. So good. So good. It's very much it. This is going Dang, to a game three. The Absol. Nemesis banned Absol in game number two. That's crazy. I think that's what you got to do. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Start banning away things that are good. This is heading to a game three. We got to see this. Oh, of course we do. These we are these are good Elyon games. Again. Okay, so Zen plays the Talon this game. So we went from uh, Absol to Leafeon to Talon now. And Chad on not the Comfe anymore, but the Eldegoss. Chad says, only Overlord show, stream luminosity only. <laughs> I mean, look, it, the day Luminosity comes knocking and they tell me, you know, stream me only and the, they're, you know, putting so much money in my pockets that it's coming out my mouth, I'll think about it. But right now they're only paying me $500 a day. Yeah, <laughs> we'll get them a game or two. Small. <laughs> Small amounts of money. We're looking for the big bucks, as they call them. This feels like a pretty strong counter here as they've stolen away Comfey. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Talon feels okay here, though. Blaziken and Blastoise are a little rough, but... The chat says, where did Elo go? Is the answer just, like, school? <laughs> yeah, he was coaching for LG for a while there. Oh, okay. So, I'm not too sure. Top path, Talon looking for something. Misses, here we go. Trainer coming in. It's interesting seeing which teams decide they want to do Solar Blade and which teams decide they want to do Razor Leaf. Like, both really, really good. Elmo Girl right there, picking that up. Elmo Girl 2009. <laughs> which, again, I think is Ryan, but... <laughs> Not to me. Not to me. <laughs> to me, it's Elmo Girl. I've only ever seen Elmo Girl. From the chat, Talon counters Leafeon and Inteleon. Yeah, I would agree. Talon has some pretty strong counters. It's not the best Leafeon counter, but it, it's pretty it's pretty good, especially like if you see Leafeon Unite's move Unite moves you, you just, you know, hit fly and you're yeah. dead. It does make Talon have to be a little more passive. Yes, Leafeon, true. Though. Like you have to you have to use your moves a lot more defensively than you otherwise would. Great play from Metallic right there, Blaze Kick right into the wall, you know, uh, got a little bit of a stun it looked like, enough of a stun to continue the combination. Already level 6, just cleaning up this top path. I'm just a disgrace of a Pokémon. Combuskin? Yeah. It's a handsome boy. It's the ugliest thing that Pokémon's ever created. Game Freak should be ashamed. They're like, you want a game freak? Well, we'll make a we'll make a freak for you. I'll give you a freak show in this one. You like bowling pins with a with a, a nose? Here you go. It really was one of those things where they were like, all right, uh, and then who did the middle Evo? Uh, it's like Clark did. Is it ready? Oh uh, yeah. Just put it just put it in the game. Well, the game's got a ship, so it's got to be ready. It's ready. <laughs> You're gonna Clark, like. Aren't you on vacation? It's ready. It's ready. It's, it's ready. It's, it's uh, ready. oh god. <laughs> Just give me like literally five minutes to go get it. <laughs> it's ready. I left it at home, so I just need to go home and get it. Yeah. That's my favorite excuse. I can't believe teachers ever. Well, I, I'm sure they never actually bought it. I can't believe teachers ever allowed us to do that. What did they Homework's allow you done. to do? Homework's done. It's just I just left it at home, so I'll bring it tomorrow. Oh, your teachers okay. would let you do that. I mean, I don't think they ever bought it. I think they were just like, ah, whatever. <laughs> like, Although I never used the homework excuse. I just was like, yeah, I did not complete that. <laughs> Honestly, the best policy. You know what? At some point it was. Yeah. At, that... some, at some point, I remember talking to one of my teachers and I was like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> uh, and she was like, are you going to do anything? I said, I'll participate in class. Um, but I don't plan on doing a lot of this work. <laughs> and she was like, all right. <laughs> she was like, what, what am I going to fight with this guy about? What's the point? 
Yeah. He's just some idiot. He's just some dumb kid who doesn't want to do his, like, you know, any of his work. <laughs> who cares? He's probably going to grow up to play Pokemon Unite or something. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> it's not going to matter. Look at me now, teachers. Just huh? let him do whatever he wants. <laughs> When did Espeon Say that again? So when did Espeon use their Unite? I'm not Bottom sure. Missed it. It's trainer on yeah, he is right here. Okay. Yeah. Got the Mew Unite. Ooh! Got Talon. Gets the slow bro. Game number three here is going really well for Nem. Feels like their draft is a large part of that. I think that I think the Comfey was boys. it actually. I think that's like the biggest thing. They've they've stolen yeah. away this Comfey. Teams that play Comfey, you need to steal it away. And okay, yeah, I'm with you. It's funny I haven't seen Chad play too much of it in the past. Obviously, they played it two games in a row in this tournament, but I just think when you have a cracked player and you put that comfy on him it, it really is like huge so mm -hmm. yeah. uh talon More. flame needs to uninstall after that play what was that yeah. <laughs> how did you miss that fly he's in a scoring animation you know you know when it's gonna happen <laughs> uninstall the call for the uninstall <laughs> i mean i'm, I'm obviously being <laughs> hyperbolic Cautious i'm just i'm just kidding but We're at that point of the tournament <laughs> i'm just kidding but when you see a play like that you're like what are you doing you just you not like chris heroes over here Spraggles. i'm sorry to say <laughs> uh no chris doesn't tell people to uninstall okay that's my thing okay. oh i see yeah Dips. man things are just nemesis is crushing it right now uh-huh it's tough all right, this you, isn't their winning in though, right? You want to install the, the game before? <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to. I'm trying to see who's got to install. Oof, <laughs> uninstall. That's an uninstall. A lot of uninstalls here. <laughs> okay. Chat says that would be too nice for Chris to say. Chris would just be looking up their win rate live. <laughs> Mid game. <laughs> Mid game. Well, that's what's going on with Blastoise. <laughs> Dang. I, that might be a bot. I think they already uninstalled. Oh, God. <laughs> Just kidding. Not the bot. Not the <laughs> bot. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on now. But yeah, the first two games were really close. Uh, Nemesis is just having a lot of fun this game, obviously. Ooh, Talon with a nice catch right there on Yeet. Talon's only 12, but, you know, we still got time. It needs that 13 very badly. Yes. 13 is huge for team fights. Ooh, did I catch him? I'm at that point where my camera got locked, which is unfortunate. I can't, like, slightly uh... pan. Um, yeah, um, okay. Missed, unfortunate. I, I understood what they were looking for right there. You just, you gotta catch them with just the edge of fly. Mm -hmm. Talon going eject back Eject from in. both Talon and Blaziken used. So traded. No eject for Blaziken in the final fight. Yeah. I think it's more valuable on Blaziken than it is Talon, even though both have mm -hmm. a ton of value. Of course. It's gonna get their 13. Full Unites on Nem, and we got three down on E-Kittens. Oh, wow. Yeah. Got anything? How close is it? They're obviously feeding experience certain ways, so I'm guessing Talons is pretty close. Could be looking for a back cap. They're going to need to make a lot happen here. Is that Aerial Ace? Yes. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, very yeah. interesting. Well, because snipe shot, found him. Jeez. <laughs> that's why you check bushes. Snipe shot just the like bushes, found them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Hasnable. Big old boosted. Do you remember so, Moose? Or, uh, moves? Do you remember Moose's original boosted, dude? What yeah, it was, was happening? Unbelievable. Talon picked one. Whoa. Picked up the Leafeon right there. Gets taken down. Bit of a trade. Probably a pretty good trade. Why Although, is he full committing to bot side right now? I feel like we should have all crashed and taken out the Leaf too. But... Huh. Mew playing pretty safe right here. They're chipping, but I mean, Talon's, Talon's going to be back slightly before Inteleon right here. Slowbro with the Unite move. Uh, that could be big. Now, But now Trainer got the come face, so it did survive. Talon coming in. This could be their moment. No, they are not able to take down Leafeon right there. Inteleon is back with the Unite move. It's time to start A-pressing right now. Rayquaza is getting pretty low. Nice move by that Talon right there. Yeets on out. Almost nothing, but it survived it somehow. No way. Rayquaza is at like zero. Who's going to be able to get it? The boosted. What? Oh my gosh. It was still up. I was like, who got it? Nobody. Jeez. Not enough time. It was still there. It was still there. And I was like, who just got it? It's standing in front of me. Wow. <laughs> Nemesis do it. Nemesis do it. I mean, they were way up, right? So, you know, E-Kittens yeah, needed to make a big win right there. The fact that um, Lu uh, Inteleon got that other KO, if it gets just one, I think there's a chance there, right? Because that you can get well, it yeah, so... Well, yeah, E-Kittens needed to have three people up with Ray Yes, exactly. To come back. So, yeah. <laughs> Great fight. I mean, that was a really fun way to end that match. Mm -hmm. I think they can keep their game, honestly. I think everybody keeps it. Yep. All right, yeah. Lock in. That was great. <laughs> Don't uninstall. Don't uninstall. Everyone had a good one right there. Uh, we don't have... Uh, I don't have Luminosity. Zoinks, do you want to take a look at our bracket? Just tell me where we're at while I just pull up this orange team game. Sure. Because I'm wondering what games are coming up so I don't miss anything super important. So GT and Exile just started their winning in. Okay. Um, which could be an interesting one. Uh, Luminosity 2-0'd their opponent, so they are waiting for their win on an opponent. It's Hades versus Brave Birders, so mm -hmm. no upsets really on that side of the bracket. Maybe a couple earlier with some lower seeds, but no upsets really. Um, Orange Team and Ignorance are playing their win and in right now. Oh, this is, so I just pulled that up. This is the win and in? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's watch this full set. Yeah. Seems great. Because we can probably pivot from this to LGs. So. Yeah, good call. So we're going to watch uh, Orange Team versus Ignorance here, and then we're going to be watching LG as well. I know we've got some Overlord fans in the chat. Who's not a fan? Overlord? What a weird call to your community. Which one of you doesn't like this guy? Shut out if you're not a fan. <laughs> um, coming from the chat, how did they cheat? Gosh, I got to get the exclamation point LG back. Let me see if it's still working. <laughs> Exclamation point I LG. Mean, no one on this team. Well, I had a whole fun. thing. There it is. Exclamation point LG in the chat. You never got rid of it. Perfect. I never got rid of it. Uh, I have to change the thing about cloud, <laughs> but I oh, have yeah. I have it working. Uh, it might not be working on uh, Twitch. I got to see, but I got it working on YouTube at least. Let me see. I'll figure it out. What's going? Oh, gosh, I'll, I'll try to get it back up on. On Twitch, let me see. I had it. All right, it's back up on Twitch. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Get all the information you want. <laughs> gotta change the part about cloud. I do gotta change the part about cloud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Machizzle in some much trouble going down here. Goopiter on the Metagross. You love to see it. Not enough people are they playing. I love it. this build. They love the Metagross play. Coming Again, I really love to see this with Blissey. Sorry. No, no, not at all. Uh, I, I shouldn't have cut you off. I just saw something in the chat I wanted to uh, address. Uh, Jake wanted to know, when you're in center at the start, why do we wait for the ball toy to spawn right before beating the Zatsu? You get slightly more experience by doing this. There are a couple Pokemon, Leafeon specifically, that actually is able to evolve because of this. For the most part, there's not a great reason to do it, except you get slightly more XP, and jungle's boring. You're just doing the same clear every time, so I think people have fun trying to, like, chain it. That's why I do it, mostly. 
Well, it's because Pokemon experience all gets boosted every 30 seconds or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So you that means when you're going to KO your blue buff, it'll be at 930 and then it'll be boosted. Yeah. So there's a lot of a lot of reasons. It's the big thing is more EXP. Mm -hmm. And then the I honestly think the other thing is you really have nothing to do down there. It's one of the only or in there. It's one of the only ways to show like some sort of mastery over it was clearing in a fun way. Ooh. Nice start up here on the top oh, path. Gosh. And we got Protein Shake on Night Slash, which you don't see a lot of. Mm-hmm. I have to imagine it's Trailblaze too. then. Is that what they just used? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kratos on the level 9. We got some trading happening right here. Yeah. Top side from Ignorance and bottom side from OT. Looking good. Kind of interesting that that's where these two teams went though, right? Like with the two evolutions being early late, like early game and Meowth and Metagross kind of having bigger power spikes around nine, like kind of surprising that that's where we went. This Meowth is doing exactly what I would want to do right now. Peeling off, it's looking for its nine. Cause if it's able to pull back up there to that fight with its nine, it would be mm -hmm. huge. It was like hoping like, oh, can I get a quick nine and run right back? It couldn't, even though that did walk. Yeah, what? Okay. I guess they just peeled off goal slightly. Either way, what a close game. 168, 178. Defense is a made up word in this game right now. We are just split pushing wherever yeah. there is nobody there and just breaking goals. If there's a fight, they're taking it right now. No one's coming back through there. I really want to see what Protein Shake is able to do here. We got Lapras. This is another team that's actually. Zugrug and Slash today both are believers in the Defender Lapras. Bubble beam. The bubbling beams. Interesting. Yeah, I'm really curious to know the reason. It must do something very specific that they're like. I guess you have in. Blastoise as well. So like you're already going you already have some great displacement in the end game. I don't know. Mm hmm Flareon's on the Sylveon. Their, their Sylveon is insane. Really? Flareon says a couple Pokemon that they'll like hop in and play with. Their their uh Sylveon is truly one of the best I've ever seen. Wow. It's okay. their, their hyper voice Sylveon is so good. It's kinda like their jungle hoopa where you're like, this is so good and annoying and <laughs> nobody does this. <laughs> That's what it feels like watching them play their uh hyper voice. Ooh. Ooh, protein yeah, shake with that unite them. move. There you go. Oof. Make it out too. I mostly just know them from their Inteleon and Mew play. So yes. Their, their Mew's extremely good too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They've had some big Inteleon moments. Also, incredibly kind human being. Well, we met them in person. So. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, the Crustal Unite move, eating a big solar beam. That's the end of that. I love seeing uh, Metagross get some play right here. Nice play there from yeah. Roland, able to head back home. Huge Unite move from the Blastoise, slightly too late, unfortunately, for them, as they actually are able to put them all into the wall. If I was Doob's next right now, I'd say, line up the body bags. <laughs> put them in the morgue. <laughs> <laughs> They're dead. Murdered. A triple <laughs> homicide. Every one of them killed in battle. <laughs> DOA. <laughs> the joke we're making is uh, <laughs> recently, uh, Doobsnack said something about put him in a body bag, which you cannot say about Pokemon. Recently? <laughs> Every tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Level 13 on the uh, Leafeon. It's doing its job. Meowskarata, though, I mean, one of the biggest things with Meowskarata is even if you're able to counter it, even if, you know, you're able to just outplay Trailblaze, Night Slash, pretty basic moveset, right? Uh, it still has a Unite move that is absurd amounts of damage. It's just so powerful. Yeah. Agreed. Great Ooh. stuff. It was really nice. Using the Trailblaze to move in there. It almost has a Trailblaze Plus, too. It could turn right around with Trailblaze Plus here if it wanted to. Now it cannot. <laughs> There's a break point, and they've hit it. <laughs> to retreat. But that shield on Trailblaze Plus is also... It's massive, dude. It saved them twice. Like, it, it's really, really good. It's a huge shield. It's very late. You know, it's a level 13, so it's end game stuff. But, man, it's huge. Mm-hmm. 
Man, I don't know what this Lapras is supposed to be doing, but it has felt like a non-factor all game. Yeah, well, yeah, it's a weird one. Teams are trying it. I, it's I, Unite move is sick. It's like a fantastic Unite move. It feels yeah. like budget Blastoise a little bit, but it is sick. Yeah, it's just a. It is different Blasty. It's not as good, but it's it's very good. But yeah, I agree. Right. It does you can feel like flank with it better, Blastoise. but it doesn't have as much impact. It feels like. Yeah, I I'm with you. Although it combos really well with Lapras's other moves. Zug yeah. in some trouble right yeah. here. Both of them end up making it home when they come back. Is there anything for them? Ooh, Leafeon able to pick up that secure. And now Zug in trouble once again. They're going to continue this fight. Here comes the Meow Skarada looking to end this thing right now. Lapras Unite turns it right back around on them. But they're going to have to jump out. Almost no one is hurt on the side of our orange team right here. Goopiter in a little bit of trouble there. There's that Hyper Voice just ripping it apart. Pushing forward right here. 313. Yeah, he had nobody had no support. Yeah. They're just so far in the back. Kratos getting caught right there. Unites back the other way. Crustle Unites not getting too much done with its Unite either. There's me. I was like, oh, where's oh, Meow Scarada? Oh, there it is. I think they. Great call out. I don't think they had any vision on that Meow Scarada at all. And here we go. I mean, Protein Shake right now. Yeah. I, I think you jump on this. I think you jump. When do you move? There you go. Oh, picks it up. There goes Hoopa. Yeah. Leafeon's coming back. They're jumping for Sylveon. Sylveon has to run out of this right now. Metagross, massive shield, picks two. Leafeon coming Fine, in to yeah. try to end it. Another shield for it. It's able to survive through a lot of this because of these shields. It finally does go down. Rayquaza's at half right now. Meowskarot is just kind of finding their moments. It can jump in right now, yes. Big yeah, jump. kind of roaming, eh? Like he... Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Not caught in guard. I mean, retreats back to that. Did Zug score already? I know it lines up, so I assume so. It's th still 313 oh, no. to 211. Even 100 doesn't get him there. Mm-hmm. Ooh, now it does. 15 seconds yeah. left. Leafy on pad. Anymore, though. Yeah. I don't think there's a way they can make this happen. Yeah, Leafeon stops it. Only two scored bot. Crustle... Crustle 24. Not yeah, not enough. Not enough. Close, though. Not yeah. Definitely be one where you're holding your breath when you see the score line climbing. But For sure. Yeah. Quite enough. 249, 313. Fun game. That was a really fun one. Mm -hmm. I liked it a lot. I wonder if we're going to see like, what was banned out. Buzz, Comfey, and then Slowbro and Blissey. I bet they were basically saying we're taking Leafy on at this point, so we're not going to let you shut mm -hmm. it down. Interesting. Cool. Good start. Yeah. So, Orange Team up one currently yep as we head in here to the next game well, they will be on the purple team ot just their ot they don't get to say <laughs> they don't get to say <laughs> they take away their power they don't get to choose <laughs> protein shake on a gold badge scissor right now i would love for that to be actually be a scissor <laughs> i would be so happy matching the flareon's gold badge mew uh, coming from the chat, what happened to Slash? I will design that soon enough. Exclamation point Slash will happen. Um, I just, I don't have a, I don't have the ability to do it right now. I'm going to let the camera sit on Scyther for a second here, Zoinks. I'll be right back. I'm going to run to the restroom if you want to take over for a bit. Unfortunately, you're yeah. just going to be watching Scyther. All right. That's, I mean, I'm down. This Pokemon's exciting. Protein shake's pretty lit. What's going on, chat? Oh, you forgive me. Uh, all right, so obviously leaving a lot of their back farm for Metagross to get that easy level five. Going to be challenging though as they have the Hoopa invading them currently. Scyther trying to 1v1 against the Squirtle in the early game. A lot of damage being done by Chansey, so there's definitely a chance they can swing in for the KO, but thinking that their own HP bar is at too much of a risk, not going to follow up. So we're going to have Protein Shake and believe Squirtle not pretty tough to tell on my view on Spraggle's stream, but... Um, Pretty safe, clear on their own side. Just going to retreat back and play it out. 
On the other side, though, we, of course, are going to have the Machizel Combuskin at that level 5. We have the rotation up from Roland on the Hoopa. Recent roll swap for them. Since JL left the team, Roland having to pick out the support role. Cool to see them willing to flex to things like the Hoopa. Obviously, a Pokemon that takes a bit more game knowledge and practice to really execute properly on. Blaze Kick going to pull away the highest amount of experience Pokemon in the Altaria, and it pays off as we are going to have the Squirtle able to KO it and get to that War Turtle breakpoint, keeping just a little bit of outpace on the side of Ignorance. As now we're seeing a jungle trade as Scyther is going to head into the central area, seeing as they got almost nothing off that Swablu Altaria camp, and they really need to get to their level 5, mostly so that we all get to know if it's a Scizor or if it's a Scyther. Clock is ticking and not going to find the KO, but as you see that circle lighting up, it means the Hoopa will be returning to that side. You do get the red buff, and as seeing as we are still looking at a Scyther, and much to the surprise of absolutely no one, we are going to be seeing the Scyther run it up again. No Scizor at this tournament. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. It is a cool Pokemon, a lot of survivability, but when you already have Metagross, that's kind of already your front line in terms of team fights. You don't really need another one. You can rely on the Glaceon Poke, the Metagross kind of early establishment in fights for the Scyther to clean up in the back line, utilizing, of course, Dual Wing Beat, but their big Unite, that Green Illusion Dive, to just sweep through the enemy team. At least that's the intention. We'll have to see if they can pull it off. Only level 6 for Protein Shake, as at least their Glaceon has hit level 7. Metagross still at that level 6 breakpoint as well, whereas the side of OT has had a lot of Pokemon reaching that benchmark already. Zugrug on this Trevenant with really good positioning around these Swablus is going Woodhammer. Have to imagine they're also going to pair that with Hornleech, but you could go Pain Split in this game. A lot of Pokemon you could heal off of, not a lot of Pokemon you want to redirect damage to outside of Glaceon, in which it is a great matchup. Uh, but knowing Zugrug usually prefers more of those standard tank moves like Hornleech, Woodhammer, all displacement and crowd control avail availability options. We're going to be seeing a repeat of game one again, where Ignorance is going to show a lot of favor towards that top side when they get that Regieleki, and basically ignoring the bottom side uh, of Orange. However, looks like the Blastoise on the side of Orange team is going to find that KO on the Regieleki, stealing it in the face of three members of Ignorance. So a three to one team fight is going to go in the favor of the Blastoise, at least in terms of the objective. However, Ignorance is going to find value elsewhere. They're going to KO the Blastoise and rush to score. A lot of goals in already, but again, a really strange decision by Ignorance to not allow their Metagross to get any of those scores. Instead, Metang on Regieleki duty won't get any points in. I have to imagine that means they're not stacking, which is a pretty strange decision to see on Metagross. And normally, we see that Pokemon with an attack weight basically always, but... Not this time around. Ignorance is actually going to push into the enemy central area. Orange team with a very quick response, though. Four members of Orange team try to snuff out this advance of Ignorance. Ignorance is going to rally in, though. Krussel and the Scyther trying to jump on that team fight. Hoopa portal. They're going to immediately re-emerge through that portal. Hornleach is going to fall uh, just a little shy as Glaceon dunks in yet another 14 points as Ignorance keeps lining up those scores. I thought I heard Spraggles get back. Looks like that is not going to be happening yet. Chad, I promise. He will return. He's left, but not forever. The Cowboy's always in our hearts. So if you just look up, you howl at the moon, you know he's there. I don't know if that's a thing. I don't want to make that his thing. Unite move just for one. We are going to KO the Hoopa. It's actually a pretty impactful Unite move. Uh, we're going to leave that Hoopa still at level 8. But with almost 30 seconds until these Reggie spawn, I have to imagine Roland is going to be able to get at least one piece of farm before the next big team fight and still have their Unite move. So I don't know how impactful it is to have an exchange workout like that. But in the end, it's all right for Ignorance. They have hit a few big breakpoints. Scyther's already at level 11, but Metagross has hit level 9. You can look for that huge like, kind of cage match that Metagross can kick off. Really, really strong for that Pokemon in particular, and it pairs really well with the Blissey. So Ignorance getting the Blissey in this draft, a Pokemon that was not allowed through in the last one as Orange Team had actually banned it away from Ignorance. This time they will have it. That is two basement Regis in a row for Orange Team. Blaze again earning credit for both of those as they are actually going to Hoopa Unbound and bring the squad up. And that is going to be four for four in terms of Orange Team objectives. Roland really crushing it on this Hoopa. I forgot the screen would go dark. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, did it do it on stream too? Yeah. 
Oh, really? I thought it was just on my screen. No. I'm back. How's it going? Doing pretty good. Aegis is playing okay, but Orange Team is 4 for 4 objective so far. Level 12 looking pretty solid, though. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, they're doing great. Like, scoreline, they're keeping up fantastic. Scyther's doing really well in levels. Metagross has been slow to start. Also, they haven't been, like, they've been doing scoring priority on Scyther and Glaceon. I don't think this Metagross is stacking. Oh, okay. You you oh, might not. Crazy. I mean, you might not competitively. That's interesting to to think about. You might not deal. You just might just go, like, run, muscle. What, like, or, excuse me. Yeah, um, muscle, weakness, weakness. Focus. You could do focus, razor, weakness, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'd be good, too. Or maybe like you don't that. even... I mean, focus is really good on it, but maybe you don't run it. Right. You could, um... Oh, gosh. I don't know. You need levels, Friends though. Train, train crown, probably, I'd say. You need a lot of levels. I think it's train crown's time. Everyone thinks it's train crown's time until they play drain crown. Yeah, it's true. Every one of my subs is just making you play drain crown guard trump. Look, it's fun. It oh is, my gosh. It's really fun. Look at those spears. 182, Ooh. 150 right now. This is the win and in for OT, right? Yep, yep. And, and Winter Slide is, like, huge that we've seen so far in tournaments. Actually, North America, though, these racket runs have happened quite frequently. But yeah. Still, still, you'd love to have that uh, extra amount of confidence knowing you're going in via that Winter Slide. Just having a game to give, yeah. Mm -hmm. I honestly understand why the system was the way it was before with Unite. It, it, I'm not, it wasn't, it, you know, completely logical, but I get it. Yeah. yeah. I'm not um, saying it was better. I'm just saying I understood what they were doing. Right. Yeah. The game has I a lot it. of there variants. Are, there are some big tournament circuits that like to like reseed at throughout the event, right? Like even some double elimination brackets where you will, will reseed after the first round. Oh, jeez. Um, big catch right there. Uh, Pulls him out of the hoop portal. Really good crustle maneuver. It's going to pay off. They get Blaziken. Blaziken's down. We got the Unite move onto the Crustal right there. Trevenant Unite. They're looking for Zug. Zug's able to get a couple wood hammers. Goes back through the portal. Big play. Blastoise Unite catches two with the Unite move and the eject button. Scribble Knot in some trouble right here. Scubble Knot. Protein Shake in some trouble as well. Getting very, very low. Having to run away from this fight. Yeah. I, I mean, Scythe is going to try to buy as much time as they can, but I think... Even if you grab both these berries, you are eventually going to go down. I think your only chance right now is to calm to your team where that you have three enemies on you, and now is the time to uh, strike in the middle. Yeah, that might be your moment right there, right? Soup in some trouble right here. Glaceon charging up the spears, getting pushed in. We see Crustle on almost absolutely nothing, but somehow makes it out into the rock tomb. Now we have another fight happening, and this is a level 13 Metagross at this point. However, Blaziken's in here to start cleaning things up, and it does. Yeah, Metagross is peeling to score, but yeah, OT already had such a huge lead, and dang, the <laughs> BFF did not expect to see that from Ignorance. Hmm, Unite API in the chat. I'm enjoying this stream, and yes, I'm a bit late, but 100% is the highest percent. Extremely late, I would say. Okay, well, I'm glad that we finally got it, though. That was an important question. Yeah. Good to see the answer. There you go. OT qualifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's see what we got next, Zoinks. We said we could probably see Luminosity's games, right? Uh, let me refresh. I think Hades might still be in their match with. Who's Braver, Slash actually. against right now? Where are they at in the in the bracket? They're they're uh, what's their team name again? It's something. It's something like Eternal. Is it Eternal? Oh, okay. Endless. Oh, they got Ooh. knocked down by You Feel Me. Um, okay. You feel me is playing against Nemesis in uh, in the win and in. Who's on you feel me? You uh, feel me is oh, this is a good team. Barnwell, Ducky, Beast, Breezy, Breezy, and Hugh. Hugh is like a town, another town flame players. It has been the sub for GT for almost forever. So GT's up one game against Exile right now for their win and in. Okay. We could do that. Um, I don't know when our next game... We're not going to miss Luminosity by doing that. That's for sure. 
Yeah, Luminosity is still waiting on the winner of Hades Brave Birders, which seems to be taking quite some time. So, so. Orange Team's qualified. Luminosity's waiting for their game. Probably going to be Hades as they're up one right now, but who knows? Mm -hmm. We have GT uh, against Exile. We have Nemesis against You Feel Me. I would love to pick one of these games. I would... Oh, we have a YouTube elimination match happening soon, too. Who are they going up against? YT versus whom? We can watch this Nemesis game while we're trying to figure that out. This is uh, Nemesis, you feel me. Say that again, Zoinks. YT is going up against Pickup Stack. Uh, it's Blush's team. I only know Blush off this team, I think. I don't think I know anybody else. Nemesis versus... You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? Clean. Gotta respect the name. 0-0 zero, zero right now. This is a win and in for both these two teams. Gotta watch oh, YT. Yeah, Windows we'll definitely try to watch some YT games here in a minute, too. Gyarados and Mimikyu with only Mew for range. Wow. Where's the slash command? I know. Um... All right. Give me a second. I'll, well, I'll watch this Magikarp. I'm going to write up a slash command. <laughs> okay. I'm actually curious. I might type it in myself because I am i don't think I know the whole story. Well, I can't. I'm not going to give a whole story, but. Oh, okay. Slash. And... Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Well, I would rather you say what you're out loud, what you're typing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I gotta, fig I gotta figure it out in my own head. Okay, 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 fine, fine, fine. I'll cast the game, whatever. Uh, Zarina for Nemesis is the pick that we talked a lot about at AOS Cup. Whether it was good, whether it was bad. Felt like into some compositions, it had some really good play. It felt like into others, it felt a little lackluster. Um, they are going with the Eldegoss support, so Eldegoss can cover a lot of Pokemon, Zarina included. The Mimikyu and Gyarados actually feels fine. I mean, Serena does well into Brawlers. It's one of those all-rounders that really likes to face other all-rounders and speedsters, but not really an option in this game. So I don't think it's too terrible. Still figuring this Ooh. out. Electro Ball goes wide. It doesn't go towards the wild Pokemon, unfortunately. The auto-targeting focusing on the Drizzile instead. So Mew not going to get any of that experience. Nemesis is going to pay off really well for that. Both teams actually going with a four-player crash into the top side. I think it makes sense. As soon as you see Magikarp in one path, you're just going to want to crash it as often as you can. You feel me reads that, and they are going to do the same on their side. However, Nemesis definitely taking the W in that first engagement. Poor Magikarp just flopping on their heart out. Still have about a maybe a fifth, a quarter of their effort gauge to fill up. These wild Pokemon will at least help them accelerate, but with all the scoring that Nemesis is doing on the top side, I think you'd really like to have the Gyarados already, seeing as we are hitting that eight-minute point of the match and still have a Magikarp on the field. Only Mimikyu showing up to the central birds in that first initial team fight, but bot side going really, really well for you feel me. They're going to take advantage of Nemesis rotating out of that bot lane, get some KOs, get some scores. Now Nemesis is going to try to make up that value on the top side of the big push. Couple of stomps in from Metallic. Is one KO. The Mimikyu going to fall. And yes, that's right. Still a Magikarp is going to be running back to their side towards their tier two. We're knocking on the door of seven minutes and a level six Magikarp. You hate to see the mandatory level seven evolution from Gyarados. And well, we almost hit that as we finally see the Evo at level six and at 725. All right, I almost have this. So okay, I, I've got it. What is Slash's new team called again? <laughs> I literally don't know. Mm. Slash and Uzi's team. Excellence? No. No. I just had it. You did. Endless. Thank you. Endless. Okay, so this is what it says so far. All right. Okay. So I'm telling you with the secure. Slash and LG have parted ways after AOS Cup. LG is now a new squad with Overlord, Lutano, Joey, JL, and Otter. Slash is now on the team Endless. There hasn't been any public announcement from Slash or LG about why they split Cloud. Cloud. Oh, poor Cloud. Um. Also, shout out to Cloud. I don't know if he's playing this tournament today, uh, but he also worked on one of my new favorite TV shows uh, ever in X Men '97. So. We don't know if that's we don't know that's true. That's not one of the commands. 
<laughs> Please. Exclamation mark Cloud should be. He's an incredible artist and he worked on X-Men 97 and uh, the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle product. We don't know this. We don't know. It's not one of the I'm things. I'm spreading propaganda. <laughs> hmm. Have you watched X-Men 97 yet? No, I've heard it's great though. It's unbelievably good. <laughs> I love it so much. Ooh, ooh, score before the Shadow Sneak. That's close. Who do we mimic you unite? Leafion? Okay. No, it's a good call. Uh, how do you feel about the Grassy Glide Zarina? I mean, I think you can go either. It's Zarina, mm -hmm. so... Okay. So, not super positive about either direction. I'm, I'm just not super positive about Zarina. It's not bad, um, but it's like... It's very specific. I feel like it's used when they're running out of options. There aren't mm. great Zarina. Like, what do you see on the other side where you're like, ooh, I can't wait to use my Unite move on yeah. it. Yeah, and that's what I was saying a little bit, too, when you were writing your novel I, I was like yeah it's okay like it feels good in the most all-rounders like i don't hate the 1v1 matchups it has it just yeah i don't know it you want serena because of hard counters and there's no hard counter for serena like or for serena to implement i guess on the other side yeah all right yeah. it's, it's working it's working in both chats everybody so we have an exclamation point lg we have exclamation point slash we'll get those updated Chat, let us know what exclamation point you want next, by the way. What's your favorite exclamation point? <laughs> Personally, mine's chair. Uh, I don't know if that is. Ew. Rut row. That's gross. Wall unites. Asnable, in this bottom path, hanging out. <laughs> it's cool seeing Gyarados, man. It really yeah. is cool. Yeah, it feels like NA really loves this Pokemon. Like, of all regions, it seems to be most played here. So you know API in the chat still? Yo, who, what region plays Gyarados the most in UCS? <laughs> it's gotta be NA. I feel like I don't see it anywhere else, right? Yeah. It says break. Oh, gosh. Where does it say that? All right, I spelled something wrong. <laughs> That sounds like what I do. <laughs> you gotta go back in. <laughs> okay, Gyarados unite. That's in... Oh, it does get in the back line. But it's caught in the mean look. Good enough to KO Rex. Metallic's working in the back line on their own. Trying to 1v3. Asnable holds down the front line. That stomp doesn't hit anybody, but at least they're able to grassy glide and follow up. When the Majesty is good for the reset on the grassy glide yet again. So they chase down towards the bottom side. Good play by Metallic. Just good disruption. I mean, that's what you want your top laner to do. You want to, like, just have them split teams every time. You're not a tank, so it's not like you have big crowd control, but you're just a good brawler. So you can get just in the mix, separate the back line from the front line, punish dives really, really well. Why did Zogrug leave, LG? Oh, God. Exclamation mark. <laughs> Exclamation <Zogrog>. point, Zogrog. <laughs> At this point, I feel like you're just wanting to write these. <laughs> no. Uh, we had to do it the other time because it was literally yes. every five seconds someone had that question. It was bad, yeah. And I was like, look, I can't keep talk. I can't keep talking about it. Curio <laughs> uh, stream and go ask him. <laughs> yeah. Go see <laughs> Uh, Rin said he was watching games, didn't he? Go ask Rin. <laughs> Rin's watching next weekend. He said. Oh, next weekend. Yeah. Reggie Steele at half right here. We got good secure with... Uh, I mean, you're just setting up the snipe shots. Are they coming in? Nice block right there. Good body block. Good secure. Huge Unite move. Four down. Holy moly. This Let's go. This is it right here. You immediately flip on Ray. You have to take it right now. You body block Inteleon. It's pretty much over. I think the play from Inteleon right here is truly not looking for the snipe shot, even though that's what he's going to do. Unbelievable! How did they let that happen? Are you out of your minds? What are you doing? He flanked. I think they thought he was still top left. That's where they were all bunched up, but then he just invis walked over. He made sure to 360 no scope it so the red line wasn't seen. And he got it. That is a crime. Like, that, that should never happen. I, are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> oh, my God. 
Well, Nemesis starts this match. 1-0. Are you serious? <laughs> I'll be right back. Unbelievable. First off, as Zoinks called out, what a masterful play by Yeet. I was even calling it. I didn't I didn't feel like there was any way Yeet could get that except for using his Unite move and B pressing at the right moment. That that was the only way I thought he could do that. How do they I mean it feels like when you're when you're ripping that objective right there, you have to literally you just completely crowd Ray. You crowd it to make sure that a snipe shot cannot hit it. Masterfully done by Yeet. I mean, I that's one of the all-time snipe shot secures. I don't know if I've ever seen a snipe shot secure that good. That was yeah, unbelievable. And I I mean this other team is obviously good. You you feel me is obviously good, but w what a uh, you know, I don't know how you don't body block that. But geez, that could be the all-time snipe shot. Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We've got a YouTube game, uh, but it's nine minutes in. Uh, holy. Uh, we could try to watch a little bit of it if they'll let us in. I'm going to have to run it fast. You tried my winning tip? See, I told you, Flareons. <laughs> so how you feeling? That was crazy, huh? <laughs> uh -huh. We're going to YouTube now? Just real quick. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna run it. I'm gonna run it fast. Cool. Sounds good. Ooh, Dragonite Delphox with double tank. Interesting. It's like really low damage. LG versus Hades, is it starting? Might be starting. I am gonna like speed this here, so we'll speed it on. That's a fun one to watch. Sped up, not comfy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got the Espeon gank coming up. Do they make it happen? They don't. A lot of teams are well aware that this is gonna happen to them. Mm -hmm. The Espeon gank is a thing. The rest of the team was on a timer, so they should have taken two seconds to find intel, says the chat. I don't even know if you need to find intel. You just need to stand around Ray. I mean, I know you can't be absolutely perfect, but you just have to kind of position yourself in a, in a way where there's really no way they're going to be able to snipe shot that. Either way, it was an absolutely beautiful play from Yeet. That was incredible. <laughs> Probably the snipe shot of all time. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Glad it's on camera. Ripping up the ranch, ice doing a thing. Pushing this slow, bro. YouTube is winning. 167 to zero. YouTube starting off really strong here. And we got Fui on the Machamp, huh? With close combat even. Really. Hmm. I think I've seen Fui play this build before. I like this build. I, I do think it's weaker though. I, I prefer it, but I I think it actually is like that like close combat specifically I think needs a buff. Yeah. It's kind it's kind of like compared to cross fun. chop, it's weird. That'd be a fun buff for Machamp. Machamp needs a couple like minor buffs, and then it's it's like fine. Mm -hmm. Two thirty four to zero. Two fifty four to zero. I think YouTube's winning this game, guys. <laughs> Gotta be honest. I feel the same. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, YouTube's just crushing this thing. They get a lucky. It's walking. We can try to watch this Ray fight. 
chaotic. Having to use his Unite and get pulled back right here. Eldegoss takes to the sky, heals up Chaotic. Really aggressive positioning for Chaotic. <laughs> like, why are you over there? Ooh. Fui getting Slowbro United. Good catch. They get the Machamp. Tree goes down in return. They get Chaotic. And they're turning on Ray right now. They have D Knight. Yeah, they, yeah they've got D Knight. They got a chance for a secure right here. Here comes Pika Diff. Espeon Unite, huge Espeon Unite right there. That was massive. Alright, he, he needs to be now. They get it. They get it. It's still like, I think they just break it's, shields here and it's done. I didn't realize they were at zero points. Yeah, they're at zero points. So. <laughs> okay. Even though they get it, nothing you can do. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice stoppage there too. We get 100. They're, no they're moving... 40 seconds. Ooh, Delphox Unite. That was a good Delphox Unite. Where do you jump to? Right onto the point. Good fight. That's a hundo. Plus a 60. 270. Hey, you know what? This actually isn't... It's not impossible. Good, good uh, Unite move right there. And once again, Sam is back. Doing some serious work here. It's just tree bread. All right. There we go. Dang, I mean, some last second heroics for sure. That ended up being a lot closer than I thought it would be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. I can't believe they weren't able to KO the D-Nut after the Ray. <laughs> How did they get out of there? They'd be a really small Unite just to, like, bounce. Why no face cam? I don't normally have a face cam on when I'm casting. YouTube up one game. We got the LG match. There we do. Here we go. LG versus Hades. Yeah. This is a good match, man. Mm -hmm. These are two really good teams. Um, this yeah. is going to be cool to see. I got to say. Chat, who do you think's winning this thing? I should get a poll up for these ones. I'm going to let Zoinks talk for a bit. I'm going to get polls Hershey up in the chat. Central again. So Celestial really liking this pick. One of the only players in North America who still likes the Urshifu quite a bit. Much more of an EU staple, but having good secure has always, or has historically been a good factor to have in Pokemon Unite. Polls coming up. I want the world to know. I am making a poll. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls coming up. Can you imagine Forever. how good I would be if I was good at what I did? Just it'd think about it. Broken. It would be it'd too. too it would be too too broken. They'd have to nerf you. I, to nerf I agree. They'd have to nerf me. But I mean, just think about it. <laughs> I sometimes I do. Yeah, I know. I think about it too. I'm like, holy man. Oh my god. Gosh. <laughs> if I was good. Ooh, baby. What a world. If I was as good as Not good at singing, that's for sure. Hey, hey, hey. That's true. <laughs> hey! Got me there. Dark bear, right? Gotta be, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, especially with Celestial playing it. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, just a pretty straightforward Celestial pick. Ouch! Really? I mean, he didn't even need the eject. It just went down. Uh, they're looking for a score, and then at the same time, they could just turn this into a wicked blow if anyone from LG pushes towards them. Nice start to the match right there. Yeah, kind of exposing this Magikarp early. It's what you have to do, right? You need to gank the carp lane, and you need to not let it get an easy KO, and that's exactly what they did. Yeah, and teams are doing this all the time with four players in the top, and then, of course, the Magikarp team is also responding with four players top to try to mitigate that. Russ! Oh, Otter. You eject buttoning little silly boy. Stop them. <laughs> and secured. Otter's very good. <laughs> Yeah. On Twitch, people are voting for LG. Same thing on uh, on YouTube right now. All right, where's TikTok at? <laughs> Overlord's just doing his thing. Okay. <laughs> that, is, that does charge your gauge. So that's all he's doing. 
Just charging that effort gauge. You know how I be charging my effort gauge. What are you up to today, man? Ah, just charging my effort gauge. You know how it's been. Yeah, yeah, you've had a tough one lately. <laughs> With who am I commenting? Zoinks! Exclamation point, zoinks. Do I actually have a command? He did at one point. Um, it's probably not gone. <laughs> now I think it just talks a lot about what's going on with LG. And how I apparently eat people's lunches. I did not know about that bit happening on your broadcast until I got home and rewatched the grand finals when you uploaded it <laughs> in the states. And I'm like, what do you mean they're talking about me eating lunches? I don't even remember that bit. <laughs> it lasted a while. <laughs> Reg, I's getting pretty low right here. <laughs> Russ has a good uh, chance for a secure. I mean, I, I like this play by Otter. I think it's the right call. You know, yeah, you're burning a Unite, but you're burning the lowest cooldown Unite in the game. You have to push the tree out right there. Good stuff. Mm. Yep. Tactical. Tactical, the precision. <laughs> Russ has been a cool a cool player to watch. Like, they've been playing on Hades all year, but definitely a player that wasn't on my radar a lot. At, like them and Lewis, but... Both of them are playing so, so well this year. You're seeing right now what happens when a team actually doesn't let Overlord just get an easy at Evo, you know? Uh-huh. And it's a lot tougher. We got the 10. We got the 5. Gosh, I love good math. Could have let him get another stack in there, but fine. 110 to 0. Hades up. Has anyone used Greedon? Uh, asked Notori in the chat. No, no Greedons. Yeah, that Pokemon's. That Pokemon is up there with yeah, competitively not one. very viable. Um, that might be actually number one on my list. I I am I might be willing to put the Squirrel at number one most competitively unviable. Yeah, it's up there. There are just a few that see absolutely zero comp play, and that's one of them. Yeah. That is for sure one of them. Another one's the fridge. Another classic Overlord Unite. Hide in the bush, channel it. I like it. You will see it uh, make its way to a solo queue game near you, I can assure you. <laughs> yeah, give it two hours. Yeah. We'll see some Gyarados hiding in the grass. Look at him go. Oh, I guess he recalls for free. That's kind of wild. I it's... can't believe Hades lost sight of him. Nice. Hades uh, doing pretty well here, but LG counter-punching a little bit. Yeah, yeah, that top path finally looked really good, but killing the LDs is important. Yeah, T-Tar doesn't see a lot of comp play either. The problem is, even though it's very powerful, it's extremely obvious. Everything it does is so clear. It's like, mm -hmm. you're not... And, and it's really easy to get away from, so... Yeah. Doesn't have much stickiness at all. Here's the Wicked Blow. Easy secure right there. Overlord looking for a little something. But they're going to have to pull back here. Ooh, they're coming back through that portal. Fell. Okay. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah. Thing. Meanwhile, we've got Lutano just continuing to farm up. Level-wise, things are very close between these two squads. Mm -hmm. Point-wise, level-wise. Feels like we've been seeing better fights out of Hades. Yeah, for sure. I would agree with that. We're going to have to watch to see how the Dark Bears Unite gets used because there are a few targets that cancel it on the other side. Not like full cancel it, but like, you know, okay. you could use bounce so you don't get shot up into the air. Yep. You've got the you shield on the Espeon. Could be interesting. Of course, you got a Slowbro Unite move that essentially ruins it. Mm-hmm. Four cent top for the Reggie Alecki. This should be an easy secure here. Overlord, I don't even think he's going to look for it, but I could be wrong. Well, they they sent Dark Bear back down, actually, so... Ulting for this? Interesting. You can ult, like, so often with this Pokemon. He gets it, though. He gets it. Okay. I'm I am shocked they pulled Dark Bear away from this, um, but they did, and now they lose it, so... I mean, they'll get it, but... You just let this in? I might, yeah. 
Apparently, they want to keep their goal. This big, having your pad at two minutes though is pretty nice. So, mm. oh no, they do let it in. Okay. So they just they just like burnt its uh, HP basically to lower the yeah, amount of points going in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Smart. Pretty smart. Smart. I am so smart. I am so smart. Math. I think that's continuous. S M R T. I mean S M A R T. Oh, you did it right the second time. Mm hmm. I'll get there. Mm hmm. I, I want to see this unite move from uh, Urshifu. I think uh, Otter's a great call. I don't. I didn't see a full heal on Otter. So this is what I'm talking Already. about right yeah, there. That, you just cleansed it. You just cleansed it. That's exactly what I'm saying. Like that's like not an ideal place for that unite. Mm -hmm. Overlord with the outplays on the Blastoise. Wait, are we Uba ulting? Oh, just back. Okay, yeah. They're going to have to use it to come back in. Nice uh, Trevenant Unite right there, even though Trevenant might go down. Having to use the Eject button to run out of there. LG fighting fighting so well here. This is just a really masterful fight from LG. Oh, wow. Surf Plus. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. That was great. Wow. That was great. Every single thing went their way in that fight. I mean, it was exactly as I said with that uh, Urshifu Unite move. I don't know if he didn't realize that was about to happen, but yeah, that was about to happen. Mm -hmm. We take the good odds. Rip. Spirit. Charge the score. LG start 1-0. And this is earlier we were talking about Scald. That's why Surf is so good. Surf yeah. Plus is one of the craziest moves it's three knockups in a row dude it's huge mm -hmm. it's so strong scald plus only increases the size of the steam cloud and i only know that because of that jeopardy game i made you guys play i also i did know that but i the jeopardy game cemented it oh okay good <laughs> um you Cleaned up in that game, by the way. I know a lot of dumb. I know a lot of dumb things. Okay. No one else was particularly close. Actually, everyone else had negative points at Final Jeopardy compared to you. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Waiting for our next game here. That was a really fun one between LG and Hades. Hades was competitive throughout a lot of that. But man, I I don't know why I knew this, but I just knew Zoinks that that Urshifu Unite was gonna be either great or is going to be real troublesome for them you know it feels like a feast or famine move it really does yeah absolutely mm -hmm. feast or famine for sure <laughs> for sure he's right everyone when he's right he's right when he's right as rain right now let's wait for our next game i'll just have an ad drop so it doesn't oh. pop up mid-match right now our so orange team qualified 2-0 over ignorance. They won't let me run an ad. Is Team YouTube out? No. They're in the losers. They're not out. And the last time we saw them, they were cleaning up losers. Hmm. Nemer up 1-0. GT and Exile are tied 1-1 right now. Did we get a clip on Twitch of that snipe shot? I don't think we did. Need fans. Zoinks' so audio is low? Really? Uh, I see it coming oh, in. It is because I moved my mic away because oh. I'm eating right now. Oh, okay. So, so there you I go, chat. Launch to be on mic. And uh, I know uh, people pay me to uh, obviously eat into right. the mic. So that's what I I'm doing. I don't want to take away from your channel point rewards or anything like that. Like, Yummy. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. So good. <laughs> Honestly, if I if they were like you'll get five times as much, but that is your job, I'd go no. <laughs> I can't do it. Ooh, like a cowboy. Now if they go six times as much, hey, now we're we talking. All have a price. We all have a price. TikTok chat wants what TikTok chat wants. Yeah, TikTok chat. Look, if TikTok TikTok chat's doing the gifts, I'll do I'll do NPC for TikTok chat. That I'll do. <laughs> but I for other things I can't I can't. What I just can't handle it. That was you know. That's up there with probably one of the weirdest TikTok trends that ever existed. Truly, NPCs is very bizarre. Mm -hmm. Yeah.
What should I buy, Spraggles, Mimikyu or Scissor? I actually have a video on my channel discussing just kind of this exact topic, if you're interested. Let me find it here. Neither. Buy Mewtwo Y. It's Profit. Uh, not anymore. Uh, it is this right here. It is like the ultimate what you should buy guide. And I go through every single Pokemon, whether I'd recommend you buy them or not. And I kind of give them a rating on a 1 to 10. So I can help you out. When am I doing my OnlyFans? After the stream. After the stream. Of course. I couldn't do an OnlyFans, you know? I don't have a good enough lighting. Did you do Cameo? What? You should do Cameo. No. Nobody would yeah, want I'd, that. I'd pay for a Cameo. What would I do? Hey, uh, hey, Zoinks, your buddy Dupe Snacks just wanted me to let you know to have a yeehaw and good time at the April Finals. Thanks for yeah. always being be awesome. such a legend. No, no way. You know for a fact people would buy it. No way. A happy birthday or something? Happy birthday uh, from me to you. Make sure you're having a yeehaw and good time. Okay, see, now you're giving it all away for free, and that just feels dumb. Dang, Exile beat GT2-1. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, holy. <laughs> holy cow. Both great teams. Mm-hmm. Exile going to be on winner's side again. Exile is, like, right there, too, man. Mm -hmm. They're always right there. Yeah. Here's what I'll do. I'll do an OnlyFans. The only way to sign up, it's going to cost you 450 grand. So it's going to need to be one weirdo, one rich weirdo. Or the collective of all of us weirdos. Or all us weirdos chip in. <laughs> it's got to be 450,000 of us, right? There's so many, so many weirdos out there. <laughs> Don't let anyone tell you you're not a weirdo. You're definitely a weirdo. You're a weirdo and you're a creep and you're you're all right in my book. Jesus. <laughs> Uninstall. Uh Nemesis beat you feel me two to zero. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, did we already know that? Oh, okay. I said Meow is worth it. Meow is very much worth it. It was free, obviously, um recently, but yes, Meow Scarada is n there's no question that is a that's a big time buy. Meow Scrot is really good. Probably the best speedster for most play in the game. And uh, it's also just got buffed. I think it's unlikely they nerf it. It just had a battle pass. I think Meow Scarot is like very good right now. Yeah, it feels good. Like in most form, like, you know, in most modes. Although I will say its likelihood of being banned goes up considerably with EX Pokemon. Uh, leaving draft i've been thinking a little bit about like what are the four bands going to be because a lot buzzwell, of on yes buzzwell blastoise leafy on and i think a lot of people will probably grab something like clefable comfey blissey things like that but meow scarada gets banned a lot already hmm. you know yeah on twit uh on tiktok buzz Gudra Grass Speedsters? Mm, I don't think anyone would ban Gudra. If you ban Gudra, I'll, I'll, I'll find you. <laughs> That's a courageous ban. Zoro Comfey, I could see it. The tough thing, yeah, if a team's planning on playing Zoro Comfey, it's a little hard. You would never ban Zoro, but you might ban Comfey. I, I, I could see a reality banning Comfey. It's so freaking annoying. Uh-huh. <laughs> Zoro's yeah. not the problem. Comfey's the problem. And once people start to understand that, well, then I don't have a way to finish this sentence. But the, my <laughs> point is that Comfey's the problem. I'm going to have a lot less topics on YouTube. Yeah. Once people realize that. Once people realize that, then a lot of my videos, not, <laughs> I mean, you'll get the gist of them. Just me yelling about Comfey for three minutes straight. Which, righteous, honestly. Yeah, I've always I've always found myself to be pretty righteous. <laughs> I can talk to you in the chat a little bit here. How's everybody doing today? We're waiting for this game. My hair is insane. <laughs> Why aren't you on cam, Jake? It's because this little piece of hair is flopping around, my guy. 
Unreleased Comfe. Totally. Agree. You're so right. You've never been more right. You're so right. You're all so correct. Who is this handsome guy? Uh, exclamation point Sprinkles. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> what can I say? Uh, the devs still won't remove it. That could be a good finish for that sentence. There you go. I need a snack. Hopefully you're snacking yourself. Oh, we got a game. Oh, we got a game. What a game, what a Just, game, what a game, what a mighty good why game. Why when we all saw how awful Yumi is for that game? <laughs> um, I think it's it. because they're like, this makes so much sense. <laughs> yes. And they're like, yeah, but people are going to hate it. And they're like, yeah, but it makes so much sense. By the way, speaking of Comfey, Comfey Zoro on the side of Hades. Uh-oh. Should have banned it. You dummies. Again. Here we go, everybody. Are you ready for some Pokemon Unite? Look at that hat, dude. Righteous. Love the hat. Otter playing that bot path leafy on attacker. Wow. Overlord on the blaze again. This could be a thing of beauty, man. I haven't seen it before, I don't think. I don't think I have either, actually. Interesting. Watching for an invade. Nice secure. Comfey actually has pretty good secure early with that. Uh, in the game. Way early. Lutano's coming up here. He manages to get the KO. Here comes Bora Cheeks. <laughs> yep, yep. They're going with the Night Slash. Night Slash. This is the second Night Slash we've seen today. What in the night slash? What's the tech? People are people are all about the tech. What's the deal with night slash? What's the deal with the new tech? <laughs> I mean, is it night slash? Is it faint? Here we go. Oof! Nice dashes to get out of there. Night Slash, I wonder what the thought process is here. What are we trying to do with it as opposed to faint? Mm -hmm. it, it can avoid some damage, right? Which is, like, unique. I'm just going to follow this thing around for a minute. I guess it just... I don't know, it feels like you want the mobility of faint attack against this conf. Like, I, I, S1, I love to chase with faint. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Like, how did I Otter coming in for the cleanup right there. And that's just... I mean, look at this little sweetie pie. Are you doing this right now? You're going to get KO'd. <laughs> JL's about to mess around and find out. JL. Okay. I mean, you could have based. <laughs> if he takes that blue buff, though. A legendary. <laughs> We're praising him until the end of time. Better than the snipe shot at that point. But, yeah, I mean, sure. come on. <laughs> I gotta clip that snipe shot moment. I feel like that's yeah. that's a YouTube short right there. For sure. You criminal. <laughs> I'll be right back. Zoinks is gone, everybody. And now that Zoinks is gone, we can really cast some of these moments here. Because he won't let me cast the way I need to. Moving on in. Nice big night slash. <laughs> Imagine I say that and then I just cast it slow. <laughs> Oh, how dumb would that be? <laughs> I just go super slow, but everyone's like, what is he talking about? Zoinks won't let him slowly talk about the game? <laughs> oh, man. In some trouble right here. Got caught a few times here by this combination. Between the Leafeon and the Espeon, the Zoro Comfey combo has gone down. A few times. Reggie Alecki getting pretty low right here. We got ourselves a rapid spin blasty boy. Feels like an easy secure for the side of Luminosity, and it was. Here comes the Night Slash. Who are we looking for? Overlord. They are able to take it. That walks. We got 30. It goes in. Goal's going to sit at 9 right now. Lutano not able to pick up another KO here. JL. Could he possibly make it away? Okay, all right. They finally were like, no, this is not happening at all. Not happening at all. Nice play right there. Look, I mean, Otter's got the tech, man. 
Otter shuts down this Zorark every time. He's got the tech. Scoring in the top path. Otter's already like level 11, basically. Hey, thank you so much for the super chat, by the way. Oh, here comes Zorark looking for something possibly on Espeon. They're going to move back in. Here comes the Night Slash chasing it down. Wow. Really closed the distance there so well. That was beautiful. We got Night Slash Zoro doing its thing today, everybody. You love to see it. Here it comes in for another combo. Ooh, barely missed it. What an amazing horn leech right there to keep Otter away from that too. Really nice oh. stuff from Russ. That was great. That's what I'm saying. This player, man, I'm really excited about him and Lewis. Like, that's some good showings. We've had some really cool stuff here with uh I mean Otter's been playing so well with Leafy on, but oh, honestly, really? so has the Zorg. The Zorg plays been great. And, um, yeah, amazing Blade, super chat. Blade thank Blade? you so much, NZ Razangan. Sorry if I got that wrong, but thank you so much for your super chat. Very kind of you. Is it Blade Leafion? Uh, yes. No, 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 no. Sorry. It's that one. It's uh, Razor Leaf? Leaf. Yeah. Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf. Razor, Razor Leaf, Leaf Aerial Ace. Okay. It's a crime giving a Pokemon both Razor Leaf and Leaf Blade. I, I mean, yeah, in their toolkit. you got, and Solar Blade, so it's like, oh right, my yeah. gosh, so many of the it's same ripple. names. <laughs> it's like yep. Gyarados, everything just being, looking like water, basically. Right, <laughs> yeah, that's true. This is going really well for this Night Slash Zoro so far, it's really cool to see. Yeah, I, I guess it's just generically strong, I don't know. Well, you know, it's been a thing in Japan. Um, right. It's been a thing like S S E A S E A too. Yeah, yeah. They, they've enjoyed it. So, but even on land, Shingdi, who I know is a like a Night Slash Zoro player, played Faint Attack. So I'm I'm curious, like what the thought pattern is. I'm sure Celestial will show up in your chat after this game, so I can, we can if they win, so we can ask them. That. Yeah, I'm, I'm dude. It's working really well. And obviously, yep. you are able to avoid a good chunk of damage here. I wonder if part of it is like you can't get stopped by Espeon's Unite. Ooh. So if you get yourself into the air, Espeon no longer has that option, right? Right, yeah. Also, it just looks so cool. You do like a triple somersault midair. Yeah. And if you use it right, you can see they like he is using it right, where when you land, you set yourself up to land and you almost drag the damage with you. Uh huh. Which is pretty cool. It's like a, it's a good to like you see it's like land. Oh, he didn't do it right there. But you can land it and sort of like slide with it. Overlord yeah. now defending right here. Probably gonna get a KO, but no, that's Zorark. What, what am I saying? Not. Yeah, Grassland held the Blaze again too. Mm hmm. Two ten one seventy eight. It's level fourteen right now. Jeez. Jeez. Two thirteens on LG though. Yeah, two thirteens on LG, for sure. We got the uh, A nine. A nine's oh, having a like a day, a real day. Yeah. <laughs> it's also gonna make it challenge. Like LG has to play really aggressive in this fight. Like they don't have almost any range damage, so mm -hmm. they need to. They really need to punch Hades in the face, for lack of a better term. But like, need to push through. And Mime and Blissey can kind of get that done, but. 13 on the Blasty Boy, and that's a Rapid Spin uh, Water Spout Blastoise. It can really dive Ooh. in and do some serious damage. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm Leafy very Leafy. interested to see how this fight goes. LG possibly just starting this right here. Here comes the Zorark into the sky. Able to avoid a lot of damage into a Unite move. Zorark still lives. Mime Unite coming down. Mime goes down. Espeon's in a lot of trouble right here. Being chased out. Lutano goes down. That's three down right now. They're starting Rayquaza. Overlord has a possible secure. So does Otter. They're getting ready for it. And they're actually pulling back right here. I don't know if they're going to decide to take this or not. I feel like they just have to end this right now. Here comes yeah, Overlord. Right. No. No. Big. Yeah, Night Slash didn't get the KO under rain. I thought that would be a chance for potentially Otter to steal, but not enough. Nice illusion right there. I'm telling you, Zorark is good. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Zorark Kumpe is still dummy good. Uh huh. 
I asked Toon, I uh, was like sitting in the crowd at AO, so I was like, so how do you feel about the Zoro going fair? And now he's like, ah, it's broken. Yeah. It's so good. It's, it's so, so good. good. Well, you remember the nerf on it, right? It was a <laughs> slap on the wrist. The Zorark nerf right. was so uh -huh. small. And Kumfei is still the dumbest thing in the game. People who don't know that Kumfei is the dumbest thing in the game, no offense, are the dumbest people. No. <laughs> but people who don't know, it's just like you don't play against like legit top tier speedster players. That's what it is. Because that well, thing is so stupid. You have to understand that Gudra is the best in the game because it doesn't die, though. What are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing? I'm getting the people right. You up. silly goose. It's provocative. <laughs> it gets the people going. <laughs> bam, boom. Bam, boom. <laughs> All right. Good game. That was a fun match. Yeah, we're tied up 1 1, right? Yeah. Which is this awesome. This is actually our last winners, by the way. I don't think anybody else is playing there. Oh, okay. Winning. What's. um? Oh, yeah. Nemesis won, right? 2 0. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Nemesis, Exile, and Orange Team. Or the three teams that have made it in. Felipe in the Twitch chat. I face this every single day in ranked. How how does it take this long for a pro team to learn this is broken? To be fair, uh, they've known. I'm surprised yeah. <laughs> more aren't playing it. But they have definitely known that it is a busted way to play. You you saw Overlord and... Um, what was the support? Uh, Elo last year on this. Like some crazy stuff. Yeah. Coming from the chat, Phil got banned because his Rocky Helm Gudra was too good. If that's the reason they come back with the ban, then honestly, deserved. Deserved. Yeah. Ban him for another year. <laughs> I just go Pikachu when I see Zoroark in solo drop. Pikachu is great for, for Zoroark. It is. Y you, yeah. can, you can counter it, but Pikachu is very solid for it. Um, people in the, uh, fate in the chat saying they're an all rounder main zoinks. Would you say you, you have a main or a main role that you prefer? Um, uh, my favorites to play are either tanks or top laters. Mm -hmm. So I, I kind of, I'm pretty 50, 50 split amongst the two. I'll play some mages and stuff too, but I, I think I'm best at tanks. Yeah. Overall, like those are, that's what I'm best at but i enjoy playing basically everything i i think your all-rounders are really good yeah some of them some of them i need some severe work on though yeah, i'm pretty comfortable on some so i'm used to work you saw my urshifu game <laughs> you vetoed it <laughs> it happens it, it, it's not that your urshifu <laughs> was um bad it's that i needed to blame someone for losing and i picked uh -huh. your urshifu <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that was totally fair. I um, Shifu. But I like, like, I, I kind of have a favorite Pokemon for each role. Like, I, I like Chandelure a lot. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of my favorite to play. Uh, like Eld I've been playing a lot of Eldegoss on ladder these days. Um, it's really good. <laughs> so I've been playing a lot of Eldy. My favorites are Dodrio, Greedon, Talon, Lucario, Blasty, Sylveon, Pika, Blissey. Then we start getting on Dragonite, Zara. I really like Zard, by the way. I think Zard's so fun. Cram. I I know this is a hot thing. I genuinely think Charizard is a place in the meta right now. I think if some top level players started playing it a bit, it would do quite well. I got a 60%. I think it's pretty good into the Eevees. Yeah. But... Six, almost 60% win rate on Dragonite. Dragonite wins games. It's secure, just wins it games. Does. I got a, almost a 65% win rate on my Sylveon. Jeez, Jake. Holy smokes, Jake. What am I, a legend? <laughs> I'm not a legend. I mean, come on, <laughs> chat. What is everyone in the I'm chat saying I'm a legend. legend, right? I hate that. <laughs> Stop it. I'm not a legend. Gosh, this chat's crazy, eight, man. Three, eight, three. Jeez. Oh, wait. Slash isn't on LG. That's right. Exclamation point slash. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So he needs to get... <laughs> Yeah. From the chat, yeah, is Gengar good in lower ranks? Absolutely. From yep. uh, Seabass yes. Supreme also said, Gengar is a noob deleter. That is 1 million percent true. Yeah. If you have an... There are a few good pub stomper Pokemon out there. Yes. That's, yeah, it is a pub stomper. A lot of ghost type Pokemon are that way. Gengar, yep. Dragapult, Mimikyu. Mm -hmm. um, yep, they are all like 
uncoordinated stompers. Dragapult's the best out of that group right now. Um, They're all, like, really good. When your enemies are not coordinated and you have, like, some, yeah, questionable players, which you you do get, uh, that is what happens. Why are we not watching Slash? Because we have... um, the final game between LG and Hades. Slash is actually not on LG anymore. We have the final game between LG and Hades, and that is what we're going to be watching here. Right? I would like to. They, yeah, wait. Yeah, Hades tied it up, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. For, for a second, my brain was like, hold on. Do you think uh, Do you think LG bans Comfe in game three? Unless they want to take it, yes. Oh, You'd have to first pick it, though, I think. I don't think it's bad. I don't think there's a bad first pick. You think pick. it's good enough for first pick? Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, I do. Dang. I, I don't Maybe. think people understand Comfe. I don't think they understand, like, what this thing is. It's the yeah. dumbest thing in the game. <laughs> Jake's the guy sitting on the street with a cardboard sign talking about the rapture, but it's just Comfe. Yeah. You need to understand Comfe. They thought it was just a flowery crown, but it's not <laughs> so much bigger. <laughs> it goes all the way to the top. <laughs> you gotta stop it. Thank you very much again, NZ. Leftover Cinder is S tier. Hey, if you say so. Anyone who super chats, I agree with 100%. So you got it. Absolutely. Slap a drain crown on there. Synergy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Chat saying I thought Hades won both. I th- they is- definitely did not. Okay. Uh, Star GG hasn't reported as one to one. Like I and yeah. we watched Luminosity win. Game okay. One, so. Yeah. <laughs> um in the chat they don't have Yumi PTSD in its shows. Yeah, yeah. They they yeah. do not have Yumi PTSD. And to be fair, like if you've never had Yumi PTSD, um, you'll get it now. You'll get it yeah. unite. You know? Did I tell you about the league event I went to go see in Chicago? No. Where so I went to go see the LCS f- like finals, like their their final three games of the split, mm-hmm. um, and the entire crowd started chanting "Delete Yumi" like at least three or four times throughout the weekend. Yeah, you Every honestly. Time it's in draft is just like no. It's one of those things. I mean, I, <laughs> I don't. It's a poor design. Like if, uh. Mm-hmm. If you had the option to delete something from the game, I don't think you could make a much better choice. Yeah. Like, I don't know what else you would delete. Like, it's... It, yeah, Mewtwo. But uh, I'd but delete Comfe instead. Comfy, yeah. I really would. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you on it. Like, they... Needs to go. Needs to go. It's gotta go. It's the tough part about... Because League has this same issue with Yumi. Is you... If you buff it, it's broken. If you nerf it, it's unplayable and never sees play. Yes. Which, from the community standpoint, is maybe a good thing. That's actually good. that's actually what they need to do. I, I right, get it. Exactly. Look, I was on the train of you got to buff this thing when it first came out um, uh, because it was bad. And it was bad. But yeah. that first off, they way over buffed it. I don't know what they were doing. Um, but... At this point, I yeah, I would be happy if it was unplayable because it's just so toxic for the game. It is. A toxic. Comfy is fine at the moment. It's not though. It's really not fine. It's 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 as it's mechan like what it does, it's not fine. I I I, I, I don't know if there's like I can't I understand, like, people who don't see it from my point of view, I'm not going to be able to explain it to you, but it's not fine. It's like, it the what, what its design is a horrible design for a game like this. It's horrible. It's a, it's a healer you can't KO. <laughs> uh, and it takes something that's broken and it ratchets, ratchets it up. And... When you have a game that goes through points, and luckily we've actually been way better lately, but when you have a game that goes through points of abysmal balance, you cannot have something that does that. It's yeah. just, it's so bad for a game with that already has balance issues. Yeah, if people are thinking that Comfe is fine, it's because the general balance of the game is okay right now. Exactly, yes. And so it's like, people are like, ah, Comfe's not that big a problem. But yes. like, well, just give it a patch. 
Yeah. <laughs> we'll all learn again. A Sableye Redemption would be fun. I think Ooh. there's a reality where Sableye could be good, but not as annoying as it was. I saw Moonblast talking on Twitter, and they reminded me of this, and I wanted it when it was first announced, but I'd love it. I would like a Duraludon rework to include its new evolution. Me too. Put Arcaludon in the game. Duraludon evolves at, like, I don't know, five or something, and just to get two stage. It'd be kind of cool. Waiting for our last game here of this series, guys. Spraggles, would you agree with the Serena triple axle buff, like a little bit of healing buff in its previous two evolutions is a decent buff because they're just too weak? Ah, I really worry about buffing Zarina. Zarina is one of the hardest Pokemon to buff because the good Zarina players are yeah, already pretty good. It's like <laughs> it's a skill. It's a high, high skill Pokemon. I really would be scared to, to buff Serena. I have to be honest. Like, of course, you could touch anything with a feather and it would be okay. But Zarina is really scary. It's one of the scariest ones that you could buff in the game. I would say you could buff Triple X a little bit. I don't think you need to touch the two earlier evolutions, though. Keep them weak. Like, that's fine. That's a mm -hmm. good balancing point. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Sableye buff would be kind of cool, too. It would just be cool to see that Pokemon a little more. What are your thoughts on reworking Comfey to do two times the damage but half of the healing? Uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So it does more damage, but it just doesn't heal as much? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, then it might just be useless. I don't know. It's hard to say. I still think my favorite change to Comfey would be any throws, like any vertical knockups, knocks Comfey off. All right. You guys ready? I am. We first. got it, Zoinks. We got our final game. Zoinks. The win and in between LG and Hades. Mimikyu and Comfey on the side of Hades? What happened in this draft? Well, they got Overlord on Leafeon, <laughs> which I think could be pretty big. They got okay. Blastoise on Hades, too. And they got the Ops. I don't know, man. I got to say. Uh, this Hades comp looking pretty it's mean. It's not even Joey on Trevenant. Who is it? They got him on Umbreon. They got Lutano on Tree. Playing topside Tree. Oh, Lutano on Tree. Yeah. So we're oh. going to have Lutano top Tree, Joey on Umbreon. And well, and, oh, and they'll switch, right? They'll give De they'll give it center to Delphox in a second. Yes. Well, it looks like they're giving the blue buff to Delphox immediately, but yeah. Yeah, Overlord doesn't need it. I want to watch this. So... This is the uh, the delayed Zatu into the top path. We're going to see which build Overlord likes more here. I could definitely see him playing Leaf, but, you know, both are really good. Blade gives you crazy secure. There's Blade. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nice eject. Whoa. Really nice eject. Love Starting that. that off. Huge start. Early gank into a uh, nice uh, double stacking the attack weight. Let's see if he looks for another. He doesn't immediately, actually. Getting the Mimikyu, who's like one of the better counters to Comfey, and Comfey on your team at the same time is a pretty cool draft play by Hades. Ooh, I like this play. We've got, you know, Absol Bottom right here looking mm -hmm. to pick up a big KO. Got the recent WoW Overlord coming with a massive blade. Holy. That was like it's Sephiroth fun. right there. I did not realize <laughs> that he was up. I did not realize he was up there. And that's from Dude, right? Yeah, he is in Dune. <laughs> I know Sephiroth. <laughs> He's in Super Smash Bros. Yeah, of course. That's where he got famous. Of course. Ooh. His announcement in Super Smash was one of Oh, his, yes, it was so good, wasn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> it was unbelievable. Dude, Smash, okay. like, crushed. They crushed that. Yeah. They, they even made the Minecraft one look good. And that character sucks. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I heard it ruins the game. Yeah, it's we're watching this Absol just dominate. That was such a fun moment for Overlord right there. Like, geez. Oh, yeah. here we go. Oh, <laughs> it didn't go through the wall. How sad. Oh, he's still one. looking for it. Yep, sucker punch. Oh. All right, whose cooldowns come back faster, I guess. Yeah, uh, oh, we had checks for that, too. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. Overlord on a leafy on, man. Holy. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we should be letting this happen. I'll Is say his fire spin and mean look. Dang, that yeah. is a lot of crowd control to work around. Yeah. Let me see this mimic you. What kind is it? Brick room. 
it's spin around in a flower hat. By the way, is it just me? Or was this like actually a difficult little mini battle pass to get the so reward? Hard. I don't think I, is it over? I didn't get it if it is. It's not uh, over yet. Yeah, it's I, almost over. It might have been today, actually. Okay, yeah. I don't think I'm getting it. I'm still a ways off. It was really hard. Yeah, wasn't it? I was shocked. Like, there weren't many big quests. Like usually when it gets low, I'm like, all right, well, what do I gotta do? Score a hundred in quick games or something? And I'm like, oh, there's none. It's just yeah. Do all these small ones like crap. I that I was surprised. <laughs> it was actually a lot harder than I thought. All right, we've got them starting Reggie Rock, kind of peeling off right here. Wow, that was such a massive rock tomb. It pulled out the Unite move on the Leafeon into the Absolute Unite. Reggie Rock getting very, very low right now, deciding not to turn on it. Instead, looking for Otter, and it's actually the secured snarl. right there by the Snarl. Wow. That's actually crazy. Otter even ejected back into that fight at like one HP to fire blast it again to like maybe get the secure. That is, that was all in from LG on that one. Yeah. Clutch, clutch play from Joey. I like the mean look snarl play. I think it's really, really good um, right now. So. Yeah, when you already have the healing, you know, in right. JL Eldegoss, right here. Yeah. yeah, you've already got Eldegoss. Dude, Snarl is insanely strong. It's mm -hmm. so incredibly good. It's kind of, it was yeah, kind of the best part of Foul Play Snarl was Snarl. That's why it's been yes. nerfed twice already. I think you can make an argument for wanting Wish when you're playing Leafeon, but everybody else, I would just prefer to be playing around Snarl, I think. So, who did we sneak? Oh, Eldegoss. Okay. LD. Nobody. I think if anything is like the. The part of this that I don't like from Hades, it is the Mimikyu. I just don't see really? it as like, it yeah. usually is not the call, but we're gonna see. Like, oh, again, he, I feel like it's just a good, oh, he counter alt Sleepy on alt there. It actually like, is. I was just a, like thinking, I'm like, the one thing it really does stop is that Leafy on. Is the Leafy on? <laughs> yeah. I really do think it was because they knew they were picking Comfey. They wanted to just make sure they ensured the Comfey pick. Yeah. Like, they don't wanna have the Mimikyu to put the Mimikyu in a bag. It's not letting me pan my a camera body bag. anymore. You put it in a body bag. <laughs> if you press like the pause button and then go back out of it, does it for your camera? No. I have uh, to wait until somebody like gets KO'd or something. It's this weird glitch that's yeah, yeah, existed yeah. forever. You gotta knock on wood three times. I know, I remember having to deal with it, but I, I couldn't remember how I got rid of it. I think on mobile it does not exist, if I remember right. Okay. Nice. Mobile diff. Mobile diff. Like, I can't pan between this fight you're, right here. You're like a full-on pseudo player, right? You split it, like, 50-50? Wait, what do you mean? Mobile Switch? Like, you like doing both? Uh, I mainly, like, all my content's on Switch, but I play mobile when I'm, like, around, like, events and stuff like that. Space and Whale LG's perfect. Blastoise maybe turns? No up, way! Again. Umbreon, Umbreon again? Umbreon. Holy. That's criminal. Mm -hmm. Lutano's down here. He's 12 now, by the way. Oh my gosh. He's yeah. on He's I on the train build. He's on that. He's got the curse really Horn fun leech. Curse Horn Leech, which is just gross. The game that Metallic dominated at AOS Cup with Tree was on this build. It was so crazy to watch. Heading up top. Otter. Running into this crusty boy who sits in a mean look. Let's see Absol here. 13 still, despite having a... Yeah, they've been struggling to find chaos. They've been clearing a lot. I mean, this is a level... This is the problem here. This Mimikyu, it's 11. It just doesn't... Oh, what is this, even? Bye-bye, Mimikyu. What was it even doing? I don't even get it. Just check that bush with a shadow sneak. Like, no need to walk. Yeah. Strange. Yeah. Definitely strange. Looking for a KO right here. Nice, absolute unite move. I like that play. Blastoise with a big unite. Not able to secure. Secured right there by Overlord moving on in. Oh, I got my camera back. Thank goodness. Wee. I'm not even, like, doing a ton of camera work. But when you can't kind of, like, pan over from a fight a little bit, it's very frustrating. Right. Honestly, to dodge the UI of the game. Yeah. <laughs> when, like, it's a close battle, it's taking up the entire screen. Ooh, we got a big 50. Yeah. Ooh, it's never mind. Mad. They're going to give it the 45. You need another the stack, I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or cookie. It depends. Hey, you could have both. Yeah. I mean, Trevenant in this build, I think, really does like both. It really does, yeah. 
more HP just means more yeah. time for everything uh -huh. it's doing. You know, when you get to take EXP share off the Trevenant, the opportunities really open up. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> This Trevenant is disgusting right now. O Overlord's almost 15. Trevenant's 14. So we're getting ready for this fight here. The only thing that I feel like is not, uh, has been a non-factor is this Mimikyu. Both teams doing some good stuff. Gruss is in trouble right now. They're looking for the catch right here. Uh, narrowly avoids the Solar Blade having to use their Unite move. We can see Lutano looking at them here. Kind of yeah. Say that again? They didn't use their Unite. Sorry. Did I say a Jack? I, I, I meant a Jack. Had, oh, gotcha. Had gotcha, to use gotcha. their jack. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. not their unite. My my mistake. And they're just chipping at this ray, but they don't want to fight at this ray. They just want to bring them in here. Mm -hmm. We can see Blastoise resetting. If you put this ray down to like a third HP, like you're in danger of Absol just alting it. Oh, here we so go. Like that is okay. We're ripping. Absol is gonna unite. Oh, Goldie takes it. Wow, JL. I mean, they secure it right in the face of Hades. Uh, I, I, I like the play. I like the aggression. I think it was... Hades asked for that, basically. Um, yeah. I mean, they ba they kind of just said to LG, there's no way you're taking this right now. We're going to we're gonna wait. We're going to reset. We're not going to look at you. We're not going to move in. Uh -huh. And LG said, no, I, I think you are, or you're going to lose. So. Yeah, Blastoise not being in position. The Hydro type is like their one counter rip option, right? Is just to knock them all up and then rip Ray in the face of that. But. Yeah. I like the... Because here's the thing. Let's say you've got... I don't know what their chances were of getting that, right? Um, they, they're able to KO one. Let's say you got a 60% on that, right? Uh, also, being the team that makes the call, your chances increase. You know, you're the one in the driver's seat of this situation. The enemy has mm -hmm. to react to you. You know when your secure moves are up. You know how it's going. So it's like you take things that are kind of weighted flips and you continue to stack more weight on your side of the equation. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's exactly yeah, what LG that. just did. Yeah, good call by them. Scary time to make a call like that. Uh, in a 1-1 one -one series and you're playing in for top eight, but it was the right call. I think that's also why it's, uh, again, that's even more like points for... Agreed, yeah. You know, because it, it's like, wait, they're not really doing that, are Like, are they really doing this right now in our faces? Like, yeah, they are. You're going to need to move in. I think they kind of knew it as soon as the Delphox Unite goes down, right? They kind of know that's what's happening. I don't know if Otter... Did Otter angle that unite move in a way that it was hard for them to see is that what he did i uh, tell you the truth i don't i don't know i'd have to look back at it but i don't know if that's what he did or not but it, it felt like he might have all right we know our four winner side qualified teams we know our top teams i'll pull up this youtube game because i know everybody needs it <clears throat> they need it very badly mm -hmm. uh what is this umbra volpions is that is that what it is? Umbra Volpium. Volpium, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 1 0 for you currently. First UV. And YouTube's up one, you said? Yes. I'm just going to take a look uh, real quick, everybody. I wanted to see. Uh, I want to see that moment. I'm just going to like pull my stream back real quick here. I'm curious. While we get this next game going. Over in the chat, you're going to be watching... Uh, so Sad Sam. Okay. So Sad Sam. So On Intel Jungle. They started... Oh, yeah. So the Unite move from Otter was, like, positioned in a way... I wonder if they sort of set it up where it was hard for them to see. That's kind of what it looks like. And then hmm. they start hitting it. Eldegoss gets into the air. Because Otter positioned in a way where I'm thinking, I wouldn't have thrown it like that. I wonder why he threw it like that. But my thought is maybe it was harder for them to notice. Rayquaza is getting very low. Oh, they were also doing it maybe for the Mimikyu behind them. Absolute Unite move. Overlord with the Solar Blade and Eldegoss crashes down. And they get it. That was pretty well played by LG and they had him zoned out very well. Mm -hmm. Maybe Absol was kind of the only scary moment. In that fight, but yeah. What happened, Todd? Well done. 
Well done. Yeah. Their Lutano in that game was crazy. Oh, yeah. And that tree was so overpowered at that point. <laughs> yeah. I like the cho I like the choice. I feel like it it's a bold move that I think a lot of teams won't make. What exactly? Ripping Ray the there. Leech. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. You rip Ray there. You open yourself up to lose, but you know you're you're look you're angling for a win, and I think that's mm -hmm. I I love teams that go for a win. Doesn't always work. <laughs> No. My solo queue player is always like, I was going for the win, just ripped it right in the enemy's face. <laughs> they love it. Our Cinderaces just love it, love it, love it. So it looks like this pool is moving a little slower than here. Well, no, they're around the same. I don't think I'll follow the tournament the whole way i think i was going to do mostly the top eight i might see a couple like yt games or something and then mm -hmm. probably call it because it just goes so actually, long in losers gonna, yeah i was actually gonna say i think this might be my last game I'm starting to feel yeah i think that's very reasonable again, so i think i might I, call it but thank you so much for letting me join yeah of course man thank you for being here i mean we were mm -hmm. there was a reality where we do all of eu as well uh -huh. um but we were just like, we just cast last weekend, and now we're going to be yeah. casting next weekend, so it's a yeah. lot. That's true. A little bit of a spoiler, but yeah. <laughs> oh, have they not announced that? Nah. <laughs> I fine. never know when. I, uh, you know, I didn't know. They... <laughs> they, uh, I didn't know they didn't announce it. Well, everybody forget that I said that. Yeah. I don't know who's casting. Exclamation mark Spraggles. Um... <laughs> he doesn't know when he's casting. That's actually more accurate. Yeah, we should change the command. The command should say, this guy doesn't know when he's doing something. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have my favorite thing. <laughs> when did we get this email? <laughs> March? <laughs> uh, <laughs> said what? What did you say? I said, I'm casting the... Oh! I get it. <laughs> I get it. All right, Chad. <laughs> you guys are clever. <laughs> So I, this game uh, looks a lot closer uh, for mm -hmm. YT. Nice little play right there. With the 30. I like it. Man, Blaziken is just a... It is like a walking high right, highlight reel. It is very fun. It, that matchup specifically, though, into Trevenant does not feel good for Blaziken. Like, Oof. I feel like Pain Split Trevenant is crit. Damn, Sam. That's not Sam. That's not Who Sam. It's Riker. I'm telling you, Riker, this, yeah. uh, this Pokemon is slept on, actually. Yeah, um, it is. It is. You're 100 percent right. It's like, it got buffed and it got <laughs> played less. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, that feels like a crime. Uh, was it just one buff? I mean, one buff is all it takes. But is it just one buff? What was it? Did it get uh, anything else? I think you're right. I think it was just the unite. Move. Just the unite move. It didn't get like. Oh no, didn't it early, like it got something weird, like it's early move got buffed too. Um, Isn't it? I'm looking right now. Yeah, Guardy. It was... Teleport, teleport got buffed. I knew something else got buffed. Okay, it was very minor, teleport got buffed. That's what it was. How did they buff teleport? They just lowered the cooldown, yeah. Oh, okay. They're basically just giving it an option to get away. Eh, a better clear too, because yeah. you get the boost. You get the boost or whatever. True. So. Yeah. Huh. One buff is all it takes. Look at that <laughs> unite move. <laughs> Who says you can't sing? That was a great parody you just did. Yeah. Well, you know, there, this is someone in the chat was just like, basically just being a bully to me. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. But they didn't give you the exclamation point spreggles where it said. Don't say anything negative about this guy. <laughs> He's gonna freak. He'll get dude. banned for life and served. I didn't know. That I, I've actually I've I've banned some people on Twitch who are being annoying, and I didn't know that they like write you. Oh yeah. They like, like re a request. To they unbanned. request to be unbanned. I had people like from a year ago, uh -huh. and I found it, and I I did unban them. <laughs> No, oh, nice. And I was like, hey, it works. I was like, hey, no problem. Look, I never saw this, <laughs> but <laughs> you know, if you're still around, welcome back. 
<laughs> I never saw them. Sorry, I missed your text. Oh. I really didn't. I never saw them. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. Wow. I mean, this game going very well for. Well, I guess there's levels that are still falling behind YouTube. But. I do. I read the unban. I read the unban requests now. I well, I read them once. Now. Now. Yeah, now. I found out about them. I didn't even know they existed. <laughs> and then one of my mods was like, "You gonna do anything about these?" I was like, "Uh, of course." I was just waiting the proper one year before I replied. So again, you didn't read the emails. Hilarious. <laughs> I never do. No? Who has yeah, time? Ooh. Ooh. Unite so counter, unite. Counter? Yeah, good counter. Oh. oh, how do you not get Umbri on there? That's crazy. That's so close. Ooh! Didn't need the 3,500 damage there, but they got it. <laughs> oh. Nice. Uh, One unbanned request, though, was, like, not... Okay. I couldn't do it. It literally... <laughs> I banned them after they came in. was, like, one of their first chats. And they called someone the C-word. And then their <laughs> unbanned request was, I did nothing wrong. <laughs> and I was like, all right, well, I can't unban you. <laughs> Send me another message in a year, and I'll see. Well, it's just... <laughs> yeah, next time I think about this, if you've changed your mind about why you were banned, then maybe... Basically, anyone in the unbanned request was like, hey, yeah, I get it. My bad. I was like, yeah, no, no problem. You're welcome back after a year. <laughs> I did nothing wrong, you idiot. Let me in your chat. <laughs> I did nothing wrong is a bold one. Yeah. Let's see if it pays off. Yeah. <laughs> this is a close game. Oof. My goodness, look at that. Um, hyper voice plus snipe shot is a crazy amount of damage. Yeah. How did that? I was Ray's just, hitbox is weird. Uh, Ray, I was just thinking, yeah, what a weird hitbox <laughs> on Ray, because that felt like it should have hit, but it did not. Right under his tail. Dang it. <laughs> Oof. Hit the hoopa. Hit the hoopa. Ray's getting low. Blaziken's going to counter score. Okay. Full 100. Fui is just getting, I mean, five man on Fui basically right now. Rayquaza is just, okay, they're going for it right here. Sam with the secure. Here comes Snipe Shot yeah, and LD. Boom. Yeah. Easy peasy. Special defense shred in the Snipe Shot. Like, you're getting the thing for 6k damage. Beautiful. Well done by YouTube. Yeah. Seeing the back cap and responding in the exact way you want. Fui was 1v4. I know. I mean, they... Like, okay, I guess we'll just hit Ray for free. They, I mean, they basically did... They did it exactly right. Uh, they had perfect vision over what was happening, too. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. Like, I, it would just be Espeon, basically, at that point. If there was some way Espeon could peel off um, in that moment, because it's got, like... Side beam, I guess that would be your shot, right? Mm hmm. Yeah, so. Ooh, big surf. A lot better than Scald. Sounds like the way you talk to a dog. Ooh, big stretch. <laughs> big surf. Ooh, big surf. Look at that surf. Ooh, big boy with a big surf. <laughs> Needed to do that, big surf. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how I talk to a dog. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Nice, nice YouTube that uh, moves them forward in this bracket. Zoinks, before uh, you leave me, and then I I leave as well. I think here, do you want to take a look at this bracket real quick? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let me. I'm gonna pull it up for the chat, and I think I just I think I just told it to be to be nothing. All right. So let's take a look at where we are. So Nemesis, two O's, you feel me? They uh, they qualify. GT loses to Exile in a 2-1. We didn't get to see that. That would have been an exciting series, obviously. Which moves you feel me down here and GT down here. Uh, E-Kittens, uh, Fellas United, Purple Team, all of them would need to beat GT to move on. Mm -hmm. And then here we have Endless. Or Paragon, uh, Going Mary, another one that I feel like I know pretty well. I don't know WG, actually. Who's WG? 
WG uh, Helix I Nil. I don't recognize a single player. On yeah, that, so. but it, Endless obviously is Slash's new team with uh, Slash Uzi Poison. I don't think I know. Um, okay. Blue Relentless. So uh, they have a chance of going up against You Feel Me. Was You Feel Me the one that knocked them down? Yes, uh, knocked them down 2-0. So that would be an thanks. interesting situation for them to run back into. We can look at pool number two right here. Our other qualified teams, Luminosity takes down Hades 2-1. Orange team, OT, takes down Ignorance 2-0. We have down Was here... Ian? Orange team probably had the easiest bracket, right? Um, they had a chance of running into Team YT, which I think would have right. been not the easiest game, but Team YT losing to Infamous uh, 2-0. Who's on Infamous? Uh, that's a good team, though. It's Lunaire, Zero, Kuzi, Rinkaku, and Tie-Dye. Okay. It's a... Um, Infamous will be going up against either Eruption or No Sweat. Wolves United, they're a good team. Wolves United, Flamin' Hot Depresso, yeah. still in the hunt. Team YT, still in the hunt as well, taking down Umbra Volpion. They're going up against Perp Not Kevin. They could run into Ignorance, which took down Infamous, which took down Team YT, so that'll be interesting. Okay. The transitive property going crazy. Well, I mean, here. based on Pokemon, you know, Team YT yeah. might be the counter to Ignorance, while Ignorance counters Infamous, and Infamous counters yeah. YT. Hades has to beat most likely Infamous, based on what we've seen in the top bracket, right? Hades would have to beat Infamous. Um, yeah, that's probably the most likely of targets that have to take down. Yeah. So there you go, everybody. Um, uh, no, it's not a rerun. This is live. I don't know why people think things are reruns. Uh, uh, it's not a rerun. Um, this is live, but there you go. Uh, I'm not going to be watching any more of the games today. The loser's bracket takes a while, but you saw all of your top teams qualified in North America. Zoinks, thanks for joining me, buddy. Um, Thank you a, for we, having me. It was so much fun. We had a fun one. Catch me and Zoink somewhere next weekend. Not allowed to say where. Uh, yeah, I think we did it, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. I love you all. I will see you all next time. I'll find somebody to raid right now. Ender's still casting him, I think. Okay, so. Ender's still casting. I'll find Ender here on Twitch, and then I'll find somebody to raid on YouTube as well. Let's see. I uh, think he's streaming there, too, if you want. To oh, that. I mean, that could be the thing. Let me see. Uh, uh uh oh it's he's not showing up is he live on youtube i i was watching him on youtube earlier today oh here he is for some reason it didn't have him all right we're gonna raid over to ender right now on twitch and i'll see who i'm raiding here on youtube as well so you guys can hang out and continue watching this bracket mm -mm -mm -mm. it's gonna be me it's gonna be me <laughs> yeah we got ender on youtube as well so you guys are uh both of you are heading to the same place youtube twitch tiktok i'm sorry i have nowhere to send you but i appreciate no. you thank you all you're all incredible i love you i'll see you all very soon goodbye 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 goodbye, goodbye. Bye. Bye.